Good morning to everybody. My name is Cameron. We're playing Slime Rancher today. Don't think that I wasn't looking in chat because I saw things going on over there. And first of all, I would like to welcome our new friend, Fragilities, to the party. For that, you get a party hat. And to Morbid Kiwis, who just popped in here and somehow made this morning even more exciting. We're putting on a metallic party hat for you. Thanks so much for joining the VIP club. Oh, it's Kelly! Look at that! Oh, what's going on, Kelly? Oh, so happy for you to pop in! We got party hats going on for it, so it's wonderful. And lucky for you, we're doing Slime Rancher today, which I'm pretty sure we're all a little bit familiar with. I just found out that we can go to a whole new dimension in this game, and I am, like, super duper exciting. I'm doing wonderful today. I'm starting out my day with some cold brew coffee. This is the first batch of my now do totally not patented cold brew coffee mixture. I ground up coffee, I put it in water, it's been sitting in there, and my god, this thing is potent. I think yesterday, in my first cup of this thing, I peed like six times in one morning. It was incredible. So it must mean it's working. And uh, we'll see how many breaks I actually have to take with the second cup of the day. We're also trying out something also completely new today, and that is the fact that I just got my GPU in the other day for my computer, so this is actually the first time that I have s so far successfully been streaming using only one computer. This is- uh, let, me, let, me, let me show you for a second. This is- if I pop this up, this- this is my streaming computer, but it's not streaming. That's the one that's streaming right now, and I'm very excited to see that things are actually working right now. Uh, and yes, Anna is doing absolutely wonderful as well. She actually has class starting right now, so she's in the other room. Uh, but alas, without further ado, let's get started with the Sleems. Sleems and the Ranchers. Apparently, there's this, I think it's the Glass Desert, is what they call it? Is this new dimension that we've, that we've found ourselves in? I don't know if I'm spawning back at the, excuse me, spawning back at the, uh, regular ranch, or if I'm gonna actually be in that dimension but uh we're gonna try that we're gonna see we're going forward i uh i am very super sighted okay i'm back over here near the near the transporter so i have this dervish slime of mine in my inventory i feel that it is in my best interest to head on back to the ranch for a little bit and then come back with a totally empty inventory so i can do everything that i possibly can in that new Dimension. Oh wait, I'm already in the dimension. Oh, whoops. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the portal, go back to the ranch, and then I'll have a nice empty inventory for exploring around. This one's tagged as exploration. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. I never got this far in my uh, first, first playthrough. Um, not that you could get that far anyway. I think when I originally played Slime Rancher, I don't know what version it was, but like this temple area was not a thing. It was most certainly not a thing, but like, oh, this is lovely. I've been having this urge to play Slime Rancher um, ever since I went on vacation um, because I walked into like a toy store while I was down south and saw like a like a slime thing. And I was like, oh, Slime Rancher would be really fun to play right now, but I don't have my computer on me, so I'm going to have to wait. And so I waited patiently, patiently to be able to come back to the wonder of Slime Rancher. How are y'all doing over there? Y'all doing okay? Yeah, I can't see you guys, so you must be doing just fine. And I got these dervish slimes! I don't know what to do about these guys. What's the slime PD say about the dervish slimes? I also did not realize that apparently dervish is like the way to refer to like a small little storm. It's cute. Twists and turns all day and spirals all night. I don't know if I read this last time. Let's go with it. Its favorite is a prickle pear. Yo, speaking of prickle pears, my Whole Foods Market now sells prickly pears, and I bought five of them. This is one. I ate one already. That means I have four left. This is one sitting on my desk. I'm gonna make a prickly pear syrup for, uh, for uh, a cocktail recipe. Um, it kind of tastes like, it's got the consistency of like watermelon, kind of smells like a grape, tastes a little bit between a grape and a watermelon in my humble opinion. Doesn't taste anything like a pear. And according to Wikipedia, a prickle pear is not Anything to, anything similar to a pear, they just named it because it's got a a pear, a pear-like shape, and it, it's it's lovely. And uh, y you know, I, you know, in a little bit, in a little bit, I will cut this thing open so you can see how red this thing is on the inside. 
because I'll, I'll eat it as a snack. The dervish slime twists on turns all day and spirals on at night. Its diet is fruit, like the prickle pear. A dervish slime is a swirling, whirling bundle of energy in slimy form. Dervish slimes are commonly found in the glass desert, cruising across its dusty dunes at high speed atop little whirlwinds. One thing's for certain, wherever the dervish slime needs to go, it gets there in a hurry. Dervish slimes can cause total chaos on a ranch if not cared for properly. In addition to frequently riding atop whirlwinds at high speed and collecting objects along the way, a highly agitated dervish slime can produce giant cyclones of air that vacuum up and toss about anything they touch. When cyclones are roaring across your ranch, there's a little you can do other than break Race for the chaos that will soon follow. Dervish plorts are a fantastic source of clean energy that helps to give turbines and generators an extra boost. They are in constant demand, as curiously, there is a finite number of spins stored in every dervish plort. Interesting. Hey, Harry's got people near him, so you can't hear me nor stay, but you would have stayed otherwise. Well, that's okay, dude. I, does Twitch have captions? I don't think Twitch has captions. Nah. That's okay. The YouTube video comes out later anyway. So I can annoy people forever for the rest of eternity. Dervish slime. Uh, I guess I need to put these guys in a, like, a secluded location? I feel perhaps over here, in the same general realm as the quantum slimes, might be advantageous to me. Not like, oh, y'all scare me. You slimes. You slimes scare me. Maybe I should put it over here. Nope, but, uh, yes. I feel, oh, I have slimes over here already. I want them to be in a secluded location, away from the other ones. You know, I'll wait until I unlock the, let's see, let's see, the lab area, because then I might be able to put them over there. Oh, you know what? What am, what am I doing? Let me, doo -doo -doo. I'll throw those there for now and feed all my quantum slimes so that they're happy, happy, happy. I like happy, happy, happy. Kelly's got all the cat slimes and they murk all the chickens. Oh my God, yeah. I have, I think, Let's see, my tabby slimes, it's interesting, they don't really get out much, which is good. It's, it's good that they don't get out, get out much, to be perfectly honest, because if they did, they would kill the coop that is literally right across the ranch from them. And that would be rather unadvantageous to me. We don't, li we don't like that. I, I personally don't like that. It's tough. These quantum slimes, in, like, in particular, just kind of get out. They like to get out. And the last time I came back, I think they were literally everywhere. And I did not know what to do about it. But, um, you know? The little deep, the, they're, uh, devious. Devious little quantum slimes. Like, to be perfectly honest, quantum slimes, really, get your act together. I mean, pick a dimension, uh, pick a timeline. Just, just one of them. Clearly, we're living in the best timeline, so that's the one that you should be picking. Quantum plorts. Quantum plorts! Uh, they are up at 44 right now. That's fine. I don't have any place to store them, so... I wonder if now I'll have enough for the, the science -y area. I don't remember how much that's supposed to cost me. Where's that at? Ah, it's back here. Science will begin! Maybe. Well, how much do I need? 12,000? It's 10,000. Yeah! Slime science! You've unlocked a lab, a special ranch expanse that allows you to create gadgets using slime science. Head on over to the barn and get started. Yay! I'm gonna collect all these beet roots. I haven't been back. It's lovely to just come back and farm a little bit. In terms of other farming games that have a special place in my heart, eventually, eventually, I will start a playthrough of Stardew Valley because I played that when it first came out, and oh my god, I just need to I need to get on back to that at some point. Oh, have you guys just not been? Huh. I guess y'all just aren't hungry right now. Y'all need more? You need more slimes in there to eat all the foods? That's okay. We'll, we can do that for you. We get the rest of these plorts. Sell you on over. That'll be wonderful. Mint mangoes are for. Oh, you know what? I got some hen hens here. Let's, uh, let's, uh. You guys, have fun. Yes, enjoy. Munch on the flesh. Munch on the flesh of the chickens. Who liked mint mangoes again? What are you guys? You guys like the cube fruits. Who liked the mint mangoes? Who liked mint mangoes? I don't remember who liked mint mangoes. However, I will come here to get more. I think. Oh, it was the quantum slimes. Uh, no, 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 they, they, they like the lemons. The mangoes are liked by one of the ones. It was the quantum slimes. No, I'm sorry, not quantum. Rad. Rad slimes. We shall see. We shall see. Just gotta get these, and then I can just check my slime up idiot. The, whoa, what the? The hell was that? What is this? 
I guess just like building thing activate. No, I don't. Oh, oh, that's because I unlocked the lab. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's my map. There's my slime pedia. Who likes it? Oka, oka, mint mango. It's the honey slimes. That's who likes it. Honey slimes get the mangoes. Big old piece of the mango. Big mangoes for the, um, for, for, for the slimes. Here you go. Mangoes. You like mangoes? You got mangoes for you. Look at that. What's my favorite slime? Oh my god, wait a minute. I had a, I have a favorite. I just gotta figure it out. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the puddle slimes because they're cute and they just kind of like keep them themselves and they're, just, they're a little shy. Just, just like, just like me. The, the, the puddle slimes are just a little pee shy, but like not a lot. Just a little pee shy. They can, they can do it with like two of their other friends around. But like, if there's too many, they're just like, I can't, I can't do it. And you know what? I just that speaks to me on a personal level. And perhaps a little bit of TMI, but you, you know what? We're all friends here. Now I've got more monies. I need to collect some more plorts so I have the means provided to me to create another exhibit over in the slime area. Ew, berries. Cubes, cubes, cubes. Who's on the phone? Hello? <laughs> Who's on the phone? Who wants it? Bob. Okay. All right. Um, challenge accepted. Uh, are those briar hens? Looks like it's briar hens. Do I have any briars? I'm not sure if I got any briars over here. Mm. Don't believe I... Wait, wait, briar hens are over here. What was I thinking? I have to go up here to satisfy Bob. There we go. There's there's one and two. What was the other guy? Looks like a big old roostro. Big old roostro? Big old papa roostro. Bob wants to... I, I don't really... I really, don't really know. Oh, but if I take him out, then eh, I'll come back with roostros. I'll come back with more. There will always be more. Uno. Dose trace. Yes! What was that? What is? And and the hell is that thing? I don't know what that is. Oh, well, I got tabby plorts, so might as well pick up the rest of them. I don't know what kind of plort that is. Whoops! I ripped them out. Threw them out of my slime thing. Gee whiz! Gee whiz! Okay. Ta -da 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 -da. What is that weird looking plort? Have I seen that before? No, it's that thing. It's that plort. I don't know what plort that is yet. I'm sure I'll find it in the new dimension. I'm sure I will. I'm positive I will. Yeah, where are you? Tangle. Tangle! Like, like, Disney's Tangle? Like, it's Rapunzel? Oh, that's so cute. Cash. Cash, cash money. Can I get the Q-berries off of the phosphorus slimes? We're starting things off slow over here. We're gonna take care of the farm. I'm gonna say hello to all the slime pals and then explore some more. Oh, that looks like it's completely filled to the brim. Time to flood the market. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh absolutely. Oh, absolutely. That's a lot of ports, my friend. That is a lot of ports. I don't think I've ever seen so many ports in my entire life. Look at all these little Q prism things. I wish I had something that was vaguely familiar uh reminiscent of a plort on my desk i should get like a little plushie like one of those little foam plushes that's a plort of my favorite slime which as we've decided is the plorts as a puddle slime because it relates to me on a personal level that could be cool i wish i had on me uh i, I don't have it right now but back I think either last no it was last Christmas because I built it in this apartment last Christmas uh, for a close friend of mine I made a little I got some slimes I got some slime like a little bucket of slime or not a bucket like a little jar of slime from five below and I put little decals on it of the um, of the lucky tab slime it's so cute I got a picture in here somewhere um, I have to I can find that and pull that up on my phone because it feel I feel like show and tell is something that we encourage around here. I must find where it is. I sent it to somebody recently, so it's... Yes. My little... This is what I had built for a little friend of mine. Oh, that's the wrong computer. I put the tab on the wrong computer. My little... This is what I built for somebody. It's, uh... Well, the reflection's kind of getting a little up in there, but that's cute. And then, uh... Without the light on. There wasn't actually a light on the inside of it, but it's, uh... It's a cute little thing. And, uh... My gift, he loved it. 
She was very much appreciative of it, which I'm happy for. That almost took credit as being the most effort that I put into a Christmas gift last year. But but then I made a, I hand carved a little ornament for my fiance in the shape of Mickey Mouse, which was painstaking and took me like two days because I'm really not good at carving shit out of wood. So then that overtook it. Appropriately so, because I feel like if I didn't put the most effort into her gift, it would have been like insulting. But uh, it's okay, it's okay looking. Uh, it's packed away with all the other Christmas stuff. But its face is demonic. Like it was the first time I had ever used like wood stain. So Mickey Mouse's eyes are like a deep, dark, demon brown, while the rest of them is just like like wood color. It's a, it's a very it's very interesting. I don't think I actually have a picture of that one because that was one of the ones that I was like this this will remain private. It's it's so good looking. How could I how could I share it with the world? It's so totally not devilish looking that you know I'll keep it that way. But yes. Oh, you know what? Oh, I have some roosters over here. Let me take two of you guys and put you in the other pen so that our little ladies over there know what's up feel that somebody has just messaged me on the steams. Let's see what that's all about. What's going on? Oh, well, hello. Hello. Hello there. Y'all can't see the chat because I turned that stuff off. But somebody from the depths of the world has decided to make contact. The depths of the internet. Ogden or Mochi? Mochi, Ogden? I don't remember what you guys are for, so I think... Does Mochi collect slimes and Ogden is the other guy? I don't really remember. What's up, Mochi? I need these plurts post-haste, whatever that means. Uh, plurts. You like plurts? Boom plurt? Hunter plurt? plurt? Lovely, lovely. I can get some of those. Oh, I need some booms. I need some boom slimes. They like briar hens, so I'm gonna go grab a couple of briar hens and bring them over to my little boom slimes over there. And then I'll get those boom slimes. I'll get some boom floats. It's gonna be wonderful. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be wonderfully awesome. I think they like the briar hens the best. If I'm correct in saying. And if I am correct in saying, perfect. And they don't look very happy right now. Aren't you? Aren't you, boom slimes? Not very happy at all. Yes. It is their favorite. Lovely. I've been hurt. That's okay. Get all the little slimes. Gonna bring them all over. Bring them all over there. Bring some of those mochi, 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 mochi miles. Ouch. Guys, so mean to me. There we go. Onward. Onward back to Plortdom. I'll give those off to Mr. Mr. Mochi. Monsieur, Monsieur Mochi. Monsieur Mochi. Are you, are you monster? I, sh I shouldn't be assuming this. You know, you can be whatever you want, Mochi. You beautiful. You are beautiful. Boom. Uh, oh. Oh? That's not a boom slime. Wait a minute. That's not a boom slime? Is that something different? Are there fire slimes? I don't know about this. Really? There are. Huh. Oh, would you look at that? I was completely unaware. That is... Wonderful. Well, I guess I'm not completing that right now. That's okay. I have learned something new for later. I have learned something new for later. All is well. All is well, my friend Harry. You are listening on another tab. Your message has been received. You have been acknowledged. Here is your acknowledgement. This is your acknowledgement. Consider yourself acknowledged. You're welcome. That's how we do things. Oh, there's more bee roots prepared, and one of the big old roosters are out of their pen. You shouldn't be out of your pen, Mr. Rooster. What are you doing over here? Get back in your pen, Mr. Rooster. You're gonna cause a ruckus if you're not in there with your other, um... Partners? Concubines? I'm not exactly sure. If So long as everybody's into this whole polygamy thing, then I guess we're okay. I'm sure there's not any sort of power dynamic at play in there. And everybody's really enjoying themselves. It's real love between all participants. I believe that. I have faith in the Roostro and Hen community. They're doing their thing, and that's okay. Actually, you know, if this, in the science area, I recall, after watching somebody else do it, that you use the plorts for crafting things. So I'm gonna take these rock plorts over here 
and I guess deposit them as my first plorts for research purposes. Is this a little, is this doom? Whoa, it's doom! Oh, <laughs> that was doom. I asked myself if it was, it was doom, found out that it was, and then experienced it appropriately. That was interesting. Anyway, let's, uh, corral. High walls, we're gonna get a music box, get an air net, let's plort the collector. Feeder. Dervish, you are so beautiful! What is your favorite food? Do you have a favorite? What do you like? Oh, prickle pears. We already discussed this. <laughs> Look at you go. Oh, you are absolutely wonderful. Anyway, time for science. Time to get crafty. This barn has all the equipment you'll need to begin crafting gadgets using slime science. Gadgets include useful utilities to aid in exploring, defensive turrets, decorations, and more. And more indeed. Well, I'll take it. Rockuplort. Um, I guess I'll just throw it all inside. In order to fabricate gadgetry pieces with their siren, blah, 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 cannot be removed. If you put it into the thing, they cannot be removed. Well, actually, you know what else I have? I have this funny little diamond. Ah, oh, diamond, 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 go on to the diamond. It's over near my plurt container, but there's a little diamond or something over there, and I was told to save that for crafting, so I'll save that for crafting. Strange diamond. Strange, strange diamond. Do I need the? Do I need money to craft things? I guess I'll find out in a second. But if I don't, then I'm gonna go back to my house a little bit and buy a couple of uh, aesthetic improvements. Y'all are so precious. Did you know that? Both of you are so precious. It'll be Dan and Daniel. Dan and Dan. Danielle and Daniel. Nice. So what if I click this button? Plorts. There's plenty of other types of plorts. Bozwax, jellystone, strange diamonds. What can I do about this? That would be a teleporter somewhere. This is a treasure pot. Still don't know about the do about this. Um, blueprints. What can I do? Oh yeah, I buy, I buy these. Allows you to siphon underground resource. Ooh. Teleporter? A set of two teleporters that can be used to make my own lit. Oh. Warp deposit. A set of two gadgets that allow you to remotely transfer resources between two points. This is so convenient. It's the power of slime science! Wow, that's pretty cool. Hydro turret to... Interesting. Slime stage. Allows you to let other slimes know who is, unequivocally, the number one slime. Pink slime. This is so cute. Oh, this is sold out? Okay, well, I guess I gotta use these other ones first. Well, I suppose it's good to collect resources, so let's get a pump. And let's do another pump. And... Hobson! Hello. I built this lab after meeting a slime scientist and learning about the wonders of plort technology. I figured it would be fun to tinker with on rainy days. I only nearly blew myself up three times, which is pretty good given my tendency for that sort of thing in my other hobbies, but it soon became a, a reminder that I have a thirst for adventure, and being cooped up in a barn all day wasn't ever going to satisfy that thirst. Soon, I began to set my sights for horizons beyond this ranch, and once I got to thinking on it, further still. I wonder if Hobson just like flew off to another planet. Oh, this is cool. The Fabricator. The Fabricator. It's just kind of scanning this thing right now. I don't know what that is. I'm guessing it's one of the miners, perhaps? Ah, I need rock plorts, red plorts, pink plorts, purple plorts, tabby plorts, boom plorts, all plorts, blah, blah, blah. Pumps as well, siphon underground resources, drill for buried resources, collect resources from wild bees. Bees? Bees? bees in this game? What is bees? Well, good evening there, Stardew Valley 1. Do you know what bees are? I'm a little unfamiliar with what bees are, but I feel that if I were to spell it out, bees would be spelled B-E-S and a whole lot of question marks. They're drones. Oh, is that what those things- Oh, wait a minute. Oh, is that what those things are? Ah, uh, <laughs> those are the bees. They buzz around in their dro- Okay, that's cool. Buy it. Now it's mine. How much to make a bee? How much to make it? Whoa, it's a- Whoa, okay. I need honey. Honey. Where do I find honeys? Hexacombs? Jellystones? Interesting. Very cool. Thank you for uh, clarifying that very wonderful piece of information. I feel that I have been improved. And for that, I thank thee. I'm gonna get this warp depot too, because I feel like that's convenient. Like, really convenient. Like, I just have, like, one on the farm. And then one with me wherever I am, or somewhere close by, so I can just throw resources into it. What a nice idea. Warp tech. I need all this stuff. Whoa. So I guess I need the extractors to get all these materials, because the plorts I can get on my own, but... Interesting. 
Helpful tip, using the apiaries in the moss blanket to get wild honey. Hey, look at that. Well, when I have the resources to create those, I'll be sure to follow through with that advice. I'm gonna write that down because I will forget because I'm a little dense sometimes. Uh, let's see, apiary, apiary in moss blanket. It's been written down and now I will never forget. I suppose you would take all the different types of mining gadgets and then put them in different locations to make, I guess, certain um, resources more available is how I would understand it to work. Hey, welcome to the party there, Stardew Valley. And for that, I'm running out of, li I'm running out of um, real estate on my head. So I'll take a little tiny, little tiny party hat. And in recognition of you joining our little party here, we will put this on top if I can manage to, there we go. It's awkward, but it's a party hat nonetheless. There we go. Now we got, there's another one back there, I assure you. That's three today. So far, it only gets better from here. It always does. One of my favorite parts of the thing. You found a build site. Approach it and click the button. That's cool. Awesome. Ah, oh, as soon as you saw the parrot, you thought of the crab rave. And don't know why, but the brain reserted to the memes. I love parrots. Love me some parrots. Party parrots specifically. You know, there is a secret link in the about profile down below. And if you find it, you will find the cult. It's a little teaser. There is a secret link down below in the about section. Not, not of, for those watching the YouTube video afterwards, it's not down there. You will not find it. This is a live experience only. But you will find the cult of the party parrot. And by cult of the party parrot, you, you'll know what it, when you find it, you'll know exactly what I mean. It's, it's just party parrots. As far as the eye can see, it's beautiful. It's, it's all you could ever ask for. It's great. Anyway, now I'm gonna make my way over to the temple so I can go to the glass desert and explore it for realsies for the first time and potentially find more dervish slimes. I just gotta remember how to get back over there. Um, I think I remember. I really don't. I'm con confused. Wait a minute, did I? For some reason, this area over here seems different. This seems different. Have I ever been? Oh, that's just, okay. I usually don't go down there, so. Ah. The ancient ruins are more of a city than just a temple. The temple, I think, is the end of it. Yeah, like, it does feel like a city. It feels like there are a lot of places where people could live. You're absolutely right about that. But I guess you gotta wonder. I mean, like, I guess nowadays, temples really are never, they'll, they'd never be big enough to house, like, an entire population of people. But, like, I guess back then in, like, ancient, ancient civilizations, that like, um, that like some of the some of those societies built temples that were literally big enough to house the entire clergy of of individuals. There's pipes and broken pipes made out of glass, really strong glass, and there's stuff going through it for like resources. Like yeah, I mean for all we know too, it could have been like this, this um, like center for like manuf. It could have just been like the everything center. Maybe it was their factory. Maybe they had slime science. I mean clearly they did. Right? The quantum slimes are all just kind of hanging over there. If they didn't have... They didn't have slime science. I mean, they had a tele... Okay, okay, they have a teleporter that sends you to another dimension. They definitely had slime science. So maybe it was more of like... The factory. Or the research facility. Which I can understand a resource facility, a manufactory, or a works... Um, um, storehouse being that big. I get that. Have I ever looked at the descriptions for quantum slimes or phase lemons and slimology? I believe I, I mean, I might have read them the last time, but being that we're on the topic, let's just read them now. Just to make sure that everybody's up to date. Quantum slimes, favorite the phase lemons. Quantum slimes appear to have resulted from some sort of event that took place in the ancient ruins long ago. Oh, would you look at that? Yes, it appears that I haven't read this before. And now it all makes sense now. At all times, the quantum slime is capable of emitting other possible realities of their being called ghosts. These other realities can come true with the quantum slime aligning with the reality of the ghost effectively teleporting. Quantum slimes can be one of the most difficult slimes to manage given their unique abilities. The rancher needs to learn how to detect them. Yeah, we were all prepared with that. We're all convenient. We all know how to take care of those now and hopefully prevent them from not absolutely messing up the rest of the farm. Phase lemons, plucked from a tree rooted in the past, future, or... A phase lemon comes from a different place and time. They are like an echo reverberating through the halls. In order to harvest, the rancher must pass the matter through. Oh, I did read this one because that was... I figured out after finding the phase lemon 
how, or I figured out before reading the entry about the phase lemon, how to do the phase lemon with a little hint from somebody else who was popping on at the time. To the temple, which direction is the temple? Temple go, tem temple go this way? Maybe, oh wait, I have a, I have a map. <laughs> I'll just go to the map. I gotta go the other way. Yes. Silly, clumsy me. I always forget. The slime be to this direction. Indeed. It's a good thing there are at least those in chat who are much more familiar with this map than I am. I don't play it often enough to commit it all to memory. The issue is like, if I'm the kind of person who if I stare at something and like put effort into it for like a couple hours, like I'll, I'll have it. I will, mem I will remember that. But in times like these where we're just cat, we're just kind of chilling. Just going through the things all casually. I will completely forget what is going on momentarily after it happens. It's unfortunate. But on the bright side, it makes me it makes me a wonderful person to tell secrets to. Ouch. It makes me a wonderful person to sell, tell secrets to because I just forget what the secrets are. <laughs> Stardew is familiar with the cute. I mean, you've got Stardew in your name. Stardew Valley. That's another very, very cute game that we'll eventually get back to at some point. Indeed. <laughs> That's how we all got through college. Just like, just like, if you hyper focus on something for long enough, you will eventually, eventually, it'll just get into that brain of yours. And then, you know, after the class is over, like, especially when it comes to like classwork and stuff, after it's all over, it's just, it's out of my brain. Unless we cover it again in another class, in which case I will eventually figure it out again. What am I doing? I need to, I need to get my, get my shoes together. I must move on. Press activate. Aha! Yes. Yes. I gotta beat it into my school. That's how I used to memorize entire scripts for high school theater. That's how I used to do it. I would just sit there, saying the words over and over to myself, and then attempting to, you know, figure out, did I, you know, did I say it right? And I have the capability. Or at least 16-year-old me did. And I assume that 23-year-old me also has that capability. But he hasn't exercised that ability in quite a while. Indeed. Good morning to you, Johnny, or whatever time it is over there in Dust Netherlands. I don't know if Das is the way to say it in, um, in the language. I just know that's the German way of saying it. I don't think that the languages are similar. Dutch and German, he thinks. But not the same. Definitely not the same. But yes. Tell you my favorite slime without telling me your favorite slime. I'm pea shy. There's your answer. <laughs> Looks similar from the outside, but when you actually know Dutch, it's a lot different. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of, like, the closer you look at it, the closer you look at the language, the more, like, nuances you find, and then those nuances just turn to, like, completely different things, and you're like, oh, well, by the time you've gotten far enough into it, you're like, this is a different language. I now know two languages. It's not just a dialect anymore. Uh, Stardew likes Shy Boy, so we're gonna guess both likes Puddle Slime. That's correct. This is correct. You got, you got it. You solved the puzzle. You did it. You did it. That's how I described it before. I was, I was asked that question already. But uh, it's okay. Questions need to be repeated because people come in at different times. So, and plus, you know, whether I like it or not, the more a question gets answered, the more detailed the answer becomes. So, because I'll, I'll feel like I need to add upon to it. Like, like it would, uh, like if you're in a class, right, and you ask the professor, like, professor, what's two plus two? And he's like, well, the answer's five, little Johnny. And then and then you're just like, but what's a five? And you're like, well, you see, when two and two make to get... And you have to keep on going with it. Is this my first playthrough? It's not my first playthrough. This is my first playthrough of Slime Rancher as we know it today. But I played back in the beta... Uh, not beta, uh, but like really, really close to when it first came out. So like, I think I only ever got to... Like, I don't know. I don't think the Slime Temple was a thing then. Because I never got to it. Um, but it was, it was, my, it was long time ago. I don't exactly know what, this dimension to my knowledge was not a thing yet. Um, let's see, the science area, crafting was not a thing yet when I played the first time. So, um, to, to answer that among other, there were plenty of other things as well, but started played back in 2016 when it first came out. I think it's more complete when it started playing a little bit later. Yeah, there, it had a lot of, I feel like it had a lot of other, um, like, I mean, obviously, many, many other improvements to it. And I didn't know about that until later on. What is this thing? 
Do you need water? Can I water you? Okay, guess not. There are no cactus fruits. But there are hens. Are you just regular hens? You are just regular hens. It needs ancient water. Oh, ancient water. Whoa. Interesting. Hello, dervish. The music here is haunting. <gasps> it's a big old Gordo dervish. Oh, I love you. But how do I get up the... Oh. I know how to get up there. I need to do... Do, do I need to... Do I need to go up into the... No, I can't go up in the little whirlwind? Oh. Well, maybe I don't know how to get up there, though. Or maybe I need to... I guess maybe that plant grows up, and then I can do stuff with it. Aha. Uh -huh. And by the way, it's the third area before all the slime doors, but you need three rock plorts. Oh. Nice. I don't have any rock plorts. How many... Are, how, how big is this area? This is... Hmm, this is rather large. Well, rock plorts shouldn't be too difficult to find, so let's go get a couple of rock plorts before continuing onwards. I like that idea. And if you'll excuse me just a moment, my party hat in the back of my head has officially come apart. Oh, just kidding. Well, oh, it's wrapped around my headphones. I need to rearrange that. Oh, it was kind of falling off the back of my head. What the, what is going on here? What is, oh, these things get me all sorts of confused. Get out of there. Get, 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 there we go. There's, there's party hats. Then, put it over here put it on my head, and put the headphones somewhere in between. This is exactly how I had it before. But it feels more secure now than it ever did before. Thank you everybody for your patience. Now we're gonna go find some rock slimes. I wanna rock! <laughs> gonna find where they are. Here's the nearest place that rock slimes were. I think they're hanging somewhere over in this temple. Potential temple. Ah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. The ambiance of this game is absolutely a bop as well, in case I haven't mentioned it yet already. I don't know if the Slime Rancher playlist exists on... Oh, consumption time. Oh, I'm gonna just take, take another drink of my coffee. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. In addition, there's one thing I need to repair over here. There we go. Now I can see chat properly. Resumption. Resumption consumption. Awesome. I gotta find the rock ports. Where are the rock ports at? Where the Rockies? Hey, are you Rockies down there? No, uh, yes, I see. There's so many portal ports. Hi, guys. Wait, 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 wait. You come with me. Um, you come with me. Uh, you guys eat. What do you eat? Do you eat, do you eat fruits and stuff? I don't have enough fruits for you. There are no veggies around here. You know what? That's okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna collect... I'm gonna collect me some puddle plorts. Yes, I know, y'all are very shy. Take those, gonna go back to the ranch, deposit all those things, get some rock plorts. Yes, that sounds like an advantageous idea. I'll just go back home to get those rock plorts. There are quantum rocks, uh, quantum rock largos. However, I need to get my fruits, and the fruits are up there, so I need to get up there first. How does open the door? Opening the door, getting on the floor. Where are the phase lemons? Bring me the lemons! Where are the, the lemons? There must be a lemon plant around here somewhere. Hi there, little guy. Oh, you don't exist. Unfortunate. Where are the lemons at? There's no lemons on this tree. Oh, there's lemons on that tree. But I require something... Some equivalent exchange action going on here. There we go. Well, that'll... That'll work, I guess. I don't need you guys. I don't need you either. So cute. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Needs more fruit. Needs more fruit. So I must find the fruit. What a fruit at? What a what a fruit? What a fruit? What a fruit at? Hmm. I don't think I can exchange carrots with phase lemons, can I? I think I just tried that, and it didn't work very well. Hmm. Well, we'll just continue onwards until I find some fruit. Some fruit to exchange. 
fruit and fruit, not fruit and veggie. Ah, yes, equivalent exchange. Hey, look, fruit. Well, that's convenient. Well, would you look at that? That's just enough fruit. That's exactly what I needed. Now I just need to find the lemons. Oh, look, veggies. Oh, but, hey. Hey, buddy. You want to eat one of those? Actually, wait, eat this one. Ah. Oh. That would have been very advantageous for all of us involved. Nope, I don't want you. I want you. And if I... You know, I'm not going to go back, so... Let's not worry about Puddle Plort. No, no! Oh, are you going to eat it? Wait, actually, yes. Please eat that. Eat it. Wait, do you want it? Do you want to eat it? Here, do, do you want this? Yes! Wonderful! Thank you! You are... What a... What a peach. Wonderful. Awesome! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it ate it all right. I guess I don't need these fruits anymore. I don't need that. Ooh, uh, mm, you eat, you eat meats. You do indeed eat meat. There are a couple of hens around here. I remember I was working on that guy a little bit last time too. But let's go find some of them hens, some of them hens, and just feed them on. Feed them on to the big guy over there. He seems hungry. Big guy needs hungry. What do I think a hen would taste like? Just kind of a tougher version of chicken. What a hen hen would taste like? Yeah, I just feel like a tougher, like a tougher chicken. Well, maybe because let's see, what do they eat? They eat grubs just like regular chickens do. So I suppose the taste wouldn't be any different. I don't know. Maybe they taste even better because they haven't been domesticated, like they have in the human world. So perhaps they would be a lot more like a much richer flavor. Oh, I'm gonna fall into the water. I don't want that to happen, but sometimes it just do. We'll wait for us to recharge. And then we can get over here. You look very happy today, sir. Would you like some more? What would you like? All this stuff? You need more? That's fine, glutton. Jeez. Y'all seem very hungry, but I have no food for you. There's a big guy who needs much more attention than you do. Oh, dear. Don't fall into the water. Don't hurt and die today. Any more uh, chickens around here? Hen hens? Hen wands? One, when, 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 words? Wins. Who's hyped for Slime Rancher 2? I'm excited for that. That's one of the reasons that it was. The, I think it was one of the days before I started my stream playthrough of Slime Rancher that I found out that Slime Rancher 2 was coming out and thought to myself, like, well, this is wonderful. I'm going to try to do a full th playthrough of this before that comes out and then hopefully hop on that train uh, when it gets released because uh, I'm excited for that. I feel like it was this was one of those games that, like, Back when I first played it, I loved it. And I wanted to play it more, but I just never did. You guys. You left only one of them. What am I to do with only one of them? They can't breed if there's only one. Everybody knows hen hens don't reproduce by asexual reproduction. They don't do that. Anyway. But yeah, the sequel that we deserve after 2020's mess. Oh, absolutely. With everything that's happened in 2020, I would deserve, I, I feel we all deserve a lot. We all survived. Good for us. And for all those who did not survive, they deserve it too, in their memory. I'm sure there are many, many a folk out there who wanted to see the day of Slime Rancher 2. And perhaps never got the chance to. But we will play it for them, in their memory. I, I do hats off and respect, but it'd be, it'd be, I can like, there we go. All the hats are currently off my head in respect for those who have fallen. It'd be a little difficult to take those off, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna meet it halfway, as best as I can. Um, so I got my rock plorts. Uh, I got some hen hens. I want to give the rest of this meaty, meaty goodness to the big old boom slime. I don't exactly know how many more meals that guy needs, but um, we're gonna try. We'll try our hardest over here. I need to wait for my energy to recharge. And then I'll jump across the chasm. Don't fall into the water. Please don't fall into the water. Water, water. And we'll wait and get up there. Take it to the top. Come on, get up there. Yes, lovely. And there's Mr. Boom over there. Well, if you're not doing his favorite, it's probably going to take about 60. Yeah, yeah, it's going to take a little bit. Minus the stuff that you've already given, but the favorite at 30 at least. Yeah, I don't know how many I've given him so far. 
Which is unfortunate, Should I should know that. I need a switch. Where to switch at? Arr, I need a switch. Where's the premier switch to switch the door? Where is the switch? Arr, guess what your favorite Largo is? I don't know if I'll be able to make a very good guess there. I really don't have much to work on. Um, I'm gonna go with Total Shot in the Dark, Phosphor. Phosphor Largo. That's what I'm gonna go with. Not there. Or perhaps it's the Boom. I'm gonna go Phosphor or Boom. Boom's my second guess. Phosphor being my first one. This just seems something lovable about that. Unless, unless Puddle, Puddle Largos exist. I have not seen any Puddle Largos yet. So let's say that's a... Maybe that'll be second guess. Phosphor, Puddle. Oh, Honey, Honey Hunter. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Nice. That's a good choice. I love the, the Hunter ones. They're, uh, they're also rather shy in a way. I guess they're not shy. They're just devious. Not shy in the same way that the Puddle Slimes were. Oh, okay, okay. I can see over on my other screen over there. This is the first time, by the way, that I'm running stream and game on same computer. And I have my settings on this ramped up to maximum to stress test it and i just noticed that obs is kind of screaming at me just a little bit um quick question to those in the crowd is it stuttering are things stuttering a little bit over there because if it is i know exactly why and we can fix that and then i can adjust the settings real quick it's a bit of an experiment today so I'm trying to see if we can get that to work it seems to be working flawlessly so far, so I'm cool with it. I just happened to notice that OBS was telling me, Ah, oh, your streaming encoding is overloaded. Like, do something about it. And I was like, well, I don't want it. Not right now. Yeah, you need more. That's okay. You're, you're a good guy. We'll just, just for argument's sake, let's put it down to, let's do hi. Default. Default's fine, but I do like those shadows. Those shadows look so wonderful. No, it wasn't the shadow. What was it then? Lighting? What was the setting that I just saw? Maybe it was the anti-aliasing. No? Uh, let's just do two. That's fine. Custom settings. Shaders? That's fine. I don't know, dude. Ambient occlusion. Oh, that was the ambient occlusion. That's beautiful. Keep those changes? Absolutely. That'll be better. Every day is a learning experience. All right, well, I gave you all the meat that I possibly could. It's time to go back to the other dimension. Uh, can I get up there from here? Mm, no, so I will just go the other way. Oh, you can make it. Come on, Thrusters, you can do it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Thrusters. Thank you, Thrusters, for facilitating our travel to yet another platform. And again. And again. I wonder what other types of slimes are over there in the glass desert. I know so of the things that I know so far, there's dervish slimes over there. There's apparently a different type of uh, fruit. The prickle pear, obviously, which I hope to be able to cultivate in my own farm. I take a few back with me. I don't know what else is over there. There's a ton of other different types of slimes that I have yet to find, so I assume they're over there. Oh, where's the switch? Did I miss the switch? Ah, uh, and I fall into the ground again. Apparently my biggest problem in this slime temple, workshop, science facility, whatever it is, is getting around. I need to wait to recharge. There we go. Oh, there's more chickens back again. Well, yeah, I'll come back another time. Where to switch at? There to switch at. Nice. Or I could have just walked up here and just jumped over. That's also another possibility. Oh well. I still am curious about how the heck those treasure pods work. I know absolutely nothing about the treasure pods, except that they're everywhere and I cannot open them. Those are the only things that I know of. And I just haven't taken it upon myself to Google search it. Because it feels like I'll figure it out eventually. I feel that one day I will figure out how to open those pods. Maybe it requires the power of science to do so. In which case, uh, we're not there yet, but we will be. 
The power of science will take us there. I have full faith in the power of science. Okay. Moving through the little crystally areas. I want to call it crystal, but everybody knows it. Ah! There was rock! Mm. There are rock slimes here. Look at that. Who knew? Who knew? Walking through this little area over here, we find that there are giant shards of glass. Shards of glass candy, the candy for adults. What's up, Hobson? What is this thing? Painted? You're beautiful. Awesome. Looks so cool looking. The glass desert is a fascinating place, but you need to be on guard. At any moment, a dangerous solar anomaly can occur that will cause all heck to break loose for a spell. You'll know it when you see it. And when you do, head for cover or risk burning your tuchus. Excuse me? It's dangerous over here. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this painted chicken. It's like a regular chicken, but many different colors. Hi, Dervish. Bye, Dervish. Where the door's at? I see a door over there. There's some ancient thing here. I hear a whirlwind behind me. That's cool. Are there more prickly pears? Hey, the map. Thank you for map. Hey, well, would you look at that? Oh. Oh? There's another warp point? Oh, no, no, no that was... Yes, there is another... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Well, would you look at that? Uh, a door for a key? Don't mind if I do. I'll open that up with what I've got. What's on the other side? <gasps> a torch! I love torches. They set things on fire. Oh, might as well um be careful. Go across this way. Oh, is that a... Ah, well, 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 well. This looks like it requires a crystal slime. Certainly not you, right? Ah. That appears to need crystal plurts. What else is there around here? I see it looks like another area for crystal plurt. And, whoa, okay. That looks dangerous. Very dangerous. Okay. Needs three crystal pl There's a thing down there, too. What is that? Ooh. What's this? Is this... Oh, I'm guessing this is where I would get the ancient water, but I suppose I have to activate things per first. How curious. Curiouser and curiouser. Is that... That sand is moving down there. I definitely should not go down there. I feel that I will die if I go down there. So I will... I'll use my brain this time. I'll use my intuition. And intuition says, Don't do it! If you do it, you'll die! I hear you, intuition. I hear it. Apparently, I need some of them crystal slimes. Crystal plorts. Hello, Tabby. Cute. Alrighty, then. Oh, I can go grab those at some point. At some point. They like, um, what's the, what's the crystal guy's favorite? It likes, they like the onions. The odd onions. I do not have any on me. This is so weird. I like it. It's like, it's eerie. It's eerie in a way. It's like eerie and... I don't know. The word Eldritch comes to mind, but that's not thats not really how it feels. Not like Eldritch Abomination. More like Eldritch Dreams. Oh, what is going on over here? Hi there. Hi. Okay. Yep. Yep. Y'all look. Hi, buddy. 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 It's okay. Just calm down. Calm down. It's okay. We're all friends here. I said we're all friends. Why don't you believe me? Where are all the cacti? I have not found a single fruit of cacti. Where is it? I see many, I see many plants, but no, uh... Oh, what are you doing? Oh, yum, yum. Whoa, okay. Was oh, that a, no, that's a rock plort. Oh, you ate the other one too. Or did you, did you eat it? Okay, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, thank you. Did I, oh, you ate him, didn't you? Oh, you ate the poor little hen, or did he? Did you eat the hen? Where, where, ha I hear a chicken. I hear a chick! Where'd you go? Chicky, where'd you go? I will save him from these monsters! Nah, I guess I won't. I, I take it back. I'm not saving you. Sorry, chicken. Could I have just gone this way from another way? What is this? What? What? What messery is this? What lies behind these crystals? Absolutely nothing. I see all these cactus around, but there is no cactus fruit. 
What's up with that? What's up with the distinct lack of fruit around here? A man's gotta eat. Speaking of fruit, I also have. F they also are selling figs at the Whole Foods now. I had never had a fig before, like an actual fig before, um, before the beginning of this week. And uh, figs are delicious. They're delicious, sweet, and squishy. Squishy like a slime. This is what a fig looks like on the inside. If anybody was ever curious, for those who are not as enlightened about what figs look like. Oh. The hell are you guys? How do I feel about Fig Newtons? Fig Newtons are wonderful. They are the uber snack. Hi, bud. M mosaic. Mosaic slime? I bet they like the painted hens, don't they? Don't they? Don't they? Do they? Do they? Do they? Silver parsnip. I like veggies. Anyway, the mosaic slime. Um, remarkable from every angle. Mosaic slimes. The mosaic slime gets its name from the glittery array of glass tiles that cover its body. This glass produces a similar anomaly found in the desert itself, making the mosaic slime beautiful, but quite dangerous. Mosaic slimes can be very dangerous for an unprepared rancher. Their glass tiles create a shimmering effect in daylight that attracts other slimes to them. It is unknown why slimes exhibit this behavior exactly, but leading theories indicate that Sparkly things are just super cool. Even more dangerous, the mosaic slime can produce glints in the space around them. Ultra-hot solar anomalies that grow in intensity before drifting toward the ground and bursting into flames. Glints can be snuffed with a splash of water, but the best way to reduce their appearance is to ensure your mosaic slimes are well-fed and not agitated. Whoa! I love it! It's, cu it's cute and dangerous! <laughs> like, like many others that I'm aware of. That's pretty cool. I like that. That is so cool looking. Damn. I'm a fan of that. And it's attractive too, uh, to other slimes, of course. I'm not saying that I personally am attracted to the mosaic slime. That just sounds weird. But if you're into it, just be into it. Oh, what are they? Oh, oh, pink slimes. Yeah, I don't like, I, uh, uh, cool. What are they? What the hell are these? Oh, uh, I don't think I actually need... Uh, yeah, rock ports aren't important. I can always get more of those. What are, what are these things? Oh, they're prickle pears! My, my, would you look at that? I found the prickle pears. Wonderful. And it's considered a fruit, I'm sure, but I need... I require veggies for these little ones. I need... I'm getting a lot of emails for some reason. What is going on? Oh, my diploma apparently came in the mail. That's awesome. Wonderful. Hobson, what's up? Two doors, Beatrix. Life is filled with moments where there's two doors and you can only choose one. I came to the far, far range because I search, because a search for the unknown is in my bones. And in time, even a thousand light years away from Earth wasn't enough. So I searched this for the secrets within the ancient ruins that led me here. This place was my ticket to go even further. Belated congrats on graduation. Thank you so very much, Kelly. I appreciate that. It has been quite the journey and I, I honestly i am very happy that it's over i know a lot of people are like oh you know like leaving things is so bittersweet but like i for one am happy to move on i'm happy to move on to the whatever the next step in life is and apparently the next step in life is a very interesting time of figuring out either job or jobs uh, plural and uh well we're still figuring things out over here but like there's still a pandemic going on so like we can all just chill and slow down a little bit and not take too much of the pressure to heart Hobson says the ruins are actually great engines that allow for travel through space and maybe even time. After years of study, I knew how to activate them, and I alone would be the first to cross over into the true beyond. It was the ultimate adventure. But then there's that other door. I met Thora and fell in love. What are the chances of that? She had a piece of my heart, and the universe had the other. Two doors, Beatrix. Two doors. And not the houses either, like two door houses. Well, I had two doors. One, um, Hobson, I don't know about you, pal, but it appears that, um, both of them led to the same place. Hmm. Kelly's in school right now for medical laboratory science running COVID tests. Ooh. 
That sounds like a lot of fun. Especially, is that like a, that's, is that for like research purposes or more like, um, I mean, it's COVID stuff, so it's, it's probably research. Research had always been one of those things that I thought like, I'd always wanted to do it. Like always wanted to do research stuff, but it just didn't feel like, it, it didn't feel like for me, so to speak. It just seemed like if I were to do research, it would have to be like on the cutting edge of, th I mean, like, I guess I got mixed feelings about it. I like the idea of doing research. But, like, of the research, like, opportunities that I've had, um, it was more or less just kind of, like, a single professor who is like, if you'd like to do research in my laboratory, you can spend 40 hours a week getting paid basically nothing. Um, so do you wanna? And I was like, mm, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, she was very understanding about it. But, uh, that was the opportunity that had presented itself, and, uh, sometimes you just gotta say no. I have three silver parsnips! Perfect! I can take those. I'd like more silver parsnips before I move on and feed these to the mosaic slimes for the plorts that I need in the other area. Also, not research. If you're afraid of academia. Yeah, I understand that. Honestly, after being in academia... Let's see, let's see. Kindergarten through 12th grade is 13 years, plus the five years. Like, after 18 years of academia, I think I can, at the very least, give it a big fat break. Hobbins at doors like these, but I didn't go. Didn't go to the doors. I had packed for a new adventure, but it wasn't going to be on space and time, so I said a little goodbye to what could have been and headed to Thora's ranch. I'm looking forward to hearing the sound of those wind chimes. I've never been in love before, never known anything like it. It's time I got to know what all the fuss is about, so good luck to you, Beatrix. Always remember to use your head, but let your heart do the thinking every now and again. It might surprise you. Oh, damn, Hobson! Damn, Hobson, boy! Love speaks wonders. See, if I had a love of research, maybe I would have gone the research route, but I don't. So instead, I just kind of like, I've always been obsessed with kind of doing like, all these years, always being told by professors and stuff to do what they tell you to do. I've always been obsessed with the idea of doing what I wanted to do. And I never really had that opportunity because I couldn't split my, I couldn't split my attention evenly enough for, for, for me to be able to actually pursue those personal projects of mine. And, uh, and the time that I've gotten, I'm trying not to waste it, but I've been able to at least ponder more about the potential projects that lay ahead. Actually, I don't need more than three silver parsnips, because if it's the mosaic slime's favorite, I will get four plorts out of the two parsnips. So I'll have one for one left over. Let's go back over there, trying not to hurt myself along the way. Prickle pear. Lovely. I think I have all that I need to continue onwards. And some new friends, like the Painted Hen, the Mosaic Slime, the Silver Parsnip, and a Prickle Bear. But I completely understand of the the reluctance towards academia. I had always thought, like, I had thought to myself originally, like, I'm gonna go to college, and, and like, um, maybe I'll get a PhD, or maybe I'll get, like, a ton of, a ton of other degrees, just because I can. And after, after going through grad classes, I've realized, you know what? There are other things in this world. That's okay. I put in the effort right now, and I think this is a very nice stopping point for now. And if I ever feel so inclined to continue on later, it's not like there's anything stopping me, so. But but not right now. Not right now. Let's let let's let the world recover a little bit. Let's let let's let the world recover. Let's let me determine, you know, perhaps a more concrete idea of what to come next. And move on with that. And in the meantime, hobbies are a wonderful, wonderful thing. And now I realize how enjoyable they can actually be. Because previously, while going through the time at academia, I really didn't have a lot of time for my hobbies. Every once in a while, I would be able to draw a picture in my sketchbook. Every once in a while, I was able to watch a television show. Every once in a while, I was able to like spend the time playing a video game. And it, it was like, geez, I felt like so, I felt so overworked all the time, naturally, because like, most of the time it was all work 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 but like you gotta have time for your hobbies as well and i'm very happy i'm very happy with it i like my hobbies me like my hobbies okay so i'm gonna gonna i'm gonna have these chickens hang over here for a little bit chicken 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 hens excuse me not chickens i mean they are technically chickens one mosaic slime give him a parsnip give him a little bit of a parsnip and as you as well, do you, do you want eat? Eat, eat, consumption, eat it. Yes. Those, those plorts are beautiful. My God. I also just noticed too, like the sound of the plorts, the plorts sound like they're like 
made of glass. But I think they all sound like that. It's not just the mosaic plorts. I'm pretty sure I've been hearing that sound this entire time. So I'm gonna take a wild, wild guess and say that... Whoa, 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 okay. That was unexpected and scary and definitely almost resulted in my de untimely demise. There's another one. <laughs> that was scary. I have had way too many close calls. Also, like, where are these solar flares that they keep telling me about? Like, <laughs> whatever you call them. I haven't experienced that yet, though that's absolutely me completely asking for it now, as I understand. That's how the world works. As soon as you get used to not having something, it just happens. So let's go up to there. Move myself over here. Get up on top of this little thing over here, because I don't want to lose one of my forts by accident, because that'd be unfortunate. Boop. There may be another one. Where are you? So I found three up here. I suppose... I think the little fountain down below had four little lights. Am I correct in that? Let's take a look-see and how many lights there are down there. Uh, potentially. Oh, just kidding. All right, I guess that's it. It flows, and it flows good! Uh, I guess I don't need this water anymore. Don't need this water. Because now we've got an ancient, 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 oh, oh, what is, I have 30 seconds. Oh, I have 30 seconds. Oh my goodness, it's so ancient that it becomes less ancient with time because when the, when the water experiences time, it becomes not ancient because it's only ancient if it's like a thing. Whoa, that was cool. I don't know what that did for me, but here we go again. Okie dokie. Wow, what is, what is going on? What in the world? Whoa. It was cool! What was that all about? Well, that was pretty fun and exciting. Is it- does it stay like that? I guess it stays like that. That's pretty cool. I got my cue berries. And these other things. Well then. I was not expecting that in the least bit. How exciting! That was super cool! Nice! Well then. Now that the shock of that is over... So I need... I need other things. Right? Oh, this is this is water. But it, what kind of water? It's just regular water. Okay. Where else can I take this ancient water to? There's mosaic plorts. I got the parsnip. I want to keep one of those. I don't think I need the mosaic plorts anymore. Oh, is this thing like... Oh, I got more prickle pears. Nice. That's important. Anything else secret laying around here somewhere? No, I guess this ancient water was what I was looking for. I wonder... There may be other fountains that I can use, perhaps? To extend the reach? I'm gonna say I don't need the mosaic bullets. Um... Oh, I have the hen. Yeah, because I want to take the hens back. Oh, you ate some of them, didn't you? Unfortunate. But I do want the painted hens. Don't need those guys right now. All right. Let's go get some more... Well, I want to see where there may be other plants to water, and then take the ancient water to them. But I need to find where those little, little plants are, and determine whether or not I can get to them in 30 seconds. down here over there there's one down there okay i should have 30 sec I, I believe 30 seconds is enough time to get from all the way over there over here that feels about right more painted head hello there painted head painted lady oh it's the painted it's a painted lady painted lady because like it's a hen a hen is a lady a rooster is a boy so it's the painted lady the painted lady hen very cute zo kawaii Need that water. Can I like suck it from over here or now nah, I gotta go I gotta go all the way over here. Alright, 30 seconds. 30 seconds, I'll do the thing. 
I need I need enough energy to be able to make that gap though. There we go. 15 seconds. I can do this. This feels this feels doable. 10 seconds. It's doable. It's totally doable. It is absolutely positively doable. Nice. Very nice. It's the, so, the, the, the thingamabob. It's the slime from before that I got the special thingy of. Oh, I don't need these parsnips. Give me the slime. No, not the tabby. This guy. Tangle. A slime that... Oh, it's, it's a sleaze. It's a sleaze. Well, that's new and exciting. And absolutely wonderful. Oh, hey. Hey, you. Well. Got a couple of them that... Wow. Oh. Oh, you are so cool looking. Tangle Boom Largo. That is really cool looking. Are there any more special fruits over here? That's how I got the sleeves. All right, I think this is a good enough time as any to head back to the ranch and deposit some of my things. I'll make a new corral for the hens, a new garden for the prickle pears. Um, but first, of course, reading the entry for this Tangle slime. Oops, stop, please. There we go, there we go. Tangle, 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 tangle. Tangle slime, diet meat, favorite the painted hen. Though the tangle slime may look innocent with its wide smile, colorful flower atop its head, it's actually a fearsome predator with a big appetite for meat. The tangle slime earned its name from the twisting vines that it can produce to grab things in the environment. It's unknown what caused the tangle slime to become such a fearsome predator in the Bering Wastes of the Glass Desert. However, if the land once resembled the lush greener of the oases within, perhaps the tangle slime evolved in a much different environment than what you see today. It can be a handful on the ranch if they're not well fed at all times. Oif. Oif, oif, oif. Well, this is new and exciting. And I think the one thing I want to do... Oh my god, there's another one! Hi there! Oh, thank you! Oh, I'm so beautiful. I used to be the kind of individual who uh, repressed the, the, the feeling that one gets when seeing things that are cute. Because, like, you know, to be a man, you have to be... Stoic and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, uh, forget about that. that. That that's that's behind us now. If things are cute, I make it very obvious of how I feel about it. Must have been one heck of a scorcher that caused these glass formations. They always looked like flames to me, like a great firestorm covered this land before being frozen in time. Then again, maybe these are flames burning away, but at a pace we can't even perceive. Perhaps this desert has two different times overlapping one another, and here we are, stuck in the middle of it. Wouldn't that just be wild? Like, wouldn't that just be the absolute most crazy thing that you've ever heard of? Hobson certainly thinks so. This is Mary Angel. Uh, so, okay. So I see another ancient plant there. But how do I get the water over here? Are these more painted hens? These look... Oh, no, they're just regular hens. They just look a little differently colored because of the lighting in this particular area. More prickle bears! <laughs> I don't know what I'll do with all these prickle pears. So then the question becomes, where to get the water over here? Oh, what? Oh, oh you need a dervish slime. You need a dervish plant, don't you, to unlock? I bet. Oh, parsnips. That can be useful. Hmm. Prioritize the parsnips or the other ones? Let's see. Oh, you eat. You eat these, don't you? Do, do, do you eat? Yes, you do. Yeah, eat that. No, not you. Ah, uh, how about you instead? E eat. Consume. Consumption. Thank you. Okay, we'll get you. We'll leave these guys over here. Okay, well, it appears that this is the time where things are going to get pretty crazy. It is now hot. Oh, but I've taken... Oh, I, I thought I got hurt, like, anyway. Nervous. Anyway, I have taken cover. So, so I guess I just waited out, right? Oh, yo, shit, look at that! It's a big giant flame spire! What the hell? That's so crazy looking! Shit's on fire! What is going on over there? Give me that prickle pear. Can I benefit from this? Is there a way to benefit from this? I feel that there might be a- Oh, shit! Okay, I- What are these things? Can I- Can I absorb those? No, they come down from the sky and they're dangerous. Alrighty then, I guess I shouldn't be touching those then. But I feel, I feel that there is a way that we can all benefit from these firestorms, but I just don't know what. But in the meantime, let's just eat a fig and forget about it. Figs are yummy. All right, well. I suppose I just wait this out. Hmm. 
Well, how y'all doing? Have you ever, um, you ever been to California? Sorry, that's probably way too, that's too soon to joke. Um. What's that sound? Did something, did a slime just burn up? That was, can they die? Burn up in the flames? I mean, it seems to be not so bad. Right? What are you? Wait a minute, what are you? Oh my god, wait a minute, the fire, fire slime. Wait a minute, what? Fire! Oh, give me you. What? Hell yeah, fire slime. I knew there was a way that we could benefit from this. There had to be. Okay, well, oh, is that? Can I get up there? I wonder if I can get up there. There are other little, so I found, I found the one little, um, uh, uh, statue for the dervish slime plort. Um, I assume there's more. I don't know where though. I'll find them eventually. It's a, it's an exploration kind of day. This is what we try to do. Try to figure out the wonders that lie around us. If we can. Only if we can. And if we can't, eh, no pressure. But, whoa! Oh, I was already here. I was wondering why everything looks so beautiful. <laughs> it's because I have already graced this area with my presence, obviously. No, it's got nothing to do with me. It's all the slimes. I am merely a cog in the machine. The slimes are the clockwork. Oh, that could have killed me. That probably could have too. But not this time. So I got fire slimes, tangle slimes, and mosaic slimes. So many different slimes to choose from. But where be the other statues with which to place the plorts upon? This is two-door area, so I want to go to the two-door. Does doing that really do anything? Because I don't think it actually does anything at all. It's the same place. What are you talking about? Hobson was just trying to alley-oop me. Can't do that. So I go over here, and there seems to be a puzzle about this. But what be that puzzle? What is the puzzle? Where am I on the map? I am at the tippy tippy top, huh? What to do about that? I have a feeling. Yeah, actually, I really don't. I have I have no idea what to do with this. But I look forward to be able to figure it out. Maybe I can... Maybe there's a, a hint somewhere atop of that. Nope, it's just a big old thing. I see... I see pipes running in. Perhaps there are six different pipe areas to activate before this thing done do its thing. There's also whatever the hell this is. Water. 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 Nope. This this guy seems fun. Can I you want some water in your mouth? Are you thir you thirsty? Thirsty slimes? Thirsty thirsty thirsty. Thirsty thirsty thirsty. Thirsty Thursday is a wonderful song by AJR using samples from SpongeBob SquarePants. The show. It's lovely. It's a lovely song. What's up here? Is there anything up here to discover? Something around the edges? A little off the top? AJR is a wonderful band. I uh, I recently, while I was on vacation about a week ago, I uh, oh you know what these? Can I? This is a door. Is this not a door? This looks like a door. I don't know what to do about that. But while I was on vacation, I was listening to their... I, I never actually had the chance to just sit down and listen to the most recent al album that came out. I want to say it's Bummerland. I, w I know that's the song. That's one of the songs on the album. I don't remember if that's the actual album name itself. But um, that one was good. I think... I want to say it was the th song 3AM Thoughts or something like that. Gray Warped... Excuse me? Wait, what are you talking... Oh, new plant primitive available. A set of two gadgets allow you to remotely transfer... Re yeah, what? Oh, interesting. But I think it was their song 3AM Thoughts or something like that. It just, that hit me deep at that point. I don't remember what it talked about. But when I listened to it, I was like, wow. That's, that's something different right now. And I, and I enjoyed it. That's today's song recommendation. Um, and now actually, you know what I should probably do is figure out 3 o'clock things. That's what it's called, 3 o'clock things. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's today's song recommendation. 3 o'clock things by AJR. Uh, it makes you think about things. I think... If I'm thinking of the right song, it's 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 a it's a little political in a way, but I don't think it does so overbearingly. I think it's more so I think it's more so about like 
the confusion of the times more so than the politics of the times. If, uh, if I had to make my own interpretation of what's be getting across in that one. They've always been such a nice, like, like, um... They've always been a nice band just to kind of, like, tell it how it is. And what I can tell... That sounds so cliche, like, oh yeah, this band, unlike the other, tells how it is. But, like, from a, from a, um, from the ta standpoint of, like, a rather confused 23-year-old post-academia, or in some, ca in some cases for others, no academia at all, it just kind of, like, it feels... It feels like it, it's talking on a level that I can... You're talking on a level that I can level with because I, I feel like I understand where you're coming from. Or, or perhaps you as the artist understand where I'm coming from. I, I don't know. I don't know. Music is weird like that. Music makes you feel a certain way. And that's a good... Karma. Oh my god. Karma is one of their... One of their... One of my absolute favorites from them as well. Um, Karma. That one as well. For the same reason of like... I'm just like... This song gets me on a particular level. It's like that whole part of the song where uh, he goes like, Will someone please give me some diagnosis of why I'm so hollow? Please give me instructions, I promise I'll follow. I uh, tripped on my ankle and fractured my elbow. But doesn't that mean that the song can itself though? I try to explain all of the good faith that's been wasted, but after a while, well, it sounds like complaining. No, don't go away. Can I lie here forever? You say that I'm better. Why don't I feel better? The universe works in mysterious ways, but I'm starting to think it ain't working for me. Doctor, should I be good? Should I be good this year? That, like, like, I forgot those, I got those chills of my own, like, I listen to that and I just get chills because I'm like, wow. That was a small passage that hit every single point on the list. And it feels ominous. The, large, the, the largest of moods. The absolute largest of moods. All right, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm gonna head back to the ranch and recenter and figure out what the hell's going on. So I need to get back to the ranch somehow. But like that, oh. I have many other songs by them that I absolutely adore. Um, if anybody is into like a kind of like a like a poppy electronic sometimes I'd say like pop it's I'd say it's mo like alternative pop maybe I don't really know how to describe AJR to be honest what is I've already been there before cool oh <laughs> you bought tickets to see them and thought it was for this year but it was next oh my gosh so we I actually seen them twice in concert the first time I saw them was before I started listening to them. I went to a music festival called um, Firefly. Was it Firefly? Yeah, we went to Firefly. And I saw them on one of the stages, and that was when a buddy of mine was like, you need to watch this band. I think you'd really enjoy it. And I did. It was, like, I, I, loved, I loved the concert. That, at that point in time, I fell in love with their stage presence and the songs and their music. And then we also saw them when they came to Philly uh, at... Oh, I don't remember what the place is called. Uh, the Fillmore, I think. I think they played at the Fillmore. And then I fell in love with not just their stage presence again, but also, like, the type of shows that they put on. Because, like, the lights, the effects of the actual show itself was absolutely mind-blowing. Like, and I know it was all, like, smoke mirrors and ele big LED displays. But at one point in time, um, I think when they were singing Burn the House Down, um, I think... Uh, I, I don't exactly... The dude... I don't know why I don't actually know their names off the top of my head, but the dude who wears the hat. The, ma the main... The main dude. The main brother of the three. It looked as if he was hanging literally from the rafters and then jumped on down to uh, continue with the rest of the show. It was incredible. I know it was all just LED effects and stuff like that, but like... I think it was a... AJR. The, 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 the letters in the name... The letters in the band name are all their first letters of the first name i think i'm guessing andrew andrew seems a good enough guess andrew um john rico i don't know i don't remember i know i feel so bad because i can't remember their names i feel like andrew might be correct oh shiitake mushrooms uh well i gotta i gotta hang somewhere all right well it's certainly not gonna hang around here ah this is where the danger happens the danger squirms are coming back from the sky. Uh, how do I get out of here? Quick, uh, Slimepedia, tell me where I- I am not going anywhere. I need to turn around. 
I need to turn around now, pronto. Here they come. Here comes the fire down from above. Burn us all, burn us all. This is not where I want to be either. But I can hang right here. Unless there's a way to protect myself. There must be a way to protect myself. <gasps> oh, there's a door. There's a door right there. Okay, well, I need to remember where this door is. So I'm going to very quickly and swiftly take a picture of this location so I know where that door is. There was also a dervish slime as well. Can I? Am I protected here? I don't think I am. Hey, whatever. So I think if I go down... No, no, no thank you. Not down there, it seems. Okay, so I don't want to be over here. This was not the area that I wanted to go to, but I have shelter at least for a little bit longer as I increase the amount of energy that I've got in my system. We move on. Oh, that looks fiery. Fiery doom. Fiery doom and brimstone, and I go this way, and then I go down, and I go to the left. I need to go to the left. I follow along this path, and then go to the left. This is not the left, but I was curious nonetheless. What is over here? Is there anything of importance over here? Nothing that I can do right now, so let's go back this way. Preferably up here, where I can be protected. Where is the next direction? Nope, don't want that. How about this? Nope, that. Nope, other other way? Yes, I want to go that way. And then to the left. Nope, can't go to the left. When will I be able to go to the left? Oh, is that an area I can go to? Cavern? Cavern? Yo, where'd you guys come from? Oh, I came down from the ceiling. That's so freaking cute. Huh. Favorite album? The, is the one that over, is the thing that they do is they do the overtures. They're beautiful. I actually, I don't know of a lot of bands that do like intros and sometimes outros for their albums. And it's really, really cool when they, when they do. Like the overtures are lovely. It makes like the album experience even more so wonderful. Oh my God, just regular Hunter Slimes. Uh... Fire Slime, Fire Slime, just so I can get you. Okay. There we go. Now I can get you back. Do I need these fire slimes? Do I need them inside of like a thing? Actually, what do I, let me do it at this. Fire slime. Fire slimes are a rare breed of slime that lives on ash. Fire slimes will eat just about any food, but not without it being burned in the ash first. The only way to feed a fire slime is to use an incinerator with an ash throw upgrade. Fire slimes need ash to survive and will quickly snuff out if left on any surface for too long. When keeping fire slimes in an ash trough, simply burn any food item to produce some ash and fill the trough. Interesting. I now know that, and I'm glad that I figured it out now and before later. I need to go up there. That's where I need to go, so I'm going to do that. But yeah, the overtures are really, they're really, really nice. The intros, and I don't remember if AJR does outros, but they definitely do intros with their overtures. Oddly enough, another band that I listened to, completely unrelated to the first one we've been talking about. And it's also interesting, too, because they go by three-letter acronyms as their name. One is AJR, which we've been talking about, and one is NSP, which stands for Ninja Sex Party. They also do um, outros and intros for their albums as well. Um, so, like, that's really interesting, the fact that they do that. It's, it's something that, like, I had never even thought of. Oh, what is up here? Oh, it's a Pickles Tangle Slime! Oh, you like me, don't you? I'm going to take a picture as well on the map of where you are. So I know where to come back in a bit. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Actually, before I go back to the ranch, I want to find the way that dervish is too. That big old dervish. Um, I think you were over near the front. I also see a little area off over here that looks like that could be convenient to go to at some point. So much to explore. I love it. I'm going to go that way. That's that way. I want this way. Uh, can I go down there? No, the sand is moving, so I assume not. Moving sand is bad sand. It's quicksand. Quicksand is no good. I like the slow stand. Slow, slow sand. Have I read you? Have I read you yet? Ah, yes. Uh, I, that was the solar anomaly. Ugh. Also, the old-timey choir voices in, the, uh, in some of the songs are just... Oh, mwah, oh for sure. For sure. Um, specifically, I think it was Neo Theater. Neo Theater, that album had a lot of those choir voicey things. Um, I think that's the one. That's, I think, the overture that I'm thinking of, I think is called Neo Theater Overture or something like that. That or it was just the overture for the Neo Theater album. That was, I think, I started listening to AJR very shortly after that album came out. 
And I, oh, that's where that's where I kind of fell in love with it. But like, let's see, Neo Theater, and the one that came before then, the one that, where the album art is them walking on like pianos. I don't remember which one that is. Next Up Forever and Fia Finale. Yeah, Next Up Forever, actually, I don't have that in my like songs. I think that's just one of those ones that like I gotta be just in the right mood for in order to be into. And I just, I guess I was, I just didn't put that on there. Every so often I go back through like the artists that I listen to, like I'm sure a lot of us do, and find more songs of theirs that we truly, truly like. Cause like I try not to listen to, I, I try not to like a song on Spotify unless I'm gonna like it every single time it comes up. Because when I go through and shuffle through all of my liked songs on Spotify, if a song comes up that like in the moment, in whatever moment it is that I'm really not into, I'm, you know, I'm gonna wind up skipping it. And I don't think, I, I, I like the idea of my liked songs being a playlist that I can go to that everything that I could, everything that I like on there is something that I would not want to skip. And um, that's a pretty tough requirement because there's over a thousand songs, at least for me on my liked songs. I haven't reached the 2000 yet. I haven't gotten close to that one yet, but you know, it's a it's a it's a dream of mine. It's truly a dream of mine. So I need to be able to put some of these guys somewhere temporarily so that I can collect enough plorts to be able to create some uh thingy mabobs. So first let's collect a bunch of cube berries. I'll go say hello, hello to the phosphor slimes while attempting to collect all those cube berries. And I'm so sorry, chick. Little chick down there. I was not meaning to send you flying so far like that. I am so sorry. Did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that at all. Hmm. Oh, I'm at, I'm out of space for Q berries. Would you look at that? <laughs> Would you look at that? Who wants stuff now? What do you want, Ogden or Bob? I want Ogden. Aiden carrots helps you see in the dark. I don't believe you. Hey, Q berries. Look at that. One, two, three. Cool. Well, thanks for that. Happy to be of assistance there, Ogden. Ogden Ortiz. Ogden Ortiz. Ogdam, my friend. Ogdam. Oh, apparently you guys aren't hungry. That's fine. That's fine. My phosphor slimes are always hungry. Always hungry for more excitement. Isn't that right, everybody? Of course it is. Oh, of course you are. Yeah, do your thing. Go ahead, go ahead. Do, do your thing. Suck. Suck up the boards. I can sell all these ones after having uh, completely and utterly flooded the market with them. So maybe this isn't a very good idea, but uh, alas. Got some poodles. Poodle slimes. Poodle slimes over there. They're just they're so cute. They've got such, the, such a vibe to them. Quite the vibe. It's like me and my little hunter friends. Like, we're just, we're just cool, cool. Cuckoo slimes. Don't mind us. We're just chilling in the water. I like to think of the puddle slimes as like the individuals who like just kind of loiter at a place. And it's not like they lo it's not like they loiter be and they're not welcome. Like they loiter at a particular place and they're like they're totally welcome. They're like like the coffee joint that you always go to. And are so you just it's it's your place, so you feel so comfortable there. And that's how the puddle slimes make me feel. Whether that be um, you know, whether that be like a coffee shop or like a local pool or the beach. It's just that place that you hang, sometimes with your friends. And that's like that's how the puddle slimes th those types of individuals are who the puddle slimes remind me of specifically. Just the people who they've got their place, they know where it is. And that's just what they- that's just what they do. I, I think if I had to be bold, my place is my desk. I like my desk. I don't need to be anywhere but my desk. Although, oftentimes I like to go out and about and see the world, because sometimes my desk gets a little stuffy. Or rather, the apartment gets rather stuffy. And I don't like stuffiness. Stuffiness no good. You need to go out and get fresh air every once in a while. And today's Tuesday, that means we have to go for a run today, my fiance. Ooh, you know, crystal slimes are up on a hot number today, so I am gonna go grab them. Um, they require oka ukas, I believe. Or odd onions, perhaps. Oh, y'all look like you could get- Yeah! Phase limons! I've always loved games like this, because there are just- there is something- there is something about- Picking up a bunch of stuff and putting it all down and getting stuff for it that absolutely scratches that just that right itch. 
And hello there, Squid Boy Gaming. How are you this fine, fine and wonderful? I don't know what time zone you're in, but it's about 11.30 Eastern Standard Time over here. So how are you on this fine, wonderful Eastern Standard Time morning? I got about 30 minutes left of that, so I'm going to lean in to saying good morning as much as possible for as long as I've got left. I'm the kind of person, by the way, that I walk into an establishment and I take a look at my watch. And even if it's 11.57, I will say good morning. If it's two o'clock in the morning, I will say good morning. Because that's just the kind of guy I am. Uh, are these onions? Uh, odd onions. And carrots. Hey, welcome to the party, that lonely fire boy. And for those who've joined the party, as we know, we put on party heads for you. I have officially run out of significant real estate on top of my head. So I am no longer able to remove my headphones. That's the party hat. That one's for you, that lonely fire boy. And in case you, oh, and Squid Boy Gaming, you, you're welcome to come to the party as well. I'm gonna put another, oh my God, I dropped my other party hats. Ah, and good morning to Pro Man as well, who seems to also be popping into the chat over here. I assume we're all very big fans of Slime Rancher over here. Or perhaps not large fans, but maybe we're small fans. I, for one, am a very small individual. I, uh, I stand at about five foot, five and a half. And, uh, that's on the lower side for, um, most males my size. Mo most biological males. Uh, you, do, you guys like odd onions, don't you, right? The crystal slimes like the odd onion. Onions? You like the o onion? Oh, onion? Onion? Where are the crystal slimes? Onion! Absolutely. Squid Boy the gaming goes blub blub, which seems appropriate. I mean, you, you are presenting yourself as a squid over here. So I hope I'm not looking too far into that. And if I do, I'm sorry that I've offended you. But blub blub seems like a... I mean, that's what I... If I ever talk to a squid, like if I ever got real up close and personal with squid, I suppose that would be the proper onomatopoeia to use to communicate with them. Blub blub blub. Blubbity dubbity dub 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 rub a dub dub here comes the squid. Yeah. Yeah, I said that. Actually, what am I doing here? I'm just gonna take these onions. I'm gonna give them all to my scheme. Eat it. And then collect all your plorts. All your plorts belong to me. Uh what does this button do? Hmm. Hmm. What is, what is this? Oh, I can do things there. Blubbity dub dub. FKR, I, I was grr, trying, ah, wood, e, ah, I get it, it's okay, it's okay. I have those moments too. Often, I have those moments often, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> you speak the language, you speak the language. I speak many languages, well, actually, I really don't, that's kind of a lie. I speak English, fluently, uh, I, I... I, I like to tell people I speak German, but really it's only a, a, a small education from high school. I, I wouldn't actually expect that I'd be able to, to survive in Germany. Haben Sie eine Lieblingsfarbe? Meine Lieblingsfarbe ist brown. I'm sorry, blau. AJR Song Edge. Oh, Anna, you put the song singy song in there. Thank you. Okay, I need to get in there and collect them plorts. So give me the ports. I'm here for the ports, everybody. I'm here for the ports. All I want the ports. All I want the ports. Oh my god, get out of there! Holy crap. Well, that was a close one. And I got one port. Excellent. How did I only get one port? Oh my god. I almost killed myself. Holy crap! I almost died. Nice! There's something about coming very close to the edge of death that is just... It's exciting. It's, it's cool. We like that. Okay, so I also need to get... You know what? These guys need plort collectors. There we go. We need plort collectors. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And I apparently already have a plort collect- Oh, that's why- Oh, I didn't even need to go in there. I tangled with death for no reason. Ugh. Die for only one. You're absolutely right. Oh, and before that fly- That lonely fire boy was attempting to write fire. Ah, I see. Because if squid boy goes blub blub, then fire boy absolutely has to go- <laughs> It's okay. I get it. I, you're, you speak, we're speaking each other's languages here. And if there's anybody out there who wouldn't put them, put their lives on the line for one plort, I don't know if you're a real slime rancher. I don't know. I don't think... I don't know if you're a real slime rancher. You just don't know. You'd have to prove yourself otherwise, I suppose. I suppose. 
code. Oh, I forgot. I was on a mission for uh, what's his face? Oh yeah, give me the money. I like that. Pro Man used to remember playing Slime Rancher and then completely forgot about it. That's how I was with Stardew Valley, and then remembered it was a thing because people request things all the time. So I was like, I should do that because it's a fun and exciting game. I, li I like doing that type of stuff. Uh, I have not forgotten. I have not forgotten anymore. I forgot about it, then remembered about it, and same thing with Slime Rancher as well. Slime Rancher and Stardew Valley were two games that I heavily enjoyed when it came first came out. It's time to do some shoulder squeeze. Wait a minute, I can do shoulder squeezes here. Yeah, shoulder squeezes. Oh, actually, that hurt. Ow. My neck has been hurting recently, and so is my shoulders, so these shoulder squeezes will be good for my body. Ooh. Shoulder squeezes. We do exercise here. We, uh, we attempt to make sure that everybody does their exercises. If you'd like to join along, you're welcome to. To do a shoulder squeeze, you take your squ your shoulder, squ squalder waders, and then you warm up and then down. And that's that's how you do shoulder squeezes. We're doing shoulder squeezes around here. If you don't want to or you are physically incapable of doing so, that's okay. We appreciate your effort nonetheless. It's an A for effort. You pass. You pass. I'm coming back for crystal slams. Crystal plurts, because they sell for a lot right now. I don't know. It needs more Christmas lines. I don't want to go in there and potentially get myself all messed up and hurt again. Pain is a necessary part of life, but if we can avoid it, uh, I, I think it would be wise for us to do so. Okay, so now I think... Hmm, where do I want to put my other slimes? Well, apparently I need an incinerator. I should put an incinerator over here! I like that idea! Lonely Fireboy hasn't died once trying to get a plort. A plort. If you haven't died trying to get one plort, you don't know the true power of the ranchers. You don't know the tree, the sheer tenacity of the the ranchers. Incinerator. And I need an ash trough. There we go. And then I need to burn things in there. So I need. All right. Well, I need to do. What do I need to do? I need to have. Things. I need think. Ugh! I need to put things in there, incinerate it, bam, that's how we do it. Can I incinerate a slime? Can I do that? Wow, I'm heartless. But it worked. Oh my god, why would you bounce out of me? I'll do that. Ah. I can put them in now. Oh, I can? Oh, I have thought I have to fill it up with... No, what are you doing? Get back here! Thank you. Stop bouncing around. There we go. <laughs> oh, you were so cool. Yes! Yes! Aha! The plorts. I will take them plorts. Thank you. I will name you... I'm not sure if I should name you, because if I name you, I'm going to forget your names. How about... Princess and Princesso? Prince... Like, like Vincenzo, but Princess. How about... Princess and Princenzo? Princess and Princenzo are the names of those two fire guys. I like it. I like it. Beautiful names. Mwah, it's perfect. It's perfect. Give them a little chef's kiss. Princess and Princenzo. And I know I named the two dervish slimes too. But I don't remember what I named them. Sad. I know there were also two com completely generic names. Which ones they were? God, I don't know. I have forgotten already. Those yellow slimes keep on making me think the screen is glitching out. They they do, and they worry the hell out of me. And welcome to the party, pro man. I'm you're you're a special one because I'm actually gonna reach under the floor to grab the party has the Oh my god. Oh jeez. Oh, I was hoping I didn't have to. Oh, look at that. And I was messing around with the uh, the game controller while I was doing that. It's fun. It's fun. You know this party hat because we're running out of real estate is gonna go on top of where is the there's the big one. Yes. One of the party hats says, No, it's... Oh, okay, okay, that's not gonna work. You know what? Yes, it will. So long as I don't move around too much. Oh, you know what? Well, let's do... do. Ah. Half the fun is attempting to get the party hats on my head. I'm a seasoned professional. I've been doing this for a long time. I never mess up. It's all a part of the plan. There we go. Wrap that around that one. Wrap it around that one. And then there we go. Well, that's your party hit. It's over there. Anyway, what was I doing? I I'm trying to figure out what life is all about, of course. I need mangoes. And... Uh, car 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 
Oh, words, God. Carrots. I can get carrots over here. I can get carrots over there. Supposedly, so those quantum slimes, the yellow ones that are glitching out and whatnot, they shouldn't be a problem uh, unless they are unfed. Unless they are unfed. Oh my gosh, you highlighted your message, pro man. Nobody's ever done that. Nobody ever does that. Yay! Yay! I like that. That's hype. I like hype. Hype is wonderful. Nobody ever, nobody's ever done that. Nobody's ever done that in the history of Dota. Where are all the veggies? Where are all the carrots? I've been filled with newfound excitement because of this new experience. Where are all the carrots? I require carrots. My buddy Ogden needs carrots. I, I, I can't just disappoint Ogden. Ah! Carrots? Carrots? Why am I going this far for carrots? I just... I should have a farm for carrots, I guess. I, I'm just gonna go back. This is no longer advantageous to me. Hi, chick. Where did you guys come from? Where did you guys... Where did you... Where did you all come from? Oh, I got carrots. Haha, <laughs> nice. I like that. But how many carrots? That is the question. Give me this... Where did these chickens come from? Bro, chickens. Pogo fruits? No. I, I'll take the chickens, though. <gasps> carrots! Or just one. Okay. Okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I got some oka okas. More chickens who are... I don't even know what they're doing at this point. Could use some of those. How many carrots did he need? Five? Five carrots, I believe. I believe it was... Oh, that's a lot of phase lemons that are just now flying everywhere. It's okay. If the quantum sh slimes ever escape, they will be happily... Oh, did, did they go too? Well, I was not expecting to see this many hen hens out here. Uh, you know what? Here, um... Garden. Or, I guess... Mm. Yeah, there we go. Now we got carrots. Yeah, carrots are good. Carrots are lovely. They help your eyesight! Don't you know? Don't you know they have the eyesight? More... There's more chickens to be found. Well, I'll give this to you, Ogden. I don't think I'll be able to complete your order this time. I actually got, I got 11 minutes. That, no. Not the chicken. Silly. Not the chicken. We don't do the chicken. So the other day, I walked into a corral. And I walked up to this chicken. And I was like to the chicken, Excuse me, sir. Would you like to hear about an exciting new opportunity where you can make money by streaming games on the internet? And the chicken responded to me like, And I responded, you're absolutely right. It is not a sustainable way to supplement your income, so don't count on it. And that was my conversation with the chicken in the corral. It was, it was enlightening. It was enlightening. An important lesson. An important lesson for those out there. Remember. Remember. If you want to make money... Excuse me. The motorcyclists outside like to remind us that they're, that they're here. And they do so often. Oh, you guys look like you need food, don't you? Yes, you do. Here, um... Uh, well, how are we doing on mangoes over here? Y'all are great, actually. Yeah, eat more mangoes. Consume additional mangoes. Consuming mangoes is a good food. I don't, actually don't know what the health benefits of mangoes are. Vroom, 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 vroom. Uh, these dabby slams over here look like they could use a little bit of chip. Oh, that wasn't the right place to put them. Hey, you guys. Um, can I... Oh, is that a plurk collector? Oh, these are plurk collectors. They're not auto feeders. Oh, okay, well, y'all can just hang in there then. Have fun! Y'all are gonna die. <laughs> but at least you will die enjoyably. You will have... I don't know. Is dying enjoyable? For animals, I don't, I don't think it is. I am unsure. Oh damn! Oh, honey plucks were the way to go this time. Oh hell yeah! Upper crust achievement unlocked. Absolutely, upper crust of what? What's so crusty about life? I guess. Are we making bank on these honey plurts? Oh, but I forgot. Plurts are used for uh, resources as well. Uh, lest I forget. So um, this is the money for. I guess the plurts that are not 
high up on the market right now. Oh, you know, actually, that's a really good idea. If a plort is not currently selling well on the market, I can put it over in the crafting area because it benefits me more over there than it does over here. That's great. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. These things are 143. The glass. <gasps> the mosaic slimes. Ooh. Ooh. I should make an enclosure for you guys. And the tangles are over like 100 right now. That's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy crazy. And then I'll, I guess, guess I'll go check on my guys over there. Pro Man has been watching me for 10 minutes. Nice. It's okay. You, you're cool. You're cool to watch for as long as you want to. I, I don't mind people watching. I people watch people myself. So if I were to say to you, for example, Ew, stop watching me. Consumption. Coffee. Cold brew coffee. If I were to say to you, Yo, it's weird to, like, watch me, dude. That'd be pretty- that'd be hit pretty hypocritical. Because I, in fact, watch other people. And to be perfectly honest, this is something I always grew up with. My, uh, my mother would always say, you know, if you're bored, pretty much anywhere, you can always pe uh, people watch. And I was like, you're absolutely right, I totally can. And so essentially, this is how to people watch. You find a nice place where people are passing by, and, um, you watch them as they go by. I mean, don't be like, I mean, I would say, don't be, like, creepy about it. But, like, is there really a way not to be creepy when you've got your eyes fixated on somebody? I mean, I suppose this is pretty creepy. But, like, if you're just kind of sitting back like this, you look at them, maybe look away for a second, and then maybe you look back. Like, that's all right. I, I think that's okay. Oh, odd onions grow with carrots. Interesting. Here, hen hens don't need to exist around here, but carrots are good. I, didn't, I, I guess I figured that out now. But, like, people watching is a really, really fun... I mean, it can be fun. Fun is what you make of it, right? But it can be fun in the sense that, like, sometimes the people that you will see are... can be astounding. It, it's, it's very interesting to come across just people in general. You never know what kind of people you're gonna find out in the world. For example, I, for one, am not the kind of person who wouldn't watch the denizens of Walmart because there's an entire subreddit dedicated to the people of Walmart and... Let me tell you, there are some people of Walmart who deserve the title. Ooh, Kelly's going to Disney in a few weeks, and then he recommended people watching locations. And I need recommendations for Disney! She might be asleep right now. It's, it's possible. I, I can't really hear her talking through the door. However, let me think. My favorite places to people watch? I suppose the places with the highest population density. Because you'll find, I guess the entrances. People always coming in, people always coming out. I mean, I feel like if you're going to watch the people coming in and out, watch out for people watching the, the kids who are crying on their way out because they love Disney so much. That always gives, puts a tear to my eye. Anna has recommendations, doesn't she? Anna has recommendations, yeah? Yeah? Say that, say that again? What's the goal? What kind of people? I guess, what kind of people you want to watch? What, what kind of people? Because if you want the most calm ones, it's probably like Frontierland on the on one of the rocking chairs. You'll see more of a calm aesthetic unless you have people running to Splash Mountain. Interesting. Uh, fun. Hmm. Um, to see the joy of people walking in for the first time, definitely. Definitely the entrances for the joy of people walking. That would be like Magic Kingdom, I suppose. Magic Open Kingdom's the... little archway. Absolutely. There's, um, there's City Hall, and you can sit on the rocking chairs there. Oh, the rocking from... chairs in City Hall. That's a really good idea. Yeah. At night, though, you could probably watch from the benches right in front of where they put up the flag in Magic Kingdom. Um, nice. Epcot's best little watcher is probably, like... There's Italy on the steps, all the way on the side. Um, okay, nice. Where else would we take it? How about a good one is like, honestly, just Japan. Like, Japan in, um, Japan you mean like in, um, in Epcot. In Epcot, okay. Yeah, so you probably want to take it, um, you could be at the archway where they have the little, like, or that red Honestly, I don't know what it, the the big like the, the the Japanese archways are called. But I'm not sure what right they're called. There, or if you want to get them, um, honestly, just being in the store is crazy watching people because like it's a total different animal. From, so, like, so we've kind of got we've kind of got entrances. Uh, we've got uh, like outside of the more popular attractions like the mountains in like Magic Kingdom and, yeah, a, and the stores. Be outside of those. What's that? You're outside of those. Too Way too many people, apparently. Yeah, yeah, It'll exactly. Crowd It'll crowd you up real good. Absolutely. Oh, by the way, dearest, pro man 339. Or pro, excuse me, pro man underscore, uh, pro, pro underscore man 339 says hello. She waves. Hello. Say hello to the peoples. Hi. Okay. 
She has said hello to the peoples. Uh, Kelly's sister's boyfriend is 29. It'll be his first time at Disney. Oh, oh yeah, that's, ex that's exciting. I really wish I people's first powerful. times are. I feel like I feel like people's first times. Consumption coffee. Mm. I like my cold brew coffee. Oh, I never completed the last one. But yeah, like I feel like people's first times. Like if they're into it, like it's. I for my for my first time in Disney, I was like, wow, that it's 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 pretty cool. And especially when I started getting on the rides, I was really, really enthralled by all of the uh, the technology that they have there in Disney World. I, I am a big, I'm a big tech guy. And so when I see like the the awesome entertainment machines that are these rides and attractions, I'm like, how do they do it? And there's there's at least a ride or two that I just, I cannot even fathom what, how they do it. There are at least a couple of them. I'm gonna put a corral here for the mosaic slimes. Let's do high walls, air net in case they bounce around, collector, auto feeder, a lot of it. Get the get these mosaic slimes in a nice little location. And I realize, where were my, did I have prickle pears? Did I actually bring back my prickle pears? I had, what did I bring back with me? I don't remember what I brought back with me. I know I had tangle slimes too. Oh, look at those. Oh shit. They're setting things on fire. When they fall to the ground, they become fire. Interesting. Well, that's cool. That's so beautiful, actually. That is actually really pretty to look at. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't mean to do that. Wait, Tangle Slimes, come back. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. I did not mean to send you off into oblivion like that. Hi guys. Oh, is there a little area up here? Oh, well, this is cute. I was trying to see if I could suck up those little... Uh, they probably can't. I can't suck up light. Encoding overloaded again. Mm. I had to fool around with that last time. I'm glad that the stream just hasn't died at all. This has been going pretty successfully so well, uh, so far. I'm really happy about that. There was apparently more over here. I have never gone this way yet. Oh, but this... Ah, it's a way to connect back over here. I see. I see, I see, I see. Consumption! It's water this time. Actually, I'm gonna do a little water and try to get the coffee out of my face. Ah, nice. They say, so apparently, I, I mean, I didn't learn this recently. I've kind of always known this, but like coffee itself can stain your teeth. So can tea. Tea and coffee can stain your teeth. And the be one of the best way, like if the damage isn't already done, the best way to prevent it from getting any worse is to just, when you're done taking your sip of coffee or whatever, just swish some water around. Because what winds up happening is your coffee grounds and your tea pieces just kind of, just, just leach into your teeth. And I'll, I'll admit, my teeth are a little yellow, but I brush my teeth more and more every day and floss my teeth all the time, which is a good thing. So that these pearly whites can showcase their absolute luster. Or at least that's, that's the intent. It doesn't always work that way. Okay, I have to fix myself as well. Oh. No, 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 no! I'm not disappointed. I like to be able to fix myself. It gives me the opportunity to do like a little stretch like this. Yeah, that's all right. And you know the camera angle isn't satisfying because we can't see all the party has. There we go. That's the fix. That's the fixing we get. There we go. I rely on people such as yourselves to remind me when things just so like it's kind of like a mindfulness thing, right? As soon as somebody does like the whole fix yourself thing, I kind of take a moment to be like, oh, okay, well, how can I how can I make a very subtle improvement? Subtle improvements all the time. Small things, small things all the time. I'm always looking for more suggestions on how to make things awesome. Because if things aren't awesome, then we're lacking a little bit. Things should things could be awesome all the time. What's up? Who's giving me a call? Mochi Miles or Victor? Hey, Victor. If you listen closely, very closely, you can hear a boom slime cells vibrate. But don't listen for too long, or you'll die. Two fire slime. But I only have two. Okay, I can't do this. I don't even have any hunter slimes, so sorry, buddy. Can't do it. That ain't worth it anyway. Not right now, at least. Okay, so I came back here, and I still need a... Um, I need a pen for the Tangle Slimes. And I thought I had brought back Prickle Pear with me. But now I'm... I, I don't know if I did, actually. Where could I have... This is where I have carrots growing now. 
This is where I have the Oka Okas. I got the Phase Lemons over here. Might as well bomb over here. Just top those up. Come here, yeah. There we go. 18 Phase Lemons. That's good. It'll keep all the guys happy. Are you actually out here? You're actually out here. Why are you out here? You shouldn't be. But you guys! Wait, how did you... Uh... Oh, we're full. That's why. I need to remove all the ports from here. Did a thing. What kind of thing? Well, obviously, Pro Man reminded me to fix myself. That's what Pro Man did. Pay attention! It's okay. Anna's doing her work right now. It's it's uh, it's only natural that she's splitting her attention. Um, actually, I'm looking at oh, actually, she's looking at the anime haiku right now. So, oh, she's looking at the mangas. Are quantum ports? How much are quantum ports right now? Are they really a lot? Eh, they're like 39. I think better off to put quantum ports in the science center. More so than anything else. Ah, uh, Haikyuu is also a local favorite as well. Of Miss Morbid Kiwi. I, for one, here, I think Anna has watched at least three times now, and I know. Anna has watched Haikyuu five times this year alone. This is this also coming from a woman who obsesses over things. She obsesses over Disney, and she obsesses over um, specifically Haikyuu the anime. Well, you try dealing with the fact that. Well, I mean, I certainly would cope with grad school by uh, getting myself lost in my favorite things as well. All we do is do stupid things and play volleyball and it's normal. Let's see, what did I do to cope with when I was taking my grad school classes? Or my, my grad classes. It wasn't grad school classes. I've always been in undergrad school, but I took grad classes. But like, what did I... How did I do to cope with that? I really just kind of went through it. I really didn't do anything. I just did more work. I used... I did more work to make myself feel better because progress is a... Progress felt good at the time. It was a pretty... It wasn't... It wasn't fun. It really wasn't fun. I'm glad it's over. I'm glad it's all over there. Uh. Wait, what'd you say, dude? To do what? $300 to what? Oh, to get every single bit of high, uh, high Q stuff. It's about $300. Awesome. Well, that's cool. That's a lot of money. Anna, do you have a favorite character in Haikyuu? The answer is apparently no. They're all my babies. They're all her babies. How could she possibly pick just one? Except for the people they defeat. Apparently those other schools are trash. That's rude. You can't just call them trash. They all have beautiful backs. Absolutely. That's a mood, by the way, dear. I'm not sure if you're keeping track of chat over there, but... Oh, she's not. Okay, then. I'm now transitioning into work. Anna is now doing work. Yay. Good for Anna. She's doing exactly what she's been supposed to be doing. I should be doing work, but, you know, honestly, sometimes this feels like a job anyway. Not in a bad way. We're constantly improving in lives, and I'd say that this is a part of my... It, it's, it's a hobby of mine. This ain't, this ain't work. This ain't work. I got work stuff. If if I didn't have actual quote unquote work stuff to do, yeah, I'd consider this work to be a little bit. But like, if if you do something you enjoy for a long period of time, is it is it really work? Uh, it really isn't. It's enjoyable. It's not nice. It's fun. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, Kelly! Oh, there's so many gifted subs in the crowd. There's five of them. I don't know how to deal with that. I, ha I have to do I have to put party hats on you know what absolutely we're putting party hats on this is how we do things it's now it's time to get creative it's time to get creative for all the five more things payment for your work and having a good time well thank you so much I wish I could repay you in a more like immediate and gratifying manner but I suppose uh, this more recent presentation will be how I make up for it watch and learn ladies and gentlemen and those who fall in between or beyond as a man, 23 years old, five foot six maybe, attempts to put more party hats on his body. I'm five foot six. The Anna's is five foot six. I'm gonna attempt to put this on as best as I possibly can. And for that, I need to actually unplug these headphones for a little bit because I need leverage. 
I need this party hat over top of that one, over top of the other one, which is over in the front. No. Ah! Would you like to get more creative? Would I like to get more creative? What do you mean oh, more creative? Oh, are you creative? doing those? Okay. Ah! Oh no, I broke it! I've broken a party hat. Okay, one of the party hats has broken. That's okay, we have plenty extra. I was trying to put it around myself like armor, but like here, like that. I will don these party hats like armor. What if I like, how long does this go? Hmm. Don't try. I was gonna try to put it around my leg. What if I, I've never tried this before. Cameron! If my, if my feet pop in a camera, I apologize. I'm not wearing shoes right now. You weren't gonna break that thing. All right, this party hat is gonna break. Thought. I'm not. I'm not supposed to do this. This is not. This is not a good idea. This is me fumbling around with myself. I want spikes on my body, so I am going to put this around my head. There we go. Around, all the way around the back. All right, that's one. I need all these party hats over top of my head. That's what we're gonna do. This is one way how I. This is one way of how I keep the entertainment up in this crowd. And do things like this because it's silly and we're all silly i'm silly you're silly you're silly we're all silly for silly silly <sighs> okay stop that was good it. i didn't break anything i didn't break nothing at all what are you doing what are you doing stop what oh did you fix it yes I fixed it. yay all right that's number four here's number there five we go. Ah, it fell off of my head that's okay i'll fix that in just a moment uh, la, 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 la. There we go. So all those are over top of my head. I need this guy. Oh. Ah! See, I need my little helper. Oh my, my little God, helper. You broke it. That Did I break fine. it? Yes. Right. Oh, that's it. It's okay. That one can just kind of. That, that one just can, can just. That will hang, hang off. off like your earrings. Okay. So now, now what I can do? What are you doing? Is turn this around. You do know I'm gonna have to get you out of this lake, right? No, 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 no. I don't need help with this. I don't need help with this. If I do it like this. I can put it on my shoulder if I put it around my other arm. Oh, there's like 20 there we things. go. Oh my Jesus. There we go. That's one shoulder pad. That's okay. That one. you just tossed like three behind you now. That's one shoulder pad. You know what? I like this clusterfuck. I like this. There you go. I am an amalgamation of party heads now. Alright, I like this. That is five more party heads. Yes! Excitement! This one, baby, this is, this is going down in history. This is going down in history! Oh, did I put all the quantum slimes in there? Oh, no, no, I'm supposed to build them the other way. Foster slimes are cheap. We don't need them. Oh, and my headphones just powered off because they are not plugged in. I actually have new headphones coming in. Um, probably within the next month. I gotta put that back on. Ah, I have to plug myself back into the Matrix. There we go. Where's my power button? There we go. Now I can hear things again. This is good. Gucci Gucci gum drops. Yay! Everybody's happy. Everybody very, very happy. I'm very happy. Oh, once again, thank you, Kelly, so much for that. That was really, really cool. That was really cool. I am going to use these. I am going to use this gracious, gracious gift of yours to... I am going to buy pizza at some point. To keep myself fed. And that will be wonderful. I will also, in addition, put that back into the community. By making small and subtle improvements. Or what else? Perhaps, actually, you know what, Anna? Maybe I'll buy... Maybe I can get some of your Haikyuu mangas again. If we find them in stores. There's, like... It's cool because, like... I, I, I bought... I went on vacation. And I visited uh, my buddy Glenn's parents. Uh, who are living now over in, like, South Carolina now. And as it turns out, they've got like a bunch of game stores near there. And we went into one of the game stores and they were selling like a bunch of manga. And one of the manga they were selling, they were selling like the most recent up-to-date copies of the Haikyuu manga. Um, the last one came out. Yeah, the last one. So I think volume 45 just came out, but I managed to snag 43 and 44. And uh, you know, I just gave them to the one who likes them. So, which is, which is very good. We like to keep this house happy if we can. You guys need food. Y'all need food because you got expensive books. Y'all ate this? Yeah, I ate all the figs. Haikyuu. you. These are the books we got. Manga. We're not really. We're like we. We're not really a manga That's the house. First mangas, I think, it's I the first mangas. the first mangas that we've ever had in the house. So like. No, I've had other ones. All right. I also need tangle slime. So I think I'm just gonna make a corral from them right here. 
Uh, I hope that doesn't come back and bite me in the butt. I really hope this doesn't bite me in the butt. Now I got the Tangle Slimes. I got the Puddle Plorts. Let's put like half of them over here. I don't know exactly how many Puddle Plorts I need for crafting purposes. And let's put like half and half. There we go. And I'll sell the rest of them. Oh, what are you guys doing? Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that's why you guys have all those sparkly things of doom. Because you're not fed. And you need to be fed. So I will I will happily provide that for you. Oh, you know, they need painted so the Let's see. The Tangle Slimes need painted hens. The Uh Mosaic Slimes like the other ones. What are they like? I'm trying to remember which ones like what. Oh well. Hey, you should be in there. Get in there. No, you should also be in there. Get in there. Yeah. Absolutely. I lost my train of thought. What was I doing? I need fruit. I will go over here and harvest the fruit. I guess I didn't plant the prickle pears anywhere. I'm confused. What did I come back with? What did I come back with? I'm so confused now. I could do yeah. It's good morning. It's good afternoon. It is 12.09 now. So good afternoon, Lorelei. And welcome back to this wonderful, wonderful adventure. What are you doing out of your cage? Get back in there. Oh, what is that up there? Is there something up there? Is that a... What is up there? There's a slime up there. How did you get up there? Oh my god! You come down from there. I have you all fed. What's the problem? I have all of you fed. What are you doing? Jeez. Guys. Guys, calm down. I have all of you fed. What are you doing? I don't even get the guy who's all the way up on the ridge up there. This is why I can't have nice things. Are there any more of you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay. Time to go and retrieve. Quantum slimes consider walls a suggestion at best. Oh, yes. Can't confirm that. You're up here now. Uh, is, were you the same one that was up here? Okay. Oh, hi. Yeah. Oh, hi there. Hi there, pal. Maybe I should significantly decrease the number of quantum slimes in there. Yeesh. Let me grab some okas. More oka okas. Which I think were the favorites of the... Other guys. More lemons. I think they were the favorites of the crystal slimes. If I'm correct in saying. It's actually, it's a little, little tough to keep track of all this. A lot of favorites. Everybody's got their favorites. We must have all the favorites. And if we don't, well, I guess really no harm, no foul. But then, uh, stuff like, you know, that'll happen. Where, uh, our buddies decide it would be more advantageous for them to exist on top of the ridge as opposed to in their cage. Like, like, good ones. I just, I just don't understand. I give you all these lemons, and what do you do to me? Ah! They were what convinced Lorelei to free range. Okas are ra Okas are rads, odd onions are the crystals. Ah, okay. Rad ones. Nice. Good thing they're both in the same location anyway. Then I can come back and take care of these other quantos. Quanto, jump on it. Oka woka wokas. Y'all need food? Y'all need food? Yeah, you y'all probably need food. Eat it! Eat it! Okay, okay. I'll uh, take that and boop, there we go. And I know I realize I don't need to go into their little cage this time to present myself with a unique opportunity of collecting plorts. I don't need to do that this time. There we go. And I think I need a significant amount of rad plorts for the harvesters and whatever those are. So I don't need pogo fruits. I mean, you eat fruits, right? Uh, no, those were veggies and you were also veggies. So I don't need pogo fruits. But I will take the rest of you. Give the odd onions to the ones who want them. And then take the carrots back to the hunters. It's a lovely, lovely time. It is a lovely, lovely, lovely time. Odd onions. Eat it. Eat it. Mmm, tasty. Absorb. Absorb said force. Take them all in. Absolutely. What a bounty. What a bounty. Bounty being the quicker picker-upper, according to the commercials. And more carrots. You fire guys look happy. You got a lot of ports in there, actually. Oh, mm. perhaps we just. All right, you know what? Yeah, eat those. Mm. Eat those carrots, and then we'll take the ports. We're about the fire ports. There are quite a few fire ports in here. Oh, did not mean to suck you up like that. 
sorry, sir. Ma'am. Are you Prince Princess or Princenza? I don't remember which one's which. I know not. Get some more plorts. Bring them all back. I think all of these are going to go for re uh, research. Unless one of them sells for a significant amount. Which I don't think really any of them do right now. So I don't think it's really worth my while. Um, and then attempt to take care of the quantum guys as much as possible. Oh, you were going absolutely insane. I, I guess... I guess I need to feed you more often then. Yeah, I guess... Feed you more often, I suppose. Oh, jeez. Wowza. Hunters are chickens only, unless yours are Largo. Ah, yes, these are all... These are Largo hunters. Um, how far in the glass desert have I gotten? I... I unlocked Ancient Water for the first time. Um, I also went to... I found the, the, the big, big teleporter engine room. But I haven't done anything with it yet. I think basically as far as I got with... I got Tangle Slimes, I got Fire Slimes, I got uh, the Dervish Slimes... I've got, I don't have prickly pears with me right now, but, um, and then I was able to get to, um, I just said it, that, uh, that, that, that area with the two doors, and then also the, um, the place with the ancient water. So I was able to do that. Rads are like 50 right now, crystals are like 48, they're all kind of the same, quantums are like 38, fire 60, hey, you know what, it's fine, I've got, I've got plenty of money right now. Um, actually, let's see if I can make any more improvements. Core module and heart modules. Eh, they're not really. You don't really need those. But yeah, I think we spent about an hour exploring. An hour or so exploring that new area and then coming back here and taking care of business. Now I want to take care of y'all as much as I can. Let's get it all in there. There is something about the satisfaction of just putting all the, like, disposing of all of your ports. Oh, it's such a cool feeling. Now I wonder if these are the right plorts for the things I must create. Uh, pink plorts. I don't have any pinks or tabbies. I need the basic ones and honeys for all these guys. So I'll go back and get some of those. Um, in addition to... Let me figure out what these guys want. Dervish require the prickle pear. Tangles require the painted hen. And those guys require the silver parsnips. The sounds are incredibly satisfying. It's it's music to my ears. Now, is there a way to like? Is there? A, I think I'm running out of plots. Like, is there a way for me to make more plots for all of my fruits and veggies? Because I need now need to add like three or four. I mean, I guess I have enough of them for now. I think we'll be. I think we'll be all right. I'll come back though. I need to go back to the glass desert to get what, what these guys want. These, these guys, those guys. I mean, I suppose they'll eat anything for now. Just so I can get some plorts in the mix. Um, y'all need food. So how will I do the food this time? Y'all are slowly but surely breeding away, I assume. Yes, indeed. Hawk beats are advantageous for rock plorts. I don't think I have a lot of rock plorts in that inventory over there, so let's do that. Eat. Eat. Consume. Eat and be merry. Yes. There we go. Eat some of those, collect some more plorts. I'm sure there will come a time where I will be able to hold more plorts in my inventory, as, the, as, as of this moment, it is a limitation to only be able to hold 50. I'm sure that will resolve itself eventually. And then I want to go to those pink slimes and feed them really whatever we've got. Nope, but there may still be a ranch zone to unlock, which can be good for quantums because it's a safely sealed. Oh, it's safely in seal. Ah. Aha! That's convenient. I guess we'll see. I guess we shall see. So can I can I make any of these now? Maybe the rock plorts. I have quite a few rock plorts. I need the pink, the tabby, and honey plorts. Pink, tabby, and honey. Oh, you guys look like you're getting angry. <laughs> Whoops. Pink, tabby, and honey. Let's collect some of those. I'm pretty sure I've got quite a few of the... Pretty sure quite a few of those ones. Um, how many pinks do I got? I got like eight. That's fine. I, I could I could do with some more of those. There's plenty more other goodies to find. Like 20-something honey? Alright. That's cool. Need tabby as well. I know I have a few of those. 14. That's fine. And aunt as well. Take the few berries. Because those phosphor slimes are already having a wonderful wonderful time. I wonder, are those drones that I realized we can now unlock, are they able to automatically, like, harvest from, uh, 
plots? Because I realize now that would be incredibly convenient. Okay, we got at least two of y'all. Hen, 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 Eat. Consume. Yay. Eat them. Because I feel like the, if the drones were able to come over here and, like, harvest things for me, that'd be very convenient. I mean, I assume, I assume that's what the drones could, could do. Automation seems to be the uh, the common denominator there. Give me some of those tabbies. Give me some of those tabbies. I have unlocked two fellow rancher minigames. Yeah, fellow rancher minigames? What does that mean? What's a fellow rancher minigame? I'm new to this. I don't know what those are. Not yet, at least. Eat. 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 Consume. How do I find ra fellow rancher things? Are they, like, inside of the house? I haven't checked the house, actually. I haven't been there in a while. Star mail. Sleep until morning. DLC. What does the star mail say? What do these guys even say? Casey, the van. I should read these. Re, the van. Casey, huh, it wasn't that bad. You just don't have the fortitude to make it as an artist, I guess. Beatrix LeBeau can climb a mountain before breakfast, but can't spend a few days in a <clears throat> modestly accommodated, breaks down only half the time vintage touring van. You were so miserable. I still laugh about it, but I really did appreciate it for those few days. It was great to have you in the crowd. That van still runs, by the way. And then Ogden asked him to partnership. You seem to be making a name for yourself, and I like your style, so let me cut right to the chase. I'd like to offer you a job doing a little side work for me. I've got a chunk of land on the outskirts of my property that has access to a place called the Wilds, a land of primitive, feral slime, and dangerous as all go at, get out, but also home to a delicious, rare fruit that I love. If you're up for the challenge, come down to a little retreat of mine near the Wilds and learn more. I found a derelict trans teleporter on your network that I've activated on your ranch. It'll take you right to it. Oh. Oh. Drones can, but they are most useful with non-plorts. They they need a silo to deposit them into. Ah, Mochi and Ogrum. Uh, visit Ogrum's retreat has offered you a job working. Enter the teleporter near the overgrowth to learn more. Oh, Mochi. Ah, the overgrowth. It's over here. Oh? This seems exciting. What is this? Hey, what is Ogden's retreat? What? Look at that! Whoa! It's a completely new area. Is this, like, on the map somewhere? No, it's completely... Interesting. Well, this is cute. What is this? Hiya, Beatrix. Thanks for coming down to my retreat and hearing me out on my offer. So let's get right down to business. I built this place years ago as a little vacation spot for myself. Later on, I realized it, 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 it realized that it neighbors a cluster of islands filled with primitive saber slimes. I called these islands the wilds, and after exploring them, they revealed the true secret, the rare kookadoba fruit. That's a, what's a kookadoba? Why, it's only the most delectable, irresistible fruit in the known universe. Well, most people say it tastes like rotten cheese, but they're wrong. Anyway, I soon became obsessed with kookadobas, but I found myself quickly becoming too old and too slow to deal with that risk. You see, the wilds are home to hordes of feral slimes, the descendants of the ancient saber slimes that once hunted these lands. Collecting kookadobas is dangerous. And that's where you come in. I'll happily reward you for collecting those sweet, sweet kookadobas for me. Just deposit them into this custom range exchange here, and we're in business. Collect enough of them for me, and I'll start giving you my secret miracle mix for your gardens. I'll also reward you with a block of my special spicy tofu for every three kookadobas. I've activated the teleporter to the wilds here at the retreat, and it's now yours to explore as you see fit. Just know that the warp network there is a little buggy. You won't always arrive at the same place, and you'll have to find a working teleporter to make your way back. It's buggy, I know, so don't just be prepared. Well, this is interesting. Kookadobas. Interesting. So I guess I can unlock certain other... Ah. Okay, so now I have three zones with plots to unlock. Oh, sweet! This must be the area you were talking about. Cool. Well, I'm gonna head back just for a little bit to deposit some more, um assets for the crafting system but now that i know about that oh boy oh boy oh boy indeed that's exciting let's get some of these pink slimes get some more pink slime uh hunter slimes i'm sure they'll be used for crafting going forward move myself over here to the crafting area where we will deposit all of these plorts make a couple of harvesters which i assume will be very important at some point in time and then, yeah, then we'll see what happens from there. Satisfaction! Nice. Awesome, let's make some stuff. One of the- oh, one of them is- this isn't the sealed- that one isn't the sealed local. Interesting, there's even more to find? Nice. So I want to see if I can make one of each of these. I seem to be pretty low on pink plorts, so I need more of those, but I'll do the apiary first fabricate got it i'll do the apiary first because i believe i can put that over in the moss blanket 
and harvest things from there. So I will put it over there. And then work my way up to getting more pink slimes. Which will eventually become their thing, because those hunters and stuff are... They've got plenty of food in there. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. I think what I want to do is I want to put... Uh, yes, I will put you over here. Apiary. I want you a cute little thing. Well... Oh, and I can't... I can, <laughs> that's cool. I can move it around like that. Oh, time to take care of you feisty ones. Alright, if you're out of your cage, you're staying out of your cage. I will not allow this. I will not allow such... Such... Such, um... What's the term? Insubordination. I will not allow such insubordination from my... From my slime game. That... I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. Oka, 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 oka. We got you all. I need to collect you, please. Oh, jeez. I suppose finding one of the sealed locations is where I will eventually, eventually put all these quantum slimes. They just can, ju they can just kind of have a realm all to their own. Did I get them all? Oh nope, some of them are over here. Oh dear. Oh boy. Wait, no, where'd you? Oh, you came over here. Excellent. I hope none of y'all have gotten over there. Are y'all good? Yeah, y'all are just fine. You know what? You caused me too much trouble. I'm sorry, but I have to do this. I had to do it. There's too many of y'all. I can't stand it anymore. I have reached my limit. I threw them off the cliff for their insubordination. There we go. That's what you get. That's what you get for disrespecting the family. You disrespect the family, you disrespect me, you disrespect this business. You got no business here. You disrespect the family, you don't got no business here. Scram. We don't need you anymore. Consumption! Get some more water. Speaking of consumption, and um, perhaps the need to do so, I gotta take a break. This, uh, this cold brew coffee of mine does a number. Does a number on my bladder. What do you mean, what the hell, Anna? Return to the sea. Go out there and go from whence you came. I suppose the slimes must have evolved from some sort of... Oh, those are birds. I got scared. I thought there might have been quantum slimes in... Uh, or, um, quantum slimes in there. Scary. Uh... Y'all look like you could use some fun, right? How you doing? Yeah, eat it. Eat, eat, eat be merry. Eat, consume, be merry. More slimes. Okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, carrots and stuff for y'all. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, wait, I wanted these for the pink slimes. <laughs> I got those for the pink slimes. Off we go. Back to those ones. I'll do pink slimes with the carrots. I'll put those, sell off those quantum plorts, and then I will go and take a little break. We'll come back, and we'll continue exploring the glass desert. I think while I'm gone too, I might rearrange some of these party hats. The, the, the nylon, or the whatever they use on these, ow. Little things that keep them on your head. Is it? Not, not a fun feeling. Not a fun feeling. It makes me itch. I don't want to itch. I do not want to itch. Yeah, get all those carrots. Yeah, y'all are great. Y'all are doing just wonderfully. Okay. Quantum plorts can go away. They're kind of down right now, but hey, hey, whatever. Money is money. Money is 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 break. Break time. Be back in a little bit, folks. Hello, everybody. We're all welcomed back now. I have rearranged some of my party hats so that they are not on my neck and choking the living everything out of me. I now have my shoulder pads and a bit of awkwardly placed body armor. But anyway, we shall continue. We shall continue. Ah, uh, yes. It's Return to the Sea. The official word on slimes going into the sea is harmless to them, so that's a good thing. Less need to feel guilty. Well, that's good, then. That's very, very good, then. Uh, I think one of my party hats is still a little, uh... A little overzealous. Oh. Ah! Which one is this one, actually? Oh, it's this guy. Oh. That, I can fix that one easily. That's, or at least I will tell myself that I can fix it easily. So as to feel, so as to seem overconfident. This is the one that Anna fixed for me. Uh, there we go. I fixed it. I totally, totally fixed it. There we go. It's up there on top now. That's great. Uh, we, sh we shall, we shall continue on our, with our slime ranching adventures. Going back to the glass desert. 
The pointiest shoulder pads. Oh, absolutely. The pointiest shoulder pads. I feel like an absolute, like, bulwark today. Like I could take on a million other people. It's crazy. Anyway. Moving onwards. There is... I thought there was a teleport point. I can... Actually, how do I... Let me look into warp tech real quick. Because warp tech would be very convenient. If I could gain access to that now. Very, very advantageous. There we go. I'm not sure if y'all can sometimes hear, like, the twanging and twinging of my party hats together. It's very enjoyable. It has the same vibe as the squelching of plorts being deposited and slimes bouncing around. It's, it's a lovely feeling, but I need to, I know, I know everybody, you are all suffering, I understand that. Wow, look at, yeah, like that. You are all suffering, and I get that. Soon you will not suffer. Your suffering does not have to last for much longer. Wild honey, jelly stone, which I need those, uh, things for. Primordi oil, primordi oil, 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 So that's what I need those for. Curios, warp tech. Need more pink torts. Need more of that stuff. So, alrighty then. There's more things too. Butterscotch warp? What are these? Did I consume? I'll consume again. Consumption. Nice. Oh, thank you, dearest, for keeping track of my uh, channel point redemptions. Novice Gordo Snare? A special snare that captures a Gordo slime, bait it with food and wit. Oh. Well, that's cool. I want that. I feel like that's important. Can I make that? Now? Ah, I need more primordial audio 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 oil. What is this? I don't know what that button does. Not yet, at least. All right. No more distractions. Back to the desert. Back to the glass desert so we may feed. Feed the slimes that want to be fed, that is. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, thank you, my dearest. What kind of tea is that? I don't know what tea is this is. It's too hot for you. I know it's too hot for me. It smells like maybe it's the marshmallow root one. It's the morning one. It has caffeine in it. I like caffeine. Caffeine is good. I had caffeine this morning. Mochi and Ogden. Mochi, mochi, mochi. Blah, 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 blah. Mochi likes the flirts. My toast is in a jam here. Help out, pal. Yeah. Yeah. Advanced pump is now available. Oh, cool. Boom slime, tabby slime, hunter slime. Uh. 100% time. Tabby, tabby. Tabby and boom. Gotta get one of them bones. Boom's gonna give him all the mojo mouths over there. Mojo mouths and gonna give me some good stuff if I give him the blue ones mm, for his jam on the sandwich. Oh, look at all these mangoes. I should collect those mangoes. Oh, y'all haven't been fed. Oh, I need to bring you some meat. Let's bring you some brighter hands. Wild honey you get by putting the apiaries in the moss blanket. Unsure if the ranch counts. Okay. Other locations of note, Indigo Kari for the drills, Dry Reef for the pumps, Glass Desert has special resources for all three types. Interesting. I'm gonna take a picture of that response, that message that I remember for later. Everybody's assistance is always appreciated, so as to, uh... It's, I wouldn't say it's railroading. It's just like, here's a tip. If you want to, you can. And I like tips. Tips are good. Tips are good and wonderful, so thank you. It will assist in the expansion and prosperity of our ranch. And it seems like there's only one of you guys. There's not many, so I'm gonna take the old dudes. Elder Hen. Elder Rustro. Ah, yes. You'll enjoy it. I'm, I'm sure. Yo, I got some hair. Ugh, got some hair tickling my eyeballs. That's never usually a good thing. Eat! Eat! Come on in and tell us what you got. On bloom floor, and then get a bunch of mini mangoes. The mangoes are four. Ah, oh, the amber slimes. They like those. They very much like those. Amber seems to be one of those nice ports right now, especially on the port market. You guys don't have any food right now and have not been producing because I have not been feeding you. But I will now. And we'll give these off the mochi miles and then off to Grass Desert. Oh, I needed two tabby. Two tabby plorts. I only got one for now, so let's take from. Oh, hi there. Nope. No, no, no. Nope. No, no. Nope. Nope. No, no. No, no, no. Get out of my. Out of my. 
plot. Get out of here. <laughs> Alas. Yeah, like there are resources you can always get wherever. Those places just have special ones. The special ones are good. Let's eat. Eat and be merry. Or eat and, eat and be Steve. I don't know. You can be whatever you want to be, to be honest. Bing. What do we get? <gasps> Lava dust. I needed that. Cool. Thanks, Mochi. What a guy. Oh, I'm going the wrong way for the... I mean, I guess I could have gone all the way around. Fuck with these beetroots to give to the rock slime. Go on. Actually, I'm going to throw them in with the, um, the pink ones because they... I need them right now. I require them. Requirements. Requirements for the consumption of many. Lava dust. Oh, don't mind me, y'all. Just gonna pass through in some lava dust. There we go. Alright. How'd you get out of there? Get back in there. Alright. Time to go to the Glalala Desert. That place. Back to the temple and then to the Glas Desert. I like the I, like, I honestly like the idea that there is just this dimension out there that exists between time. A pretty cool concept. Ah, I just wanted the money. I didn't need you actually. Escape! All of them just try to escape. There is no escape. I'll take some of these carrots with me too, because I think. The dervish slime, let's see, the dervish slimes like prickle pears, so I assume they like fruit in general, so I'll take a bit of fruit with me for when I get there. Yeah, 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 hello, all these slimes. Hello, 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 goodbye. Pink, pink, I don't need your plorts, not right now. I'll take your plorts another time. Just not right now. Oh, 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 eat! Go, eat it, eat it, wait, eat this! Yes! Ha-ha! <laughs> nice. Got my heart racing for a hot second. Can I use gold plorts for crafting purposes? I wonder. I feel like if they can be used for crafting, they are more important for crafting than they are for the stock market. That that would be that would be my thought on them. Because like, ideally, ideally they don't come across very often. So if you really wanted to craft something, you would need one of the really really rare to find ones. I'll go deposit that wherever it is accepted. So I come back. Please, please go away. Guys, please, please go away. I don't like you. I guess it's really not a problem. Much excitement for getting that gold plort. I'm, I'm excited. Indeed, yes! Crafting items. Boop. Yay! Now I got that one. Gold plort, got one. Sweet! Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, that's good then. That's wonderful. Trying not to get hurt. All right, that was unexpected. Now we're going back to the glass desert for realsies this time, unless something else unexpected pops up in, in between. Then uh, we'll, we'll just take it as it comes. I got some fruits on me. Got some pogo fruits. It's good. That should be fine. Y'all are having a good time over there. Good. So long as no other slimes get out while I'm gone, which I'm sure they won't. I'm sure they'd be just fine. For now, we'll just chill with the sounds of the acoustic nighttime, and then whatever happened after the after that, because like now the slimes are getting all riled up and crazed. These phosphor slimes are gonna be trespassing on my ranch, my property. Get on out of there! Well, or you can stay around so long as you're not causing a problem. If you start causing problems, I will have to ask you politely to leave. Well, you can't be doing that. Slowly but surely making our way over to the Moss Blanket. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello, lovelies. There we go. Nope. Go. Get get out of here. Okay. I think I missed every single one of those shots. It's fine. It's fine. I can make that. Thank God. Thank God I could. Come on up. Come on up to the... Doo -doo -doo. 
Uh, I keep thinking to myself how, like, nice and relaxing a game like this is. And I keep wanting to say it, but, like, I just sound like a broken record at that point. But it is very nice. It's just nice and calming, especially for a nice Tuesday morning. Uh, I have a couple of other things that I must accomplish later on in the day, but, ah, as I've said, it is for later on in the day. So, we don't have to worry about it right now. No worries at all. It's just a matter of organizing some things for work, as well as starting on another small project. Actually, well, not starting on another project. I'm doing a bit of um, a bit of a programming task to help out my father to uh, make some of his job easier. And it didn't take me a lot of effort to just code something up for him that does what he does. So it ain't no problem. And if it helps him out, then I'm more than happy to do so. Just gotta take a little bit of time to do so. It'll be great. Great and wonderful. It worked out great the first time. I made a, de I made a demo. I showed it off to him and he's just like, this is cool. Can't wait to see what comes next. And he's got this other guy who's like, oh, I want to see what he's doing. I'm like, oh, cool. Well, I'll happily show you. Oh, you know what? I should be on the lookout for meats and cheeses. There is no cheese, but there are meats to give to the big old boom slime who's hanging around here oh so carefully. Quantum slime's doing their thing. Any more meats and cheeses? I've not yet come across cheeses. Oh, there's some meats over there. The little chickies are the cheese, but I don't really, I don't usually take the cheeses. I don't think they eat the cheeses. We'll let the cheese grow up into meat, right? Right? Yeah, we'll let the cheese grow up into bits of meats. They'll, they'll enjoy that. I'm sure they like having a life that is uh, filled with, filled with um, childhood youth. Yeah, that's good. Nice indeed. It keeps me occupied, at the very least. I like the uh, I like being able to have projects to work on. It's uh, it's very nice. I do I do very much like having like just kind of stuff to do. I just remember like th looking back and like basically it kind of feels like how school was in the sense that you know there was a project to do for one class or a project to do for another class or projects to do for in this case uh, whoever is asking you to sp like split your time for them, which is nice. It's good. It's a good time. I need to open up this guy over here. And go on in here. Eventually, I'll remember how this stuff is supposed to work. Got plenty more veggies. Never know when they might need more veggies. I got veggies, I got fruit, and I got meat. Cucadobas may be the quote cheeses if Ogden is right. Ah, good points. They taste like cheese. Or they smell like cheese? Smell like cheese? Taste like cheese? Hey, everybody. Oh, of course you'd eat the big guy. That's fine. Just gives me space to take these ones. Yep, that is plenty. That is absolutely plenty. Don't need a pink for it. I don't need you. I'll take this stony guy. Stony hen. Stone hen. Stone hen. It's a hen that is made of stone. I'm just kidding. Otherwise, it wouldn't really be very edible. I don't think they're actually made of stone. They're stone e. They're not stone hen. They're stone e. So they're not completely stone, if any. If anything. They're not completely stone, not yet. But perhaps they're getting there. Perhaps it's a part of the evolution. Are there any, um... Any meats and cheeses down there? Just the meats? Don't see no meats? Where'd Mr. Boom Slime? That's Mr. Bo Mr. Boom Slime. Are there chickens around here too? Yes! Hello, chickens. I'm gonna absorb all of your parents. Children, just forget you ever saw this. And you'll probably be better off. All right, I don't know if I've served you 60... I don't know how much I need. Oh, you're old. you're close to being done. Hell yeah. What do you got? A key? A bunch of boom slimes. Holy crap. Okay, well, uh, uh, boom pieces? Oh, I can't absorb those. Nice, but a bunch of boom slimes. And the key! Yes! The key is good! I like keys and keys are good! Uh, I didn't want to do that. Not yet. I want to absorb the boom slimes first. Um, so that they have been absorbed. And uh, I apparently got a message from Casey as well. Lovely! All right, bye, booms. La, 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 la. It's harmless. It's okay. We have we have studies. They're just fine. We promise. Get other things from there, and I'll grab whatever I can from there, except for the heartbeat. We'll just throw that at somebody else. And it got me a key, which is great, because there was actually a key in the glass desert, or a, a door. You, you, yeah, you don't put keys in keys. You put keys in doors. Or rather, you put keys in locks. Um, anyway, but there was a one, there was one over there, so that'll be useful. And got me an email. Nice. Emails from Casey. Casey, want to send me emails? Or see me. 
Casey sends me emails. I don't know why Casey sends me emails. I think we like each other. I think Casey's a very special person in my life. Or Beatrix's life. That's what it feels like. I think she's a musician. She's one of them groupies. She's one of those people who can live on the road for long periods of time. No, don't eat all the chickens! The chickens are mine! And so is the rooster, apparently. Mm. There's also quantum hiding around later key- Quantum hiding around later keys? Ooh. Quantum hiding? Like, I exchange one key in, in exchange for another? Like that kind of quantum? Or like quantum... Quantum-like slimes that are hiding the keys? Interesting. This game never, never ceases to provide even more content for us to enjoy. That was pretty cool. Or like quantum hiding may be like the method by which they are hidden. Potentially. Alright, now it's time to go back down to the qua to the the blanket. Blanket. Blanket, not blanket. Uh desert, desert. I don't know why I thought moss blanket or glass blanket. It's not a black glass. Oh. Whoops. There we go. Alrighty then. Glass desert. We're back again. Nice. Probably around here a Gordo that has a key. Oh, is it the Dervish Gordo? Because I definitely remember seeing a Gordo with it. Oh dear. Uh oh, have I? Okay. Oh, I gotta go for cover. There's definitely a um there is a Dervish Gordo somewhere around here. Um not here here, but like over there here. I don't know, maybe he's like around the corner. I haven't exactly taken a very uh, close look at these other little inner slices. Hmm. There's big old steps. But I believe it's somewhere up in those ridges. That's where I know there was a dervish uh, slime. Here, in that, like, it's in a small cube room in, like, the upper right corner of, like, the map. Oh. Uh, over there? Maybe. I think right up in this area is where the, the dervish one is. It's around the corner. I'm gonna head over to it to see if I can... Because I didn't actually take a picture of where it was in the map, so I kind of forgot about it. But we are here to find prickle pears, painted hens, and a lot of them. Here, give me y'all. Consumption for those who want it. I've got fruits for the prickle up. Uh, for the for the thing. Woo hoo! Getting spicy! There's a desert growth too. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I want to be able to get up on that top level over there. I'm not sure if I... Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Look at you. Oh, I understand now. There are statues hidden all throughout the desert to be able to unlock all the different things. I see. Got to take note of that one there. There's the dervish. I'll go on top of here, and then I can be able to get myself up there. Or um, here. Uh, I mean, no, you eat fruits, but here, eat that. What the? Oh, dude, I thought. I gotta check that. Dervish slimes like fruit, but not pogo fruit fruit. Oh, I have to be up close to it. It wasn't. It didn't have its mouth open. Alrighty then. Here you go. Eat. Eat and maybe marry. I don't have any prickle pear for you right now, but I technically only need one to bring back and start a farm with. So. Quantum was what you were thinking about, but right in the dervish, and if you feed them at least one thing, they'll be visible on your map for later. Oh, really? Oh! <laughs> I didn't know that! That's so cool! Nice! I honestly probably would have stumbled upon that sometime later, but I'm happy to know about it now. <laughs> that is very funny. Painted hens are down there. <sighs> Head thing down here. Painted hen. Oh, they look, the little chickies look so cute! Oh, good, beautiful! Anyway. Now, I still don't know exactly how to get all the water, like the ancient water out here. I, I wonder if there's a way for me to make, like, the timer on them, like, longer? I have a stony head until I need to conserve space for the others. Oh, what popped out there? Who is it? Who is it? Who popped? Oh, there's a stony head over there. Yeah. Nice. Oh, there you are popping around. I gotta, don't got space for that one, but I got space for the other one. Hello! Oh. Yeah, that little Gordo trick on the map is going to be incredibly helpful. Because I am very forgetful. That feels like... That, it felt like a good idea. It felt like something that was necessary. So I'm glad that it was. 
dervish. I, I should get more dervishes, actually. Maybe on the way back. It's now here. Ah, there you are. And I think you eat meats. So I, I know I can find more painted hens around here somewhere. So I will grab them for now. Hello. And then I will grab more on my way back. But I want to try to get that big Largo open. I want to pop! Pop them full! So I'll grab as much chicken as I can. And I actually do have quite a lot of meat right now. I've got at least 30 of the hen hens, which is perfect. Because I think that gets them about halfway. And then I would need... Uh... 15 of the painted ones. Hello, anybody over here? Nope, nothing in that one. The little paint the chicken doos are really cute. I like them. I like them very much. What's this? Oh, that was the map. I already unlocked that. Okay, there's another painted hen over here. And painted little baboos. There you go. Uh, and another one. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. And we'll see how far that gets me up here. Hello! Hello, hens! Eat! Eat! Consume! Consume the flesh of the fallen! The hen hens have yet to fall, but now they're technically fallen, right? Oh yeah, you are. Oh yeah, alright. Now. Oh, what is up with this? This is cute looking. I'm sure that will become relevant soon enough. And now I can see it on my map! That is so cool! Awesome! That might be... Maybe that'll be a teleporter there, because I could really use, like, a teleport location. I'm gonna go get a little bit of meat. Meat will be the next thing, the next priority, so that I can come back and get that thing open. Get that thing. Get that beautiful slime. Beautiful, beautiful. Big slime. What's her name? Her name is Biggie. Oh, this will be perfect. This will be more than enough. Painted chicken do! Stop. Don't take a bite out of me. Not appreciated. Not cool. Not funny. Didn't laugh. Um, alright, well, let's go back this way so I can... Let's get that guy open. If, if he, if, uh, that Gordo's quivering, I would imagine that we're very close. Maybe, maybe this will be enough. Actually, do they even eat the chickadoos? I don't know if they do. I've never tried. Well. Would you like some veal? No, you would not, but we'll hang around with it anyway. Oh, that was all we needed. Sweet! <gasps> A bunch of y'all! Um, yeah. Let's, let's see about... Oh my god, wait, 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 wait! Oh, I got the gold part! Oh, was there another one? Oh my god! That was... No! Oh! Oh, well, I came back then. Alright then. Well, at least I got the gold part before I warped away. And the painted hens. That actually worked out okay. That was okay. I like that. That's fine. Let's do... Over here, I think I'll put the corral for the painted hens. There we go. Corral. Give it the upgrades that it deserves. Oh, I'm sorry. Not the... I didn't mean to do that. There we go. I need the coop. That's what I needed. Hi, well, give it all of them. Yeah. Oh, fire. Oh, that might kill them. Oh, that might be a problem. Do they eat veggies? Nothing hurts the chicks, even the tars. As usual, children are invincible. So you guys eat the pears, you guys eat the parsnips. So I'm just going to give you a bunch of carrots. Except incinerators. Okay, I can kill them in incinerators. Okay, now y'all won't be so annoyed anymore. There we go. Tangle slime, or put... Oh, you... They're sneezing! That is so cute! Wow! I love that! Oh my god, that is so cute! Damn. This is a very dangerous place for a hen. But, um, maybe it'll work anyway. We'll see. <laughs> it's so adorable, I know! It's so fluffy, I'm gonna die! Uh, I need a couple- I need at least one of you guys to go over and, you know, provide the other half of the convincing for those females to produce. So go ahead. Go. Do your thing. Do your thing. Yes. There we go. Oh no. Oh yes! What's going on? Heartbeat. Eat. Consume. There you go. Eat it all. Nice. Mosaic floors. Those are very, very expensive. Very good. Tangles doing their pollen nonsense. Oh, is that what they're doing? 
Oh, the pollen. Oh, shit, the pollen. Ooh, does that hurt me? What if I touch it? What, does, that, does that do something? Are they going to find them? Oh, maybe they'll eat. Well, that might not be very good. Well, you know what? We'll have to find out. Uh, I don't know how many tangles we need, but now we got three more. So I'll put the gold plort away, and I'm going to sell the mosaic plorts because... Yeah, and I've got two gold plorts this round. That's awesome. That worked out incredibly well. Those tangle slimes are... Ugh, devious little ones. Devious little numbers indeed. So what? Warning, tangles can grab things out that's out the corral. Yeah, I was hoping that wouldn't happen. Ah, I guess that's how it's going to be. It's okay. It's okay. Um, or maybe it isn't. Mm. Let's see. Is anybody's is anybody's actual favorite snack like just a regular hen? No. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the painted hens from over here and just put them over in the plot with the regular hens, so that they're out of harm's way if they haven't already died. Painted hens. Painted hens. We'll keep one of them over here, but I'll keep most of them in the other one. There we go. Pollen doesn't hurt, but a sign they're getting grumpy, which means they're feeling grabby. Grabbing is no good. I'll put the painted hens in the other, uh, in the other coop, and then take these regular hens over here and bring them over. Because technically nobody's favorite is a regular hen hen. So, oh, no. Nobody's favorite is technically the hen hen. But not from what I can see so far. So I'll take the regular hen huns and just kind of use them for whatever I got. There we go. Uh, is there more? Big ol' old dude. I'll sell these ones. Uh, how are the hunters doing right now? Hunters are up to 66. Nice. Yeah, I'll sell that. And the mosaic ports. Oh, baby. Yeah! All right. That is perfection. I also apparently may have unlocked... Treasure Cracker? Yes! So that's how you unlock the treasure pods. <laughs> I knew it was something like that. Nice. Well, that's convenient. Now we know that. Now I can unlock the treasure pods. I wonder what lie inside. Cool. Here, eat these. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's actually pretty terrifying. I don't like that. That's scary. It sounds like they're like rattling in there. That was pretty spooky. And then the dervish slimes like the fruit. So let me go get some fruit for y'all. Probably some Q-berries, because we just got a shit ton of those anyway. Ah, indeed. I'm very happy with that. That is so good. Nice! And now you are all fed, so please be happy. Ah, uh, yeah, there's plenty of Q-berries. I'll give them all of the dervish slimes. I was meaning to bring back a couple more dervish slimes, but I transported away before I even had the opportunity. So, whatever. Oh well, oh well. So I guess what I should do is over there, I should have the prickle pear tree growing, or the prickle pear plants, prickle pear cacti over there, because the plant dudes aren't going to grab things that they're not going to eat, I don't think. Eat them. Eat. Be merry. Take this for now. There we go. Got any more plorts? That's one, and that's fun. One and done. Perfection. You guys will do whatever your thing is. I will take um, at least one tangled port back with me. And put all the ports in there so I can unlock these other guys. So I want a novice drill, pump, and oh yeah, let's do another apiary. apiary. Since the vines come from another ground, they don't care about walls either. Uh, all good until they grab ports. Oh, I understand now why that would be a problem. Oh, that's no good. All right, well, let me see what these this other apiary over here has going on. Because I had one over in the ranch. I guess it's, it's iffy whether or not they grab, like, the special drops in the moss blanket. Like, if they're just in the ranch part of it or not. But we'll see. We'll see. In the meantime, grab some phase lemons. They're always a nice supply. My God. They're, like, wow, crazy. Hey, you. Yeah, I see y'all. Okay. Get on in there. Yep. Oh, the lemons. Lemons and lemons alike. Too many plorks. Too many plorks spoiled the broth. 
two and many things. And it's gonna take forever for the market to replenish from this. I guess I'll make a couple of plorts back and uh, a couple of plorts, a couple of trips back and forth between the plort market and there, just so we don't have so many quantum plorts. So many of them, my God. Clearly, the market is on the rise. That is good. I don't exactly know how many quantum plorts I would need for crafting purposes, but apparently I can get more of them anyway. So for now, I'll use it as a quick, quick cash grab. And lemons. Of course. How could we forget the lemons? How could we forget the phase lemons that everybody likes so much? I shan't forget. Not about the lemons. I remember every single time I come back. Oh, hello. You look like you're happy. Activate? What? Is, what oh, oh, honeycomb. Sweet. Oh, and then it goes away? Oh. Oh, so I only get one of them. Buzzwax and hexacomb. Cool. Well, that's convenient. Oh, hello, you're actually sitting there outside, like you're not supposed to. Ports! So many. So many of these guys. Get as many of them as I can. Let the quantum guys hang outside if they want to. They can hang if they want to. Except for you. You'll die. You will go. I will kill you. So rude. So rude. So rude. Quantum plorts go back to the market. Back on over here. The money is good today. The money is very good today. And the markets are high. We're looking at a bit of a bull market here, or rather a bull slime. B bull slime market? Oh wait, um, I need you out of my inventory so I can grab. Where'd you go, where'd you go, where'd you go? I know you're out here somewhere. Where'd you go? Basic ones are one and done, and then the higher ones have more use. Okay. Stay in there. Stay. Stay. Stay in there, I say. And let's take these carrots and put them near my pink slimes. Oh, hi there. Hello there, Henhen. Or I guess what I'll do, uh, obviously, I should go... Uh, you know, Moss Blanket is close by, I think. Right? Is this Moss Blanket over... Uh, where is this area over here? A moss blanket is way up there. Okay. Well, I gotta head there over over there for the temple, so I'll deposit things that way, and then pick them up on my way back sometime. Got carrots. Carrots are good. I'm gonna go over there, give them to the pink slimes, continue on to the sciency area so I can deposit the hexacombs and the buzzwax. There we go. Hola, senor. Hola, hola over there. Hola, hola there, Jake. How are you? Is fine, wonderful. I don't know if it's... It's probably late afternoon over there. As to what I would assume it to be. I need to give these buzzwax to the science peoples. And I guess collect some of these plorts, because I'm sure this is overflow. Yes, of course it is. But of course you're overflowing! You just can't wait! Oh, uh, that's considered the dry reef. Alright, alright. Well, I want moss blanket. For no apparent reason. I'll put all the phosphor plorts, plorts in there, too. They will also be research items. And then over here, too. The research area. What will be grabbed? Well, I guess, actually, there won't be... I guess you guys can't grab plorts if I'm collecting them in the, the beacons. Unless there was some off chance that, for some reason, you did. In which case, oof. Alright, what am I missing? What can I use the, the buzzwax for? I suppose this guy, right? Uh, hexacomb, I need jellystone, wild honey, gordo thing, buzzwax and jellystone, warp tech, I would need more primordial oriole, which I suppose the dr what's the drill is for. Actually, you know what? Because I want warp tech more, I'm gonna bring things over to the, um, what do you call it? Bleh, bleh, what do you call it? The, um, that area, purple area, purple area. That's what I'll do. The, um, something quarry. Something quarry, that's what it's called. I'll bring things over there. That'll be advantageous. And I'll bring up a bunch of mango. So I can feed that dervish slime that's hanging up there. It's not his favorite fruit, but it is fruit nonetheless. And there is a lot of it, so... Hmm. Until the plot, ca plot catchers are full, my tangle should be safe. Perfect! Awesome! Wonderful! I'll also grab the Q-berries as well. I know Phosphor Slimes. You really need some more of those Q-berries. But alas, there is a... F 
There is a Gordo that needs feeding. And when the Gordos need feeding, well, who else to answer the call? Oh, I guess I can't really. There's not really many of them here. Want to open the green ball on the lab? Oh, wait, there's a green ball on the lab. Ah, I forgot about that one there. Yes. Yes, I do. Answer that question. I do, I do, I do, I do. Q-berries, I'll bring those with me. Ah, you know what, those will go to them. There we go. I'll do that first before going elsewhere. I forgot that I could open those now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remind me that I can now. I'm definitely gonna do that, because I completely forgot it was there. Where are you, hanging around the back or something? Oh, is there another plot over here? There's, oh, there's more, there's another plot back here. Oh, I didn't know that, but well, now I do. I'll put prickle pears back there. Where was it? Oh, it was in, it was inside. It was inside. I need to put that, go over there. Treasure. Hello. Oh, that's cute. That's a cute little animation. What do we got? Oh, it gives material. Deep rind, salt of the earth kind of stuff. Oh. So that gives like materials for crafting. Oh, that's perfect. That is very convenient, actually. Can I craft with like, uh, hello. Nah, I can't put fruit in there. Oh, please come back. Nope, you're gone. All right. Well, that's convenient. Awesome. So I guess they give ingredients. Awesome. Onwards then. The greener pastures. Or not greener pastures. It's 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 a quarry. It's not very green over there. It is very multicolored though, which I know I appreciate. And then as I make my way through that way, I will go towards the glass desert. This brings me to the quarry, I believe. Yep. Is there a place to place my stuff over here? Oh, absolutely. I'll put them over here. A drill. Let's put a pump. And that one looks like a convenient location. Alrighty then. Awesome. So now I will go to... Nope. I'll find my way upwards. Upwards towards that way. So I want to go north. Which way is north? That is north. Let's go this way. Oh, I want to get up there if I can. Is there a convenient way to get up there? If I climb, it'll be easy. It'll be easy to get over there if I climb like that. And then... There we go. Making our way through the quarry. I'll grab more. Uh, that's not a fruit. I need fruits for the dervish. Fruits for the dervish! Dervish for the fruit! And I got the one tangle plort as well, so that I don't forget. Uh, I keep forgetting what button the map is. I go this way, and then upwards, up there, over here. Yes. Different capsules can give her different things, like designs of things to make, but resources are also common. Oh, sweet! Opening the pods are uh, advantageous. Okay, I don't want that. Uh, are there fruits around here? There are not. I don't want to go back to the ranch. That's something I don't want to do. I'm gonna go back up this way, so I <gasps> Pod! Open the pod! A more advanced treasure cracker is required. <gasps> no! Well, alrighty then. Fine. I guess you won't be cracked today. So be it. What about the purple one? Huh? Can I do... Can I do the purple one? Because I want to do the purple one. I want the purple one. But I won't be able to, now will I? Huh? Damn it! Okay, well... At least I can open some of them now. Um, was that the right way to go for the place I want to go? Uh, no, nah, I need to be over there, so. The proper level. Yes! Okay, well, now we'll go on. That's okay. Now we can crack at least some treasures. That was the word I was looking for, treasures. Gotta go north up this way. To the temple. Ah, yes. Oh, have I never unlocked this door? Oh, well, I already know where that goes, so I'm not gonna bother with it. I can open greens, then blues, then purples. Uh... So I'm actually gonna make my way around. Oh, I have no energy. Look at that. That's convenient. Well, now we know. And you know as they say, knowing is half the battle. So, it's a good thing. It's a very, very good thing. Oh, please go up. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I can go over here and then probably like snake my way around. If I can, if I can get up on there, I should be able to get up and sneak around. 
There we go. This is where I wanted to be. That should give me enough energy to go all the way around to wherever the surfaces are over there. I think I can make it from here. Oh yeah, I definitely can. Getting ready for the jump. Here we go. Oh, that might have been a close one. Yes. Oh, that was close. But, it, but it, I, did, I mean, even if I lost anything, it's not like it, I lost anything important. A waste of key? No, ma'am. I will just do this and open up new areas as opposed to just getting shortcuts to others until I have an excess of keys. I don't have an excess of keys yet. Not just yet. Almost, though. <gasps> Poker fruit. There's some Q-berries as well up there, which I will grab for the sake of the dervish who is awaiting us. Here we go. Seeing all this fruit comes da coming down makes me want to mix get, get some fruit of my own. Get some fruits of my own. And the only big, like, the, the most available fruit that I have on hand are my, um, are the prickle pears that I've got, but I'm trying to make syrup out of them, so I don't want to use them. I don't want to eat them just because I want to. So I will, I will refrain on that for now. I'll refrain on that for now, but I might go grab a snack in a hot second. What's that, dear? What other fruits do we have? Oh, wait, we have sugar pearls. Oh, I can eat some grapes. Do we have any bananas? We got one banana. Oh, we also have strawberries as well. Well, I mean, I'm trying to save strawberries as well for, um... I need to make some garnishes out of those. This is true, this is true. I, uh, I gotta, I gotta preserve our strawberries so that I can make garnishes for a little cocktail stream that I'm having on Saturday, if anybody's interested. Saturday night, we'll be doing another session two of Bar with an X. The, the X is silent, as usual. So it kind of looks like X Bar. It's fun. I got this, uh, the other day, actually, during vacation... During vacation, uh, we got we managed to come across this little book here, the Geeky Bartender book. So I figured it would be a really good idea to tap into what we've got in this book and make a couple of cocktails from it. Um, some of the re some of like the actual like ingredients of there are a little harder to come by than would be like just available in my own bar setup. So I had to do a little bit of searching. Got to look for prickly pear juice. I had to look for uh, I think coming in the mail today is something called luster dust. Or luster powder, which makes your drink looks very, very uh, sparkly. I'll show you a, a reference picture. You make your drinks very, very sparkly. I'm trying to find the red potion. The red potion cocktail in here from your favorite video game using luster dust. Where are you? So you can get your cocktails to kind of look like... It's got a funny little, like, lustering effect to it. And uh, you can put that in your cocktails or put that in your drinks or really anything. Anything that's semi-transport. You can make luster water, I guess. Or, uh, luster mocktails, of course, of course. That's good stuff. It doesn't count as drinking alone in my room if you're watching a bar stream. Correct! Because I will be drinking as well. So, technically. That reminds me, actually, like, when we first went on, uh, when we first, uh, found, uh, I'm getting my words mixed up. When COVID first happened and we all went home, after taking all of my classes and putting them online, I went home and, and actually so did all my extracurricular activities, including like the my like fraternity meetings and stuff like that. And although I was in a bit of a rough spot at the time with them because leadership was being a little odd and our ideals seemed to uh, kind of part off in different directions. But when we were, they were trying to put together some like bonding events for the brothers and stuff, we were, they were like, hey, we're gonna be having like a group like beer sesh where we're all gonna sit there on zoom and drink a couple of beers together like a virtual time where we're all gonna all gonna hang and i really at the time i really wasn't into it but then flash forward like six is six months later and i start making cocktails on stream so i guess i came around anyway but um and even if i don't know that anybody else is drinking i'm having a good time for the most part and then eventually what i want to do is i want to go back there was one series that i did where I played a game called Valhalla, which is the cyberpunk bartending action game, which I absolutely loved. Um, and it's interesting too, apparently somebody's been watching those, so... I kind of want to get back into it again. I eventually want to do a New Game Plus version of that, and I want to do... The style that I did there was we would do a couple of nights, and when we ran out of a drink, we'd go back to the bar and make another one. And I want to do another playthrough like that again. 
because uh, I really, really enjoyed it. And then, uh, then the, the cocktail streams kind of became separately, but every once in a while, I take a break from the game and uh, make, my, make myself up a cocktail if I've got my bar set up. And if not, I just kind of make it right here. It's very easy to do. Everything checks out. Luster water? Hmm, more like ancient water. That water is pretty shiny. It is looking pretty shiny, and I like that. I like that. And absolutely, Kelly, you are more than welcome to crack open a cold one with the boys, if you so deem that you would like to. If you're not a fan of the cold ones, or not a fan of the beers, or the, the, the tales of... The tales of the mox. That would have been weird for a hot second there if I said tales of the cocks. That'd just be so weird. Why would you say that? Why did I say that? Oh my god. But, but yeah. It's always, it's always, I, I for one like to pride myself, like, I, I, I don't know. This is like a really weird statement, right? So I remember hearing like on television shows about people talking about the family member who you would never catch without a drink in their hand. And to me at the time, I was like, that sounds pretty cool. Like never caught without a drink and like he's always got themselves like prepared with something that, something to drink, like a glass of water or milk or anything like that. I'm pretty sure it's a hit that alcoholic like like alcoholic people like oh you'd never catch him without a drink in his hand probably meant that this individual or family member was definitely an alcoholic which is probably what that's supposed like supposed to mean but like i like to think that i'm the kind of per oh my god i could have used another one ah that's okay i'll get more i need another tangle uh, tangle slime thing whatever but like i like to think of myself as the person who you wouldn't catch without a drink in his hand or, or without a drink on stand like drink on standby i will always have water um, sometimes I love coffee. I've got also tea right now. I try not to like I try not to have a lack of stuff on there, which is why consumption is an option because it reminds me to drink whatever is there. And if it's not, I gotta get some more. Oh yeah, yeah. The um, Anna, the tea that you made, I think is the marshmallow root one. Okay. It's very lax. I don't exactly know what marshmallow root is, but it tastes very um, it's just very plain. It's a little sweet. It's kind of like it's almost almost like a not, a not a not a hot like charred marshmallow but a toasted marshmallow that's the kind of that's the kind of taste this tea kind of has all right pal here you go i've got all this fruit you could ask for potentially i got 20 of these guys 20 of these guys uh we'll see we'll see you'll probably need oh there you go dervishes no no what are you doing Go over there. And another key. Wonderful. Give me the dervish. Dervish. Collect the key. Now I got two keys. Um, I thought there were two extra... Oh, where'd it go? Oh, it cracked down there. Oh, there's a parsnip down there. Oh, I want that parsnip. Can I... Yo! Yeah, oh. There we go. Marshmallow tea. It's it's uh, it's curious. It uses marshmallow root. So it's like... It's, it's supposed to be like a, a morning detox tea. That, um, actually, I'll go over and, um, in a hot second, I think I'll grab myself a snack in a moment. I'll grab over and see the, get the box, too. Anna, what are you doing? You don't have to do that. Oh, primordial oil and buzz oh, Okay, so this is all materials over here. Hmm. Ow! Why did, come on, why'd you throw that at me? Ouch! Well, I added a stream marker, so. Um, this is 28-day simmering detox tea. Uh, it uses... Uh, Wu Yi on, excuse me, Wu Yi Oolong tea, marshmallow root, Pu'er tea, cinnamon, dandelion root, fennel seeds, and ginseng. So, uh, pop up, pop a screenshot if you're interested. There you go. And I'll hand it back to Anna, to, who collects up after my mess. So I don't need Q-berries. Uh, Q-berries are not exactly important. Um, let's, let's do this. I want... <sighs> Spiral steam, that looks really cool. Buzz wax as well. Um... Is it- will- will resources go away if I leave them? Like, is that- is that a thing? So like, if I- if I leave them in one spot to collect later, will they go away? Actually, no, they don't. I don't think they do, come to think of it. Because if they did, then that crystal diamond, or whatever, that I had on my plot would have disappeared. So actually, no, this is okay. This is okay, so I'm gonna go over to the entrance over here and put these things. Yeah, neat, neato indeed. I like the head different. I, I love, I, I like tea. Tea is very, I, I like tea. Tea is very good. Tea is very good to me. So I'll put all my resources in this corner over here. Um, buzz wax. Let's throw the silver parsnips over there. There aren't any slimes that spawn there to my knowledge, so they shouldn't be, they shouldn't go away. Um, and I'll find more silver parsnips too, even if that one, they don't despawn. Yes. Perfect. 
That's very, that's mucho advantageous. Whirly gigs. A dervish, a whirly gig and dervishes. Awesome, awesome. Here we go, let's go up on here. There might be some treasure boxes over here too that I have yet to find. I hear, oh, this is cute. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't want to do that. Ah, wait, 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 there, there we go. I almost fell to my doom. Oh, it wasn't really doom-like, it's, it's fine. It, this isn't doom. <laughs> Does Slime Rancher run doom? Perchance, Sean. Perchance. Let me glad these guys. Primordi Primordi oil and pogo fruit. I don't need pogo fruit, though. But I don't want to keep these things with me. Uh-huh. Let's see what else I can find. I don't think I don't know how many dervish slimes I need. Do I really need? Mm, yeah, no, no. I, I do want to bring some dervish slimes back with me. I will do that. But in the meantime, let's put the jelly stone, jelly stone, primordial oil, and all that stuff back there. And then at some point, at some point as well, I will make some warp technology, uh, preferably with these ingredients that I have here, um, to be able to come back and retrieve things. So I'll put these guys back. I'll take that silver parsnip back. Um, jellystone, please. No, go back over there. Here we go. I don't need no pogo fruit. I'll keep the dervish slime with me for now, unless I find more materials than I need. But the silver parsnips are definitely something that I want to take with me. Time to continue. We have two keys now, which is wonderful. There is more exploration to be had. I promise. You shan't disappoint. Not this time, at least. Oh, you're a cool looking rock dervish. It's cool. It's cool because they have like a little like um. Oh, there's one here too. Oh my god. Alrighty then. I need two more. Oh wait, no, no. This is where I just was. Okay, that's fine. Why are there a bunch of cubers? Oh, I threw them away because I didn't need them. Okay, 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 okay. All right, well. Go around the corner. Round over here. Walking on through the hello dervish. D -d 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 I at least need two meats so I can find some tangles. Uh, yeah, you. You too. I already have the painted hens, so I, need to I don't need to worry about them as resources. I'll go over here. Actually, technically, I only need one of these because it'll produce two. Hello, you. Nope. Luster, luster. Um, I was here before, but not where I want to be. Or is it, actually? Um, I wanted to be over there. Actually, if I go that way, does that unlo actually unlock a... Is that unlocking an area I haven't been to? Oh, no, it's just unlocking a shortcut, it looks like. Oh, this is where the rock slimes were necessary. Okie dokie. All right. Okay. Yep, there's three here. I see. You do the three plorts, and then you unlock it. Yeah, you do three plorts, you unlock it, and then you get access to the ancient water, which you can take elsewhere. Okay. That being the case, I want to find me some veggies. Uh, not these guys. Sorry, your nose is a little itchy. I see rock slime, uh, rock, rock slimes, but they don't got nothing to eat. What do we do? Gotta bring them some, uh, gotta bring them some vegetables. Unless, actually, if you mix with the dervish, I can feed you fruit so i like that idea let's do that actually let's do i'm gonna give this silver parsnip over here i'm gonna give you a fruit there you go lovely Oops. another one let's do one two one and two now this is called strategy right are you gonna eat that no okay but you oh you will there you go there we go. Got my derbs back. I'll give y'all. Here's a plort to eat. Eat this. Eat that. Eat, eat this. Yum. Yum. No. Here, eat that. And I'll give you a cuberry to eat. If, if you'll eat it, will you eat? Consume? Consumption? Mmm. Tasty, tasty. Awesome. Oh, did it just go away? Oh! You just killed your own thing! Oh, there they are. Okay. Uh, yeah, get over. Oh, right. I need space for them. So let's get these derbs out of here, too. Here. One and two. 
Then I'll go back and collect the other ones. Rock slime. Rock plort. It wasn't a rock. It was a rock plort. <laughs> Oh, it's fire time. Time to go where I was before. Save myself. Back across here and into a little place over here. Right? Yes. Save the snip. Where's the snip? Wait, where's the snip? Who's the snip? Snip. Ow. Mm. Veggie among the rocks. Oh, the snip. Ah, the snip. Ah, I must save the snip. You're right. I forgot about it. I'm going back for it. I will retrieve you. The snip. The snip isn't parsnip. I remember now. Ah, jeez. Okay. Ah, uh, la 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 la. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd the snip at? Where's the? Where'd you go? Veg. Ah, oh, did I get back too late? I got some more fire slime. Ah, jeez. Okay, I forgot. I was too pretty to look at. Yeah, I think I might have missed it. Oh, that's okay. We'll find more. We will find more. Promise. Actually, I'm gonna get the cube berries out of here so I can collect more fire slimes. Do they get shy too, like the water slime? I, I wouldn't assume so. But like, one never knows. Uh, and then I need at least, well, I got the two uh, ends there. Hello, you. Absolutely. I love them. I love the fire slimes and the puddle slimes because they got that like thing to it. It's great. I love it. Okay, so there should be three places to place rock ports here. There's one. There's two. Maybe if I aim it right. Yeah, doggy. And there should be a third, I guess. Oh, maybe... Oh, Hobson. What's up? Hey. The desert is a harsh, harsh place for sure, but there are little pockets like this where life is waiting to flow back into the soil and reach toward the clouds. Of course, it might happen a little faster if we give it a helping hand. Use that noggin, Beatrix. You got it. Yes, we can. And it requires, I'm, uh, one more. And we'll find what lies in between the temporal rifts of time. Uh, where is this other rock slime guy? There's one there. Ah, uh, fires don't care, they just bounce off the tree easily. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, they're very bouncy. I guess I need to go up there. Oh, there you are. Ha, there we go. Come on. Ah. Time for ancient. Ancient water. I got only got a little bit of time. So let's run. Run and there is one right there. There we go. And I'm pretty sure there's more elsewhere, right? Maybe if I run fast enough, I can get one over here. Yes, I can. There's still more. Eight seconds. I don't know if I'm going to reach the next one. Or, or whether, was there a next one? Oh, I don't think there was. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. It's so luscious and beautiful. But it seems a little crazy. Just a wee little bit crazy. There's fire. There's fire over here. Oh, what are y'all doing? Oh, you guys are making fire because you're the mo uh, mosaic slimes. Oh, so pretty. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So I did that. So let me check around if there are any more. Oh, the wrong way. If there are any more areas that could use watering in this immediate vicinity. I don't know. That was the teleporter back home. And I think I missed, I definitely missed a couple materials. Hey, look, parsnip. Nice. What's over there? Oh, some more, some more resources. Okay. This will be, you know what? I'll take this on the way home. I'll be back for it. They don't, they don't despawn. They don't despawn. So why would I worry about it? Oh, is there another one over there? There's another one over there. Aha. I'll go grab that one. Seem to be a lot of chickens up there. Okay, let's go back, grab some more of that water. Actually, is there... Can I get up there? Is there any special things over here? They're just beautiful and mosaic. I'm guessing, perhaps, when you unlock all the, um... The watered areas, perhaps that's when the ship will start going. Maybe. There we go, up here. 
I also want to go up here. If I can, I want to get up there and see if there's any... If there is a thing to water up there, that might be a bit of a trial. Nope, but there are prickle pears! Nice. Oh, hi. Whoa, excuse me. Whoa, hello, everybody. Oh, it's already good up here. Okay, well, I will... Dervish slimes I can always come back for, so I will come back for y'all another time. The prickle pears... Nope. I want you instead. Prickly prickly pears. Prickle prickle pear, prickle prickle pear, prickle pear. Oh, I need to water one more time so I can come out and do one other watering thing. Oh, this is cute over here. I did that one as well. Nice. We got like big looking pineapple things. Lovely. Get some of that and let's go. We're going on an adventure. I need to reheal my reheal my stamina. My energy. Stop for a little bit and then go. And it should be up there. I had 10 seconds left. It shouldn't be difficult. There we go. Very close, very close, and... There we go. Magical paradise. Oh, yo, I was looking for y'all. There we go. Do that. Give me your plorts. More plorts. More tangle plorts. Yeah! All right. Cool, and now I'm going to run, because I don't need them anymore. I gotta go back to the original area, the regular... The first area. And there should be at least two more tangle things over there. There was one... But then where would the... Oh, what if the water spout is up in the ruins up there? I wonder... I can't get up there from here, can I? No, I really can't. Not from here, I won't be able to. Little dervishers. So cute. I love them. Everything about this is just absolutely wonderful. I guess maybe the water's up there. I got one tangle. I'd be two tangle over here. And I'm, I suppose there should be a third. There should be a third somewhere. I'm guessing it's up there. That's a treasure pod. Can't unlock that one yet. But that's okay. Go over here, and then perhaps it's up there. Let me hold my stamina nose for a bit. Because I didn't see a place that looked like there was a well. Except potentially up there. Maybe something from a different band. Oh, yep, there. I see. That's where the water be. Now I want to see where... So there's one there that I can water. There is also one... There's one over there that I can water. So around the corner. One there, one there. There was one over by the other side, too. Ah, but where's the third one? Ah, that's what I need to know. Where's the third one? Where could the third one be? There we go. Hello. There we go. And I should, there should be one right there. So it looks like there's three to get. One, two, and three. So let's start off with one of them. Can I go around the corner? Can I go around the corner? There we go. This should work for me. And I got 30 seconds. Here we go. No, no, no! I didn't want to do that, but that's fine. The guy over here. Water, 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 water! There we go, and there should be one more. I don't think I'll be able to make that one, but that's okay. I'll just go back up for the other one. Just search around here. It's so pretty! Oh, is there more? Are there more uh, flower things? I don't think there were more flower things. Nope, not over here, it doesn't look like. But it's getting dark all of a sudden! gotta make my way up a bit. And then we'll be just fine. We just fine. Come on, get it up there. There's a little branch here now. That's cool. Oh, it's kind of transparent. I guess that means like the, the effect of the time kind of the time thing goes away. The farther you go, 
Walk away from it. Physical distance as your physical distance increases. So does that. Okay, now the last one is kind of over the bridge. All right, here we go. That's beautiful. I don't wonder if I can grab another one too. I don't, I don't think I really need it. Because these ones are already, uh, these were, uh, these ones are accessible in a different range. So cool. Whoa, you're awesome looking. All right, time to continue onwards. Still got some more ancient water, but it's good. It's good, good, good. As I find more, I will utilize more ancient water. So that's three ancient water spouts open right now. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that I, there's more. Obviously, I just don't know where just yet. But I want to go over to up that way. I want to see. Oh, so that's the only other door in this area. There's only two. Okay, and there's plenty of treasure pot too. Hey, you know what? I got an extra key, so I'll, I'll unlock it. So I'll head upwards and then to the east. That wasn't the way I wanted to go. Nope, that way? Yes, that's the way I want to go. So I can unlock the door. That should be up this way. If I kind of screwed my way across this little chasm over here, it should be just fine to this side. This side, over there. Little Tangle Slime's coming to say hello. And whatever else is around here. Is there... Well, if I see a thing here, then that must mean that there is a spout somewhere that requires a certain type of slime. I also think I hear water running? So maybe I already unlocked it. Maybe this was the... Oh, this was the Dervish one! This one was where the Dervish was... Yeah, I don't know if I did that one yet. Did I do that one? I'm not sure. Where could the other ones be? I don't see any water anywhere. I wouldn't have to go over... Oh, wait a minute. What is... Oh, a mosaic slime up there! Oh, sweet! Another Largo! Or Gordo. Nice. How do I get up there, though? Carefully, I suppose. Carefully and slowly but surely across these little... No! Ah! Don't! No! Ah! This is fine. This is okay. This is not a problem. I'm okay with this. There we go. Okay, well that's not working like I wanted it to... Okay, that's going down. Going down, going down. Let's go over here and see if I can go from another angle. Like, per chance? No? Are there any... Are there any totems? Little idols? Idols that I can put plorts into? I want to insert these plorts into something. Somebody stop me. I just can't stop plorting. There's no way. Oh, there must be something. But what could it be? Oh, treasure pod. Nice. But I can't open it yet. But potentially something more? Nope. Just that. Just a little treasure pod. Just a wee little treasure pod. Nice. Okay. Ooh, don't go down there, right? Yep, don't go down there. That's not a good place to be. Alright, well, I was heading towards that other door. So, that's the direction I want to be going. You look angry, and that's okay. Parsnips! Yeah, you look very angry. Sorry. Go away. Sorry for bothering you, sir. I did not mean to. Okay, yep, there's a little thing over there. I think it just unlocks a little um, shortcut, but... Well, I see more plants over here as well. So, where could the... Where could the little idols be? There must be some around here somewhere. But first, key unlock. And I guess I just kind of, like, opened up a little shortcut. shortcut area. Sounds good to me. Oh, wait a minute. That means... Oh, I can take the water from over here and put it in there now. Ah, this is appropriate. Nice. All right, let's go. Up the up the thing. Energy going. Oh, I need to get up there, so I need to go 
this way. Okay. Gotta re hear my stamina a bit. Come on, come on. Oh, why won't you? Ah! I thought I'd be able to... There we go. There we go. Got gotcha. you. Awesome. The hardest dervish for you was the one near the actual water spout. Oh, jeez. Have I found that one yet? I'm not sure if I found that one yet. Okay, so now you guys are all the way over here. Lovely. More of the land is coming back to to the time of the present. Or I guess this is the time of the past. It's going to present and timey stuff. It's time. It's a thing about time! Everybody knows that. Hmm. Okay, cool. You are beautiful looking. Give me a kiss. Okay, so this is not... That's good then, man. That's good then. Let's continue on forward. I still need... I actually have the prickle pear and the stellar parse tips. So... That's technically what I need from over here. But as I go around, I'm sure I will find more that needs to be done. For example, I want to go back to that area that had the Durish statues. But I want to see if there's, if there's something I can do about that. I need to go that way if I want to proceed forward. Preferably in that direction. It's on top of the temple thing. The Durish stuff is all around. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, nice. So I suppose it's uh, somewhere over there, I suppose. Because I think this is where the Durish area is. Somewhere up on top, so maybe up in there. I haven't actually been there yet. Let me try to jetpack over there. Come on, you got it. Come on, you got it. Well, I was very close. <laughs> Whoops. There's one dervish down there. Um, there's a little water plant thing here. Well, obviously. If there's dervish plants, then that's good. We got some prickle pears. Uh... Hmm. Where could the other idols be? Oh, this is a... Have I been in here before? A cute little cave. Oh, this was over... There. I don't have the water yet for this area yet. So, eventually. Not now. I need to get back up on top. Gotta get back on top. Uh, giving the moss some food to the moss would make remembering it easier, too. Oh, to the big ones. Yeah, right? Giving some food for them just for a little bit. The, bi the big ones... All the big old goldens. Oh, there's a dervish thing there. I just need to find me a dervish. Hey, look at that. Speak of the devil. Here, eat this. No, eat that. I said eat it. Oh. oh, I see. Oh, it goes up and then gets completely messed around. Was there another one? For oh, I okay. Here, eat that. Mmm, tasty. Well, thank you, little plort. Little guy. Here's one for you. And I think that's two so far. There should be a third one around here somewhere. Right, that is two, but it requires three. So where is number three? Where be number... There you are. Oh, I gotta do that just right. Nope, missed that one. No! Ah, I did not mean for you to do that, but you like fruit, so that's actually okay, so... I guess that's, that's fine. Ah, uh, here, come here. Come here. Wait, come. Eat, eat. Eat, eat, eat. Mmm. Dervish. Now I've got some extra to play with. Ask if you shall receive! I was hoping something like that. Go! Yes! Awesome! Ancient Walla. So there was one down there. And there was another one over in the corner. Over through this little passageway here. Awesome. This is really cool. It's so cool. That, like, this land is, like, coming back to life. It's the oases in the deserts. Was there anything else over here? I don't know. Can I use the, the ancient water to call that? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, while I'm over here as well, I want to see if there are any more areas that I didn't uh, do yet. Oh, I didn't do this guy. Because he was on the other side, and I was distracted. That's okay, I'll go up and get some more. Honestly, there's no need to worry about these fiery, flamey things. They're fine. Actually, honestly, they benefit more than anything else, so I don't really- I mean, nothing has killed me yet. I say yet. Now, anxious about it. 
Okay, so let's wait for the cheerge. And then to come back over here and do it again. Oh, there's like a big dark shadow going across the sky. Spooky. Come up over here and let's get more ancient water. And this plant over here is gotten good. Right? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Yeah. And there was looks like there was something up there. But I didn't see yet. Now let's take a look at that. Oh, hello. Hello, little fire slime. Lovely. It looks like there's something up there. So I will attempt to climb until I get to it. And the fire has stopped. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Can I jump on these trees? Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, yeah, I can jump on those trees. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. You like the parsnips, don't you? Yes, you do. Well, I don't really have a lot more for you, but I'll be on the lookout. I'll be on the workout, and now I know where you are. Cool, cool. Don't need this dervish floor anymore. There you go, buddy. I'll come back up for you after I've collected more um, veggies. Because I know how much you like your veggies. Are there any veggies down here? Where is this? Th oh, it's just... I got confused for a second. What was that sound? Oh, it's the sound of the tar. That was it. It doesn't look like... Wait, did the tar explode when they got into the oasis? What? Can tar even spawn here? Oh, wow. I don't know if they even can. That's pretty cool. Anyway, on the lookout for more uh, stuff. So I want to go north. Whoa, okay. That was something that happened. Nice. Plort's doing plorty things. Okay. Back up to the big old generator thing to see if anything I've been doing out here with these plorts have made any effect on it whatsoever. It may have. I assume that it does in some way, shape, or form. Just a matter of figuring out what. Oh, this is good, actually, because the trees allow me to, like, bounce from place to place now. That is mucho, mucho convenient. We're hanging down there, a little dervish area. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. But, oh, but there was also a dervish up somewhere on here, too, right? Oh, the hardest one. Oh, yeah, that's, we already got that. I understand now. Ancient water can also kill tar in one hit, and I think it mist hurts them as well. Nice. Good, good for me. Not good for the tar. They, 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 they die. There's no good. Okay, back to over here and see if anything has changed since my last return. I'm not sure if I have been making, like, any progress to be able to unlock the mysteries over here. Um. Hmm. What to do about that? Usually there's, like, some puzzle. Like, like, easy puzzle to determine. Like, or maybe I just need to get up there. Can I get up there? I'll use my jetpack to try to go upwards. Let's see if that helps me. I need to be on top of the air. Alright, I'm up on top of you now. Um, where's the next one? Looks like up on top there. I, I, I can probably get up there. Maybe? <laughs> Potentially. There's a little hardcore parkour going on here. Um, there's no more surfaces over here to land upon. But I can go up there. Get a little bit higher. Okay, that was the thing that happened. Can I get any higher though? No. Oh god. Anna scared me. I can! I oh, but can I? Can I actually? Okay, nope. Go back down again. I need a little a little more surface. Is there any surface for me to like lip up onto? Did I read his note already? I did. But I don't remember what it said. I think that's in my slimepedia, right? All the stuff from Hobson? Can it is that a thing? Nah. Resources, ranch, world. I guess not. Sleeping at home may trigger an event, if so. I'll get some... Oh, wait a minute. Good luck to you, but let your heart do the thing. I've never been in love before. Thora's Ranch, I'm looking forward to hearing the sound of those wind chimes. The wind chimes. So good, but let your heart do the thinking every now and again. It might surprise you. Your heart do the thinking. Oh, maybe I should have... Maybe I should do sleep. Oh, does it have to do with dreams? Oh, maybe this is a dream thing. 
Maybe it's a dream thing. Maybe they, they've, uh, time and space are interwoven in our subconscious. A classic, classic thing. Just because you've mentioned it, now I'm gonna go home and sleep. I'm gonna go home and sleep, and then I'm gonna grab me a snack. Let me snack. Oh, don't die! Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> don't die. <laughs> let's let's not do that. No, 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 no. So many dervishes. Actually, I can I can use some more dervishes. If I'm heading back. Oh, and more prickles. Nice. Oh, actually, you know, I am gonna do a quick break right now because my mother is calling me, and I shall answer the call. So, uh, be back in a hot second, everybody. Break time. Once more. And we're back. I took a call from my mother to plan out things for a little impromptu graduation celebration as well as to celebrate my father's birthday. I also grabbed snacks. Uh, at Kind Bars. They're, um, they're chocolatey. These ones are the chocolate ones. Chocolate and... Caramel. I like that. <laughs> Don't die, that's the wrong type of sleep. I certainly hope not. Mmm. Alright. Let's get on back into it. Gotta go that way and back to the center. I have quite a few materials on me, but I'd rather keep with these for now. Well, there's quite a few materials that are back near the teleporters, but I'd rather hold these things instead right now. And go that way. My teleporter should be around there, along around here somewhere. Yes, siree, yes, siree. Yes, siree, absolutely gonna find my teleporter. Oh, you look. Oh, the mosaic slimes look really cool. Or the uh, the mosaic largos look really cool. Yeah, look at you. And a big old. Come here, you. You are hot. I like that. that is a nice. That is a nice picture right there. I very much appreciate that picture. All right, where's the big old temple thing? Um, that's down that way. So I gotta go the other way. Hmm? I heard a twinkling sound. It scared me. Sounds that I don't recognize. Freaking out. Only temporary. Oh, I gotta go up. How did I get up there before? The heck? How did I get out of here? How do I get out of here? I'm gonna go along here. And then... That's not the path to go. Am I confused? I'm gonna go that way. But I cannot. Oh, I gotta go up there. Ah! I'm getting a little lost around here. Just a little. Despite the fact that a map... Uh, despite the fact that a map is available, I still nonetheless find a way to get myself lost. And now I'm over here. Oh, okay. Well, that, that's fine, too. Uh, but I need to go that way. There we go. Go this way. Yeah. Yes! I remember this area. I know exactly where to go. Just out this door and up the tower. To go on back to the ranch. There we go. That's exactly what I was looking for. Let's make some more corrals. Or, um, garden, not corral. Let's put one. One over here, I think, is vacant. Oh, no, those are Oka Okas, the Phase Lemons, and the Carrots. Do we really need carrots? Hmm. We don't really. There is there space inside of the cave? I don't think so. I've got two Puddle Slime locations there. What I could do is I could change out one of those and put the Puddle Slimes over in the actual puddle. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll exchange that. I'll go up here. And put a little sil um, prickle pear location over here. And then silver parsnip will be in the other location. Actually, wait, no, no. I, uh, I took the briar hens and I put them elsewhere, so... I'll, um, I'll turn this into a, a garden. 
So we'll do Prickle Pear in there. And then over here, we'll do the Parsnip. Awesome! And then the Prickle Pears will go with the Dervishes! Everybody happy now, probably. Maybe. I don't know. Alright. A lot of a lot of uh, stuff going on there. Fire Slime has a location over there. Let me go grab some of them. Um, what, what's you call it? Hens. Painted hens. Which I, I'm hoping there are a few of now. If I can give them over to the, um, the grapplers. Plenty of pea berries for Foster Slimes who are not happy right now. They have a distinct lack of heat. I'll grab you guys on the way back. Back to the farm, back to the farm. So many lemons await me at the farm. There we go. Some lemons. I'm gonna bring some okas with me. Because I'll be heading over to that area to deposit my fire slimes. Deposit them at the proper location. There's plenty of phase lemons in there. Yeah. So maybe we'll slow this down a little bit because there's not many of you in there anymore. There we go. That seems fine. Let's grab at least a few of y'all. Empty that out. There are many of you. There are many, many ports. There we go. Let's go over here. Ah, la la la! I don't want to do that. Not just yet. That's the place to, uh, um... I don't even know. Fire slimes. They may bounce. Oh, it looks like we need some more... ash in there. Let's see. Oka Oka goes to those... these guys. These rads. These rad dudes. These rad dude, rad individuals. <laughs> these carrots and onions. Carrot and onions. Honestly, let's just put. Uh, actually, I can only do one or the other. So let's just put carrots in there. And then we'll put the odd onions in there too. For all the crystal slimes at the side to hang around. Do we have any other random things over here? Apparently, things wash up, wash up on the beach sometimes. Eh, nothing of importance. Um, I do, however, want to incinerate some things. So I think I'll incinerate some quartz. Because the, the ash looks low. Am, am I wrong about that? Yeah, okay. So I throw things into it and the ash gets bigger. There we go. There we go. Not bad at all. You are y'all are dangerous to take care of. I don't like touching you. I don't like touching you. I like to love you from afar. Oh dear. Uh, just like, don't bounce. Nope. I was I was hoping if you wouldn't bounce out, that'd be cool. Where'd you go? Uh, Princenzo? Well, I have no. Oh, there you are. Where are you? I'm so sorry. I did not mean to throw you off like that. That was odd and sad. There you go. Got some fire ports. Got some more quantum ports. Quant 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 quantum ports. I'll grab chickens on the way back for the tangle slimes. It's a lot of work ranching these slimes, let me tell you. It's hard sweat work, but it pays off. Yes, it do. It pays off in love. Because these, these, these slimes love you. Maybe? You know, do slimes have feelings? Or are they just like in a perpetual state of like happiness? Because they're always smiling. Or perhaps the, the slimes are in a perpetual state of despair and disappointment and that the smile that we see is actually what they do in their culture to showcase um, sadness. I don't know. God, I wonder if these poor ones. 
Y'all seem to be happy in there. Um, let's put the cube berries over here. If you can get the charcoal toy, that can encourage them to hop back into the tray. But yeah, fires will do that. Yeah, fires will do that. I believe it. More cube berries for y'all. Cube berries for y'all. Um, roosters for y'all. Mangas for whoever else wants them. Uh, the other ones. Did the event trigger? If sleep change. Oh, I haven't. Uh, I actually haven't slept yet. I, I will sleep though. At some point. Oh, hey, pal. I haven't gotten around to sleeping y just yet. Was there like a message on the screen that I was supposed to like look like read that would tell me that I'm supposed to sleep? Because I mean like I gotta say I don't really like games that kind of do stuff like that where they're like we're introducing this mechanic for you but it doesn't really have a purpose aside from activating a certain event that you wouldn't know about. It kind of rubs me the wrong way. I'm sure it's a little bit more than that but there might have been a message on the screen that said I should probably get some sleep tonight that I just totally missed, which I, I would completely understand. Yeah, that's definitely a thing that I would do. Hello, Wall. Painted hens. Yes. Oh, the purple pears have already grown. Sweet. At least some of them have. Those and put them into their thingamabob. Prickly, prickly pears. Nope, found that by accident. Oh, nice, nice. I guess I wouldn't have known otherwise, so thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. There's another little one over here. Throw those towards those guys. And then you, Elder Rustro. Eat! Eat! Uh, mint mangoes for those who like them. It's the amber slimes. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, I'll do my mint mangoes. I'm gonna throw my... Fire and puddle ports in for research. Because I'd rather research things right now than anything else. Put my mint mangoes in here. There we go. Heartbeats go over here. I see your heart. Pink ports seem to be a very hot commodity, so. Um, and I, need, I think I need ta I needed tabbies as well, so I'm gonna go grab some uh, briar hens from up here. Put them other where. I wonder if the game expected you to sleep more often. Like, I know I wouldn't have. I'll grab a few of you guys. Feed you to the ones who want them. There's at least one more roostro left in there. So good. Go get them, tabos. Tabby, tabby, wabby, wabbies. Tabby, tabby, eat, eat. There we go. Mmm. Actually, what are the Tabby's favorites? Stony hens. That's the neat stony hens. I actually don't have an exhibit for stony hens. I don't have a coop for that. I should, uh, I should work on that. Come on. Oh. Do it again. I want the Tabby plorts. Should be ten. Cool. And right, let's deposit all of them. Deposit everything single one of them. I suppose as, as it goes down the line, it will be more advantageous for me to have Largos mixed with the pink slime so I have more pink plorts for crafting all this stuff over here. I guess it depends on what the plort needs are in the future. This is really cool. I'm really happy that I was able to do a crafting. And also unlock some secrets in the new dimension. Alright, what can we accomplish with this? Anything? I've got enough rad plorts. Rock ports, rad ports for those guys. Um, not yet, though. I need more wild honey, jelly stone, and hexacombs for those. And the Gordo snails, I need more of those materials. Indeed. Stones are for the kitties, briar for the booms. Indeed. Uh, I need more fossils and stuff like that. So basically, what I need is I need more extractors. I wonder if I can buy some more advanced extractors so I can... Yeah, a little better. Last three cycles, I see. Okay. I'd rather buy those and do those ones instead, so... <laughs> There we go. I'll do that and see what it takes to make those ones. The bigger drills requires... Oh, I see. Advanced pump. So it's just the same thing, but just more. So let's do an advanced... It seems that I want the comb. So what do I really want to work on? What I really want access to are... Um, not the Gordo Snare, the Warp Tech. Set of two gadgets allow you to remotely transfer resources between two points. Now, what's the... 
Warp tech. Warp tech is craft warp tech in order to ranch and explore more fast, more much faster. I'm always uh, quickly. So like, what's the difference? Set of two gazelletti remotely transfer resources. It's the same thing, but they're different colors. Like, is there a benefit to that? No, I have enough for it. So let's unlock the big guy and see if that's a whoa. I fire. Warp tech requires quantum plort and silky sand. Silky sand feels like it's a special item. Uh, but I have I have resources elsewhere that I can go grab. Just I'd have to go find them. Um, let's craft. Let's craft uh, some. What do I want to do again? Our right, primordial oil and stuff like that. So warp stuff. So I want to do a drill, an advanced drill. I'll craft me one of those. Go back to the other area. I'll go back. I'm gonna go to the quarry. Collect the resources that have bound to have been um, already created, and then I'll be back. For more. Back for more mangoes. Nah, I'm not coming back first for the mangoes, the mangoes, the mints, and the stuffs, and the... Hello, everybody. I am ready. The difference in color is color, and you can't have more than one of the designated color sets. Ah, okay. Buzzwax. Royal jelly. Sweet. Is there anything else that I just missed? I like I just... Oh, chicken. I guess I'll I'll deposit those and then come back. Okay, so you the more the more colors you have, the more warp tech you can do. And recipes do vary, so some are just easier. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. That makes sense. So if I want to have three different warp points to go between, I would need the three different tiers of the warp technology. I see. I guess I wouldn't have known that unless I like used one already. And was like, oh, I can't make another. So, that's good. That's very helpful information. Thank you once again. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go and collect the rest of this stuff over here. What else have I found? There's this thing. Okay. I was able to get... That was, I think, a drill. Indigonium. Indigonium. Slime fossil and jellystone. Good. And I hope this is oil? Primordial oil. Perfect. That was exactly what I needed. That must have been the pump. Awesome. Oh, actually, uh, before I go, I want to do this other one. And, uh, put this. Put dispenser here. So, there we go. Go back there. If it was in there. <laughs> that was your life. Recipes do bear. Yep, some. some are different. Uh, that was. It's a life. That's life indeed. Just going back and forth and getting all those resources. All back. And the other. Figuring things out. I'll finish off my snacks over here. Hmm. Hmm. Need more ports. Um, I never actually collected any parsnips. Silver parsnips. Those are liked by these guys. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, enjoy yourselves. And try not to hurt me. But if you do, I guess that's fine. It was meant to happen. It was meant to happen to, for the fires to come down and- Whoa, hello! Dangerous. Oh, they're sneezing because of the pollen. I get it. That's really cute. That is, like, really, really cute. Ouch, what just happened? Who, who touched me? Who touched me? Oh, the pollen I bet it tried to grab me. How dare you? Uh, let's do the button, right? Yep, cool. I'll sell some of these guys. To my knowledge, um, I don't really have any recipes that call for, um, whatever these guys' ports are right now, right? Let's see, any advanced stuff? Booms and phosphor and honey. Quantum, hunter, got plenty of quantum. Honey, I got some of, need more jelly stone and stuff like that. Warp tech requires some of that stuff. Decoration and that stuff. Alright. Yeah, I'll sell these guys because I don't really 
I need them for anything else. Oh, and I forgot. Somebody's out of, out of there. They so here. There you go. Enjoy it. I'll take some of the other ports back with me too. The boon floor, uh, well, nah, I don't feel like it. Ah, uh, phosphor ports I should probably grab. There are a lot of phosphor ports. There are many. I should uncrowd them. Many, many phosphor ports. I don't know how many I actually have in the crafting area right now, so I guess I'll just put them there. I'm liking it. I'm liking that a lot. Cool. I'll put those around there, and you know, I'll sleep. I'll sleep. That's what I'll do. Afterwards, I will sleep, and we'll figure out what comes next. Lord. There we go. Not exactly sure what that was, that can be used for right now, but I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. And as the sun sets down upon the far, far range in our ranch, we will go to sleep. Or actually, not yet. Not yet go to sleep. I'm going to sell my ports first, and then I'll go to sleep. 118? Oh, sweet. Oh, man, this, the market is booming today. Not much for the mosaics. Incredible. I like that. All right, time to go to sleep till uh, first check star mail. Casey says, hi, B. Do you remember New Year's Eve when we were looking for that party? While we were wandering around the city lost, I got my bearings. I didn't tell you because I knew we were close to that coffee shop run by the tyrant. And since it was starting to rain, I thought it would be really romantic to stumble across the place again. I guess I finally found the courage. But the coffee shop went out of business, and it was a taco place now. So we ate tacos in the rain, and it was just the best thing. We were on the roof of your old apartment hoping to see the fireworks. I was going to tell you something about that uh, something then, but that's when you told me about Africa. It sounded like an amazing trip. I was really hoping you, happy you were doing what you love to do. Aww. Uh, alright, let's sleep until morning and see what happens. I am now back on the ranch. And nothing has happened. Interesting. No, nah, nothing's gonna happen there. Interesting. Maybe I, like, I need to do more, perhaps? I'm not really sure. What is a path upgrade? Did I get a new path or something? Oh, it's cute looking now. Oh, I see it. Oh, I have a path. Oh. Aesthetically pleasing. So sleeping didn't do anything. But that's okay. Interesting, though. I got a call coming from somebody. Who's coming? Ooh, who's coming in? Mochi likes plorts. I don't remember what I'm gonna do. Let's make a trade, lemonade. Hmm. Flirts, Tangle and Fire. Tangle and Fire. I can get Tangle and Fire Flirt. I can get one of those. Let's get a... Let's get two of these guys. Oh, not all of them. No, thank you. And then for the Fire guys, I gotta go this way. Yeah, I don't really know. So, like, okay. What we did so far is I read all the reports over there. I read all of them. And then we came back and we slept. So maybe there's a couple of other things that... Like, there may be some other, like, checkpoints somewhere that I haven't gotten yet. Maybe. I can do a little research on that at some point to figure out exactly what's going on. Phase lemons. Y'all don't even need that many lemons. Let's make it slower, actually. Phase lemons going on in there. Nice. Got another one of these guys, a little hen. Plenty of hens. Plenty of hens around. I need a fire plort, at least one. There are a few. At least one. Perfect. Thank you all very much for your patronage. Ouch. Nice. Y'all can use some carrots. Looks like. Nice. Grab a few. Oh, there's like 50 something of these. Wow. Incredible. Nice. There's plenty of odd onions here. Uh, yeah, I'll come back. Actually, I really don't need hand hands, so... There we go. Grab all these up. More carrots to be put in here. Maybe there's, there's, there's some emails I haven't gotten yet, which might be tied to the sleep thing. Oh, that's possible. I guess I need to receive a certain, like, set of emails before, uh, before I'm able to do that stuff. Maybe. 
Odd onions. How many? You got plenty of rad ports over there, too. So let's give you some onions. Grab some of these rads. Rads are important, so I, I think I'm gonna take that out of the crafting area as well. Crystal ports I really haven't found a use for yet. Cool. Taking it back now, y'all. I needed a fire port and I needed... Something else. Yeah, maybe it's got to do with the, uh, the emails. I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. Ain't no big thing. Ain't no big thing. You don't got that swing. Take the briar hen over there. I'll give one fire plort to my pal here, because that's what you want. I'll take the briar, uh, the painted hens. I'll take them over to the tangled guys. Crystal plorts. Actually, what's the uh, what's the pricing on things now? Ninety-five for crystal plorts and sixty-three for red. Yeah, you know what? Go for the crystal plorts. I'll take that. Fire and red. Red I'll put away. Same thing with fire. I'll give the painted head to the tangle and get some of those. Here you go, guys. Enjoy yourselves. Because I think the rad ports are all used for the, the machines here. Right? Every single one of them. You need rad ports in order to make uh, the novice ones. All the phosphor ports are used for the bigger ones. Oh, well, that's not too bad. I have plenty of phosphor ports. Like, plenty of them. And there's also the wilds to explore with Ogden as well. Absolutely. I only need one of those for now. I'll do that. Put that over here. Tangle for what's-his-face. Uh, I think it was Mochi. Plenty of heartbeats around here. Get those back to the stones. The stones have got this one. They're enjoying it very much so. Which is good. Oh, and the honey uh, ones as well. The amber slimes. Amber honey or whatever. Let's grab some of these. And I'll also deposit these in the crafting place too. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, there's a lot of them in there. Wow! That's a lot of honey ports. Pretty hot commodity. And one tangle for you. Which comes out the other side as some fruits, some parsnips. That's good. I got some more silver parsnips. Wonderful. Actually, you know, let me throw you guys over there for now. Let's get the stonies. Let's get the stonies to the felines. Because they like the stonies. I'll take these parsnips back over here to give to the mosaic slimes so that they can enjoy themselves. And I'll give the cube berries to uh, these guys. Nice. And I'll put all the plorts, rocks, and honey in here. Awesome, awesome. Oh, and there's some more purple pears here, which I can deposit. And I'm sure there's more silver press tips as well. Right? Of course there is. That's one of, like, the cool things about these farming games, is the fact that, honestly, like, you go around and tend to your farm, and by the time you get back to where you started, there's more stuff to do. So it's like, wow. It's always keeping you busy. I need a food thing. Still the parsnips. But honestly, it's quite enjoyable because it kind of keeps you busy. Prickle pear. Prickle pear, go to you. And I think that's good for now. That one's good for now. I do want to try this, uh, this wild with Ogden. And uh, try that stuff. And see if that does anything. What kind of progress we'll make. So I'm gonna give that a shot. And I think that'll probably be the last thing that I wind up doing today. Exploring new things. And uh, as I come up with goals for what to do next time. And figure out where to go next. But I do definitely want to try this Ogden, Ogden's little paradise. So I need the fruits. Frutas. So let's do it. And I guess I gotta come out of there alive. With the, with the cheese fruit. The wilds filled with the deepest roots of the slime family tree. Interesting. So was there a, there's plenty of feral slimes here, but I need to find... Is that a teleporter? What is that thing? I'll take fruits with me. Refinery link? Oh. Uh, allows you to remotely deposit resources in a refinery. Was oh, that this thing? Oh, funny. It's kind of got Ogden's face on it. That's cute. Hi, everybody. Here, eat. Eat and be happy. 
Oh, was that a... Nope, that wasn't what I wanted. I thought I saw purple on the ground. I was incorrect about that. Oh, there's one. Hey, look at that. Kukadoba. You'd have to be crazy to collect these things. And I believe Ogden happens to be. Is that my teleport point? No. Maybe it's one of a couple. The music here is also like a bop. I like the, um... Let's see, there's... I don't know what the instrument is. But it's the it's the dinging noises. The dink dinks. Maybe a xylophone or something like that. That's really cool. Roar. Roar XD. I will kill you. Because I'm a feral slime and I'm hungry. Nah, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Hello, Kukadoba. Kukadoba. Whatever. What is this? Saber slime. Oh. Saber slime. Uh, saber port. Oh, interesting. Oh, because it's the saber. Oh, the saber slime. Mixed with the phosphor. So they're like... Ah, I understand. Oh, what the... I thought I was supposed to put stuff in there. Whoops. I thought I was supposed to put things in there. Oh, I guess not then. Where did the Kukadoba go? Oh. Nah, I just unlock a recipe. The, or the Ogrims are nutcrackers for if you... Oh. If you find a big Kukadoba ball. Oh, interesting. That must be my way back, I guess. There's another Kukadoba up there. Oh, and another one right here. Oh, please. Yes. Cool. There are plenty to find, it seems. Unlock the recipe. What is that for? Resources, recipe, slime science. Blueprints, we use a thingamabob. Ah, uh, decorations. Saber slimes don't exist as solo slimes, only largos. Ah, okay, okay. Very cool. Very cool. Well, at least I got one of the reports. Hello, y'all. What's going on? Oh, hi. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. You don't like me. You don't like me over in your place. I get it. Another save report. I wonder if they're good on the market. What is this? Oh, it's a dead Kukadoba. Do they cover the trees? I wonder if I can find them up in the trees. Okay, can I... No, okay. I'm so confused. Am I supposed to throw things in there? It looks like you're supposed to throw things in there. Very confused. Oh well. Uh, there seems to be fun stuff down here. I love you. Any Kukadobas? Nah. No Kukadoba. Kukadoba. Hello all down there. Eat the heartbeats. Eat to your heart's content. I want you to eat so I can collect your plorts. But you will not drop any plorts. It made me so sad. It made me so sad I didn't drop any plorts. It's okay. You're not entitled. You're not obligated to drop plorts. There's no need. Yeah, you, you are confusing me, my dude. There are literally yous everywhere. But I cannot throw my plorts in you. Is there anything up on top of this rock? I feel like there would be. Absolutely no payoff. Oh, look! I teleported. I think I'm supposed to go there. Unless I find more Kukadobas around the, along the way. I'll check around the corner and see if there are any Kukadobas. And that looks to be like it'll be my escape plan. Hey, look! Kukadoba. I love saying that word. Kukadoba. Kuku. Kuka. Kukadoba. Kukadoba. Maybe it's Kukadoba. Maybe that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. I like that. That sounds cooler. Kukadoba. All right, and this is spicy tofu. Never quite fills you up. Spicy tofu, favored by food, favored by none. This spicy tofu is made from Ogden's own secret recipe. Light, silky, and with a spicy kick. It is most, it is enjoyed by any slime, though none would call it their favorite. Best of all, if a slime is hungry, they're always willing to eat more. It's almost as if tofu isn't a real food at all. Oh my god, hot take. Spicy tofu can't be planted in a garden, only fed to slimes. Oh, okay. So I can actually feed a slime spicy tofu as much as I want to, and they won't get full. Very convenient. And yeah, the, the thingy, the, the, the little green thingy bobs are confusing. The glow, they glow, but can't warp anything. They're only to give you kukadobas from big mud balls you can sometimes find. Oh. Is that how that's supposed to be? Well, now I know. Now I know about that. So, like, I guess... If I collect 75, I guess I get a new plot area, I suppose? 
I'm gonna try going back one more time. I don't know if like they respawn or anything like if I go back another time, but can I just keep going in here and over and over again to find more Kukadobas? It's pretty awesome. Oh, look at you. Oh, it's uh, that was... I thought that was like a little thing in the bottom. I thought this particular Ogden, Ogden Transformer, or uh, Transporter, was going to like give me stuff. Or uh, it was like one of those thing in the bottom. Oh, look at that. Yeah, great way to get points fast. Awesome, I can just keep on coming back. That's cool. Oh, hello you. Taking a bite, take a big old munch out of me. Kukudoba! Yes! Open another one. Oh, what a haul! Got him. Oh, hi there. Yep, good. Whoa, okay, maybe be careful about that before jumping straight into the water. Let's see, I don't need heartbeats. I'll take these guys. Oh, hi there. Yep, goodbye. Oh, is there someone up there? Nah, it doesn't look like there is. Any more kukudobos? Kukudo, kukudo, kuku water batteries? Whoa, goodbye. <laughs> don't you love it when, like, your cat slime just kind of gets all up in your face and you're like, ah -ha, no! Heartbeats over here. There's a kukudoba right there. In the wild. Oh, star mail received from Casey. I'll have to check that before I do anything else afterwards. Another kukudoba. Oh, kukudobas are fruit? So, like, this is a kukudoba, but I think it's not that. Yeah, I guess not. Hey, I gotta see these mud balls, too. <gasps> Another kukudoba! Another kukudoba! Oh, sweet, treasure thing, but I can't do it, so. Am I, uh, yeah. Track it over here. Hello, you all down there. You look like you're having a great time. Are you? Kukudoba! Nice. Nope. Please. No. Ah, jeez. Another kakawaka whatever. There's so many of them. I'm getting a lot more this time than last time. And I guess it's because I'm like, I'm going around a little bit more. Ah, oh, that one's not the right way to go. So I'm guessing, are there like one or two teleporters that could take me back if I wanted, if I wanted to escape? I guess that's pretty cool. This is actually really cool. It's like, a, like a, it's, it's a dungeon. It's basically a dungeon. Like, they added Dungeoneering to Slime Ratcher, which is really, really cool. All right, recharge. There we go. That is actually, this is really, really cool. I like this. And it's a material that you can get. I mean, like, I feel like the payoff is okay. Like, it gives you a food that you can feed the slimes forever. Like, that's all right. That's pretty good. I guess I'd rather have, like, a place to store all that tofu at. And I think I can get a silo for that. I think that's what they're particularly used for. Ah, uh, they took a man to me. Can I get up there? Oh, look at that! Took a dildo, right up there. Please come into my thing. Did I miss it? Stop. There's my Kukudova. Please stop taking bites out of me. Okay, you are not appreciated. Yeah! Okay, well, I don't feel like dying, so... Not today. Kukudova! Oh. Is that another one? It wasn't another one. Oh, they're snarling. Oh my goodness. They got the big snarls. Because they're part saber tooth. It's pogo fruit. Don't really need that. Any over here? It does not seem like it. That's another dead warp place. And we'll continue to find. Continue to find other places. Can I? There? Ooh, maybe? Nah. I don't think so. Each rancher minigame has a different theme, and if you finish all the requests, they give you a ranch zone. There's smaller rewards in between as well. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, so I guess Ogden's... Oh, that's what you were saying before. Like, Ogden's got one, and Mochi does as well, I suppose. Nice. And I guess the more you do for them, the more it likely you are to unlock it. Oh, there's one right down there. Sweet. That is pretty cool. I do like that. I do like that very much. Big snarls. Big thanks. Oh, yes. <laughs> I tried to snarl. It didn't work. Excuse me. I haven't even, like, sneezed or anything. No, we're good. We're good. <laughs> we good. Another Kukubunilaka! Nice. Is there more? More Kukubunilakabukus! Nor, nor Kiki Kabukis! Oh, that's so cool. They're all lit up on the wall. Oh, there's my transport port. 
transport point. Any more Kukadovas around here? Not from what I can see. Awesome! We've done another one. So much tofu! You never get enough. You never get enough of tofu. Never, ever get enough of tofu. I'm gonna head back to the farm. I'm gonna go over to the house and see what that letter from Casey was. Oh, that's the wrong way. I wanna go this way. Third is Victor's. His is locked behind slime science and treasure pod crackers. And sure what unlocks mochi. Ah, well, I suppose we'll find. I suppose, like, I'll eventually figure it out. Ogden's just kind of happened. There's somebody in the mail, and he was just like, oh, we'll read my mail, and stuff happens. Maybe that's what we're waiting to unlock. It's, um, maybe it's a letter from Casey to read, and that unlocks some things. I don't know. Africa. Thanks, B. I never knew you felt that way. I picture you. I. Picture you out there on a safari, avoiding the clutches of lions on the savanna, riding elephants across raging rivers, and then, as you sit under the stars at night, your weathered hand opens up a locket, and there's a picture of me inside, and then your loyal chimpanzee companion gives you a somber, knowing look. Is that accurate? <laughs> well, for what it's worth, I missed you too when I was in LA. Ugh, the bar was just so awful, but at least I got some stage time. Casey is most definitely a special friend of ours. A very, very special friend like that. I'll sleep until morning again. Why not? Cockadoodle, yeah! All right. Augie and Motion to both just kind of happened. Yeah. Who else has got a request for us? Victor! Bubu. Bubu. Uh, I want to do Victor. Are red slimes a natural evolution or result of exposure to foreign matter? I don't know. You've already asked this question before. Nine boom slimes and seven rock slimes. Wow. For all that stuff? That's a lot of my babies. I can get more rock slimes over there. The boom slimes, though... That's really taking a hit for me. You know. Both just kind of happen, yeah. For you. Yes. It'll just happen for me as well, I'm supposing. Cuberry. Cube. Put that in there. I'll take all the phosphor slimes out. And I will throw them over for crafting purposes. Because they're all used for the advanced drill things and whatever. Yep. Gotcha. Um, I don't really have, I think I have exactly nine, <laughs> nine boom slimes. I need more of those. Uh, hmm. Lava come back. Actually, you know what? Spicy tofu, I don't really got a lot of, I don't really have a lot of meat over here, so eat it. Eat my tofu. Meat is hard. Meat is hard to take care of, so eat that. Yum, 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 boom slimes. I need those for some of my harvesters as well, so. Checking my... What I look at to reference the stream, and it seems to have... My webpage has gone dead. Silly Google Chrome. This surface of mine just does not keep up. It really doesn't anymore. I originally got it as, like, a college computer so I could do stuff on it, but, like, the, you know, the things that college required of me was way too much for this, this, um, computer to, to do. It was just, it was no good. So, I kind of struggled on that. Oh, there's a boom port over here, too. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Saber ports, fossil ports, focal fruits. Let's go take these over to the science area. Science area? Science area! I wonder if, uh, I don't know if saber flutes will be super useful for anything right now. Oh, dear. Well, that's not really what I had in mind. Well, you're going away. Bye-bye. Sorry, it's been fun, but I don't, nope, not into it. Bye-bye. Off into the wild blue yonder you go. How dare you? How dare you do such a thing? I'll put, I don't know how much saber flutes are worth, but I'm gonna put at least one in there. Boom plorts. Maybe Mochi is tied to the money you make, since that's kind of that's kind of her thing. If it's not a do them enough jobs type thing, maybe DM you. Maybe. We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. Can I make any more of these? No, I need more pink plorts. I really need a place for that. Many prickle pears. So many prickle pears. Plenty for the dervishes. They're kind of cute. Oh, you know what? I never actually cracked open this uh, prickle pear of mine over here on my desk. We'll wait for the... I know what? I think we'll wait till cocktail day. I think on, uh, on Saturday. I'll crack open some of these prickly... Actually, you know what? No, I won't be able to do that, to be honest. I won't be able to do that, because I will have made syrup with them by then. 
Well, that's a tangle. Yes, yes, yes it is. Oof. Oh, that's a bad one. That's a bad one. That is a bad pun. But bad puns are always very appreciated, at least around here. If I'm not making them myself, somebody's gotta do it. Prickle pears will go over here for y'all. You like prickle pears? Yes, indeed. Prickle, 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 prickle pears. Grab some of these. At least 50 of them. Nervish. Dervish. I wonder what dervish is even defined as. I don't exactly know. I, I, I guess like a dervish is like a small sandstorm, maybe. What's a dervish? I feel like there must be more definitions than that. Dervish is basically defined as a member of a, a of a Muslim religious order who's taken vows of poverty and austerity. Uh, there seem to be... Uh, that's the definition, all right. Interesting. So I guess it's supposed to be reminiscent of, like, the deserts of those regions. Like, the deserts of those regions, I suppose. That's the closest thing I can think of. Pogo fruits. Eat. Mary. Mm. Nom, 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 nom. Nummy num num nums. Saber plorts. Oh, they're kind of down right now. But I guess all the, those are the different types of plorts. I think I've sold them all. Cool. But who's got the demand for all the plorts? The most expensive plort right now, aside from the uh, that one. Oh, plort tycoon. Nice. Yeah, plorts are kind of cheap right now. Maybe we should just use them all for crafting for a while. What can I do with this again? Is this a thing? No, that's just the Slimepedia. Got some painted ones over here. Not many. That's okay. And I was looking for... I need to give you slimes. I'll just go search for these, honestly. I'll go find some rock slimes over here. I can find at least seven of them. And the boom slime should be not too far over as well. I'm on a mission to find slimes. Tangle dust is called pollen, but if they aren't plants, is it actually like dander? Oh, is there another Tango Largo? Mmm, jeez. I don't know, like, if it's if it's pollen, then, like, ew. But if it's dandruff, like, also ew, but, like, for a different reason. Okay, give me... Give me your rock slimes. I need seven of y'all, and I need nine of the booms. I don't need y'all. I don't need... Actually, I will collect the pink slimes if I... Uh, the pink plorts if I can. Because those are good for purposes of research. Because that's good for all the crafting and stuff. And I might as well, if I'm out and about, and a bunch of pink slimes all around, so I might as well collect them. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Plenty of ones around here. I don't need these. Give my pogo food. Get out of here. Leave me. Leave me be. I don't need you. I don't want to. Here, eat some of this stuff. Y'all over there, eat. Be merry. Mmm, tasty. I guess it's actually more difficult to get stuff from, like, pink slimes because they don't have a favorite, so you can't double your yield at all. That might be one of the more difficult parts. Indeed. And hello to you, shoot boy! Good afternoon. I hope the day has treated you well so far. And if it hasn't... Well, the, the day is not your friend, so ignore the day. The day doesn't matter. Only you matter. So if the day hasn't been good to you, kick the day in the butt! I got this extra thing here, so... Yeah. The second service definition occurring in the Free Dictionary is one that possesses abundant, often frenzied energy, which also suits these dust devils. Yes. I like that definition more so. I like that more so. Am I sucking things? Yes! With my suck -a uh, I don't know what it's called, but it sucks. But it sucks good. Oh, and I needed one more rock slime anyway. Thank you. Yoink. Oh, look at the boom slimes. Hello, boom. I need eight, nine of you guys. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, what little thingy, Bob. Open up. Let's see what's inside. Oh, it's a bunch of uh, uh, slime fossils. Nice. Uh, I don't need pink slimes. So I'll take these slime bottles instead! 
Nice. Nice. Give me those ports. Give me the ports. The power of suction does compel the slime ranchers as well. The power of suck compels you. Or does it? Backpack. Yeah, that's probably the right name for this thing. It seems right. Oh, another boom. Give me the boom. Here comes the boom. Oh, boom pink Largo. That's fine. Not what I was looking for, but you know. It's what we need. It's what we want. The precious. All right, let's find another area over here. Maybe I can find that little quarry area that I've gotten to already and be convenient like that. Actually, where is that at? If I go that way, I will find it. Into the cave! Into the cave. I've almost got enough boom signs. I need three more boomies. I'll collect y'all in a hot second. But not yet. Oh, treasure thing. Sweet! What do you got in there, huh? What's in the, what's in the box? Blueprint acquired minty grass patch. Though the grass does indeed have a pleasant minty aroma, the taste is quite bitter. Oh! Oh, that's cute, so that must be a decorative thing. Nice. I enjoy that. I enjoy decorative bits. Decorative bits of things. But I require more booms. Oh, look, more booms. Who knew? Come here, you. Yes, that's seven. Eight. I just need one more. And you're sitting right there. Yes. You know what? Let's get one more for good measure, because I could always use some more booms. Because I always have more booms. All right, let's go back. Back in there and head on back. Back to the ranch. Isn't that right, Maxi Boy? Maxi Boy needs to go back to the. Oh, well. Okay, well, I need to do that little machine thing as well. So I gotta do that. But I'll deposit these all first. I'll go this way. I'll go this way, deposit slimes, then put slimes where they. Uh, wherever the excess go. And then come back. I think Amber. Um. Whatever you call them. I need more of those, too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, nine. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I have too many. Hey, you. Oh, look at all the tens. All right, well, rock slimes can go over there. Cool. Um, pink ports I can pick up more of for research purposes. Briar hens are good for feeding. I will put those in the briar hen patch over here. Or, not Briar, they're painted. I'll grab those other plorts. Collect a few more of those plorts inside the cave. And deposit them accordingly in the crafting center. So we can craft more, like, it, it's, we're crafting more sucky things. Except these things suck the ground and not everything else above them. It's appropriate, probably. Alright, and then, boom. There we go. Put them in there. And I have plenty of mint mangoes for processing purposes. Nice. Nice indeed. Bringing it down back to the uh, science area with more materials. There's some crazy, crazy shit going on over here. Oh, look, another one. Get out of here. No. Enough. Coming with me. You're bad. You're bad. I don't like you. Go. Goodbye. I can always get more of you. Don't think that you're special. Don't think that if you could don't call if you cause a problem that I won't get rid of you, cause because I'll get rid of you. Because we don't need you here. We don't need you like that. Nice. Plenty more plurts. There was Appropriate for all but concerned parents over phrasing. Ah, true, true. True, true, true. I've got enough for... Let's do an advanced apiary. And I feel that perhaps putting that in the moss blanket would be the most advantageous. But let's go back. This area over here. I have all these mint mango... Uh, you know... Mm. Let me give them to the amber slimes first. Are they amber or honey? I always forget. I don't know why. Slimepedia. Tell me the answer. Slimepedia. Honey. It's honey. I don't know why I keep calling them amber slimes. I don't, I don't know why. I mean, they're amber colored. So, makes sense. Some more heartbeats. For my stone friends. Mangoes. Plenty of mangoes for those who want them. It doesn't seem like all the plort containers need that much extraction right now. I think we'll be okay. 
I'll go back to the cave over here. I'll un... I guess, collect the materials from that one advanced drill. And then... There was also stuff in that... Oh, no, no, the, the treasure pod didn't have anything in it. So... Nice. Indigonium! Oh, the stuff in Jellystone. Lovely. Honey, because their plorts are Splenda. Nice. And Splenda. So that's good. Um, you know what? I don't exactly know what... Nah, I'm gonna go to the moss blanket. So that's all way on the other... That is kind of accessible from here. That's kind of far away. I don't know if I have a transport to the moss blanket conveniently around here. Maybe I do. I don't really remember. I'm gonna go check and see if I have a nice transport for that. Oh, crap. Uh, science area first. To drop off all these materials, including the indigonium. Which is just so fun to say. Indigonium. Goniums. Gonium? Gonium yum yum yums. Gon yums. Go in there. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't want it. What is that? Oh no. That's mine. The mosaic pork goes in there to get collected. The slime fossil, on the other hand. Can it make warp tech yet? Ah, it needs more oil. You gotta get more oil. Actually, well, can I just build. Can I build a drill? Or a pump? I can. Let's put a pump there and put it back in the quarry area and then I'll get some oil. Perfect. And then I'll look and see if... Let's see. The closest one was unlocked by the Tabby Gordo. Oh, that one! Uh, I guess. That, that's good enough. That's good enough, I think. I'll bring this back here. Plant a little pump right here. Novice pump. And I got the APO too, but I want that in the moss pump. So we'll go back here. I'll put those down, and then, yeah, I think, honestly, after I place that down in the moss blanket, I think I'll probably call it for the day. We've made a lot of progress today. What have we done so far? We went farther into the temple, uh, or, or rather, we, I guess we already completed the temple last time. We also went to the glass desert and found a ton of different types of slimes and other sort of things for our farm, um, and other things too. Show the mosaic the proof of their ancestors' demise. They will die. Oh, this was Ogden's area. Nope, didn't want you. I want over here the proof of their ancestors' demise. <laughs> you see this plort? This plort here? That's what that's what you'll become. If you keep questioning things. Don't ask questions. You don't want to know the answers. To. Is that is that my father? No, it's not your father, not a direct relative, but it is one of your relatives. And yes, you should be very afraid. So, uh, boo. Let's set these guys back. Okas. Oka, oka. Okie dokie, that I did. Finish the glass desert in terms of exploring. Yeah, it looks like it. Just gotta figure out how to get that big spaceship thing running. Um, we'll see about that. Figure out what the secret is. I gave them a Did I give them a fossil? I did earlier. Yeah, did I do that? Did I, do that? I had a fossil in my hand? You know what? That's okay. We'll go back. We'll, we'll go back and get it eventually. We'll go back and get it eventually. And no problem there. I'm over here, and I gotta get to the moss blanket. Going to the moss blanket. I almost fell right into the water. That would have been unfortunate. Actually, how, uh, if I can look at the map, I can see which areas have keys to unlock, right? No? Can I not do that? Oh, well, hmm. the glass desert showed me how many keys were there unlocked. Still. Maybe I did them all already. Hmm. Up we go to the moss desert. Mo moss desert? Moss blanket. Glass desert. It's, they're two distinct things. Let's see. Let's put it there. Apiary. I cannot, unfortunately. I do wonder if that's meant to help set up the sequel game. Maybe. Hmm. Per chance. Per chance. Per chance. All right. Well, you're doing your thing, and that'll probably be ready by next time. So, cool. Oh, star mail from Casey. All right. Well, we're going to go back and see what the star mail from Casey could possibly be. Is there another um, teleporter over here, too, that's close by? Uh, up that way. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go up that way. Go up in this direction, and then over the hills. 
Over the river, through the woods, grandmother's house. Here we come. Come along, grandmother's house. We'll find you. We'll find you real good. Mm -hmm. Boop -boop. Find my thing forward. Ouch! Damn it. There's a hunter gordo deep in the blanket sitting on a mushroom that has a key. Deep in the blanket sitting on a mushroom. I feel like I, I'm not, I don't remember if I got that one or not. I feel like that one sounds familiar. But I don't know. However, let's try to see if we can find it. And if so, give him a little... I don't know. If it's a, it's a hunter, they eat meat. I'll find a chicken. And sacrifice for the sake of the map. There, perfect. Hello, sacrifice. That's where the teleporter is. Hmm, let's see where he might be. Deep in the blanket. So I'm gonna guess somewhere towards, like, the back, perhaps? If I go up in that direction, maybe I won't find it. Sitting on top of a mushroom. The mushroomed areas are... Yeah, they're over... I gotta go up there. I gotta get up. I must get to higher ground. Uh, best way to get to higher ground? Uh, go back. Go up there. And he's got a key. Keys are good. I haven't need, I haven't found any place that needed a key, though. It'd be interesting. Like, I need to figure out, like, where else also needs keys, I suppose. Hmm. Or jump in the ocean. You'll technically get home. since you know, The tanks are empty. That's true. So it doesn't really matter. That's why we get home. That's one way to do it. But, ah, I must find these mushrooms, too. But I don't want to die. That's the wrong kind of sleep. Sitting on top of a mushroom. The mushroom's over here. It's a glowy area. G mushrooms feel glowy to me. Oh, wait, you know, I think I actually did get this guy. Was was he on a mushroom that was kind of, like, hanging in the middle of the water? Because if so, I definitely got him. Definitely got that guy. Where is he now? I don't know. I'm gonna keep going in this direction. Oh, I have no... No, okay. We're good. <laughs> I thought I would have accidentally gone in anyway. What's over here? Nothing. Cool. There is something over here. Do one more check. Chicky check, check, checky check. Hello? Anybody over here? Hi there. More chickens. Oh, hey, mushroom. You seem like a fun place for a cat to hang out. Or a hunter, rather. Oh, don't go yet. Not just yet. This feels like giant mushroom territory if I ever saw one. Are you on top of it, though? Or maybe I already got you. Hmm. I think he was, so I might have gotten him already. Oh, look at you down there, Honey Hunter Largo. Mm. The Honey Hunter. Sounds like Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear was a Honey Hunter. Eh, I don't see him anywhere. So I must have already gotten him. Which is good, which is good. It's good things. Maybe I'll find a treasure pot around here that I can unlock, and then that'll be my final thing to bring back with me. Hey, look, treasure pot! Speak of the devil. And in the meantime, take a look around and see anywhere on top. Mossy tree stump. It's mossy and stumpy. The tree. I like that. Awesome. And I also am curious what else exists in like these areas over here. I know there was like a teleport point. It was not in this island, but over in the quarry. I don't know if there was anything special over here too. But I'm curious nonetheless, and I must satisfy my curiosity. I already did you, right? Have a jetpack and a few upgrades before tackling what's a handle and it's all broken and twisted. Yep, we know that. You're likely to fall. Did I go over there? I don't remember if I did or did not. Huh. Well, let's see what, what's over here. Maybe I'll find something cool, exciting. I already went that way. Oh, but I want to go that way. Onto that island. Maybe? Oh. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what could be here for me. All right, well, now I'm over here um, on this little island, which I'm pretty sure I've been to, but I've definitely been here before. Yeah, I did. But I don't know if there were any secrets unlocked. Hey, look. Animals. Nice. There's also more mushrooms over here as well. There might be a hunter over here that I haven't gotten. Potentially. Curiosity is for cats. It is. I've been told I'm a pretty cool cat. So if I'm a little curious from time to time... I think it's allowed. It's, I think it's okay. I'll allow it, but then again, it's me, so I'm a little biased on that regard. Is there anything else over here? Like a big... There was a big tree at the top there. 
But I don't remember what that was supposed to do. That's to get back across. No, I want to get up there. I'm going to get up there. Get up on top of these mushrooms. See what there is to find up on top. Because I know I've been up there. I know I've been up there before. But I think... Something makes me think that I missed something there. Dude, who does keep putting all these boxes around here? Honestly. I mean, on the bright side, it's not like there's anything, like, non-biodegradable in it. So if they just kind of left it, if they just kind of sat there for years, it's not like it would be too bad for the environment. But, like, seriously. No, stop! Let me up! No! Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is, this is not fine. This is, this is okay. I don't know what just happened there. Can I go up? I go up? I cannot go up. Oh, here's not. I'm out of juice again! I'm all out of juice. I'm all out of juice. I feel like there was there must be something here that I have like yet to find. Because like it is a rather large island, and I doubt that I got it all the first time. Oh another treasure pod. That's cool. Oh, I'm back to over here again. Oh, well. Now I can open the treasure pod. So, cool. Big tree in the distance. What do we got? Honey! Wild honey! Royal jelly! Nice. Yeah, honestly. I can't think of anything else. I'm gonna head back to the teleporter. And that's where I'll call it. After I get back to the teleporter and deposit things up and whatnot. Ah, uh, but if the boxes were left there with slimes or chickens trapped for ages, that's, that's, a, little, that's a little messed up. Gotta be honest there. Whoever did that, maybe it was, I mean, to what we know, Hodgson. Hodgson was like the only other person who was here, so maybe he left them for us. Maybe he's just some sort of like sick maniac. Oh, that was the, oh, that was the machine. That was the machine. That was the apiary, not the actual teleporter. Ah. It's a shame that I have objects now or else I could just throw myself into the water and let, let nature take its course on me to send me back home. Let's go up here. La 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 la. Going over to the place in the teleporter. Somewhere. Ah, yes. If I walk across this log, that'll be perfect. It's exactly what I need. This is the place to go, and it'll send me all the way back to the ranch where I can deposit things for science purposes, and then, ah, oh, we'll figure out what to do next time. It has been a lovely day so far, honestly. This has been a great way to start the- Honestly, this was a much- Much more exciting morning than I thought it was going to be. So, it's been very, very nice. I enjoyed myself. As I most often usually do, I usually enjoy myself. But, like, this time in particular felt more enjoyable, especially. Maybe it's because I feel like an absolute doof right now with all these party hats in my head. But honestly, that, that's kind of half the fun. Half the fun is trying to make people laugh. If they laugh. But sometimes they don't. Sometimes they just scowl. But that's okay. Because some people laugh. And laughing is good. And I will leave it right here. Inside of the confines of my laboratory. It has been an absolute blast, everybody. So thank you so much for joining along. I'm going to see if there's anybody else around here that could use a little... A little, a little big me up. Uh, we got... Pierre is playing some Minecraft right now, so I think it would be wise and wonderful to go over and for what's the term? Pay it forward to those as well. Looks like it's modded, which is totally up my alley, so I'm totally into it. To everybody who's going on the raid, uh, well, y'all are awesome. But even those who aren't going to the raid, you know, y'all are awesome as well. You always have been, you always will be. In any case, that's where we're gonna do that. So uh, to everybody, thank you so much for coming around. And enjoy- I, I enjoyed myself very much so, so I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your day. Or whatever time it may be around there. Next time, I guess we'll try to find more slimes? Find more slimes, do more science, and discover more areas. Absolutely. You're welcome for the stream, and thank you for coming by as well. I wonder what the rest of my day will be filled of. Ah, I guess we'll see. To all the raiders, so long and farewell. You guys are going to do great, I'm sure. And to everybody else, you know, it's been fun, everybody. Until next time.
Bye, y'all. I gotta click my... There we go.